Did you see the WWF last or WWE? What no. last night? Oh, the dude. In the beginning, because of the the London the London thing, uh-huh. they go uh, due to tonight's uh, uh, there's there's due to the London you know tragedy in London. Tonight's episode of Raw is gonna be or tonight's episode of SmackDown is gonna be uh, parental league you know parental guidance, right? So <clears throat> they have a character like a a, a terrorist character, oh, Muhammad whatever. Uh, of course. So he's fighting the Undertaker. So he has this lackey guy who always kind of talks for him. He's going, I love that, I love that. <laughs> so they made him fight the Undertaker. So the Undertaker beats him up in seven seconds. So the guy says to his friend before he goes out, he goes, look, if you do this, you will be rewarded by Allah, right? So after the Undertaker beat him up, the dude gets on his knees and starts praying, right? I love that, I love that, you know, and about six mass like terrorist dudes come out and beat the shit. <laughs> they beat up the Undertaker, right? It, it, you know, terrorize them. And then the the beat up guy in the ring that the Undertaker beat up, they they carry him out as if he's a martyr, uh, in in Afghanistan or whatever the case may be. I'm like, it, they went through an entire like it was a what whole are they skit. Insane. It, that's what it was. I I'm watching it and I think stuff like that's hilarious. But yeah. I'm going, oh my <laughs> that's god, a little tasteless. <laughs> I'm like, are they, are they, it was like the terrorists do. And if you watch any of them dudes do, beheading, those dudes, they came dressed just like those really? dudes. Really? And, and, and beat up the Undertaker, you know, did his, you know, every time they hit him, they would pray. And I, 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 I think, oh, my God. I think God. Vince is getting desperate at this that's, point. That's not uh Oh. Whoa, whoa. And, and you know I love stuff. But <laughs> I just was like, oh. Yeah, you're going to like, ugh. But you know, when I wrote for them, I they, they used to have a character, this Indian dude. And Vince is, is a cold dude, man. And he had this Indian dude. Yeah, we never talked to you about that. I think yeah. Jimmy brought it up or something. You used to fly around with Vince McMahon in a, or something? In a Learjet. In yeah. a Learjet and write for WWF? <laughs> write for, write for <laughs> WWF. And Vince McMahon, it, I, there's three people I've met in my life. You know, you probably can name them you, people in your life where you met and you, you lost your madness. Like, you, you try to go, hey, what's happening? Hey, good to see you, Michael Jackson. Nice talking to you. But there's some people you meet and you're just incomplete. Yeah, because we're all meeting Michael Jackson. Jesus. But, but you, you, know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, that's a great example, though. But, but you, there's people, like, if you meet Michael Jackson, would you be... You you've been in the business long enough where you go, yeah. yeah I, you, I don't know. Someone like Michael Jackson, <laughs> he, he's like uber famous. I think I would I would be starstruck. A little bit. Yeah, okay, without a doubt. Fair enough. That's I don't fair. typically get starstruck, but I mean, I probably would. With Shut him. up, Mister mm. Pictures with everybody. You're starstruck. <laughs> I was starstruck when you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a I had a little of that actually. Little, yeah. Little, thank you, just, just, just a little bit. A little I was like, tickle in your stomach. Right. <laughs> I saw him on Tough Crowd. But it's like I met a few people, like maybe four, three or four. Mm -hmm. Where I go, oh boy! And I was at his house in Stanford writing. Wow. They were rewriting, nice and he just house, comes out, yeah. "Hello, Patrice," and in his in his jumpsuit and his everything. And I just was like, oh my god! I was like, oh, like a little girl, like, hey, hi, Mr. Smith. Yeah, we've had him on a few times. <laughs> and uh, he's just he's, he's a powerful dude, man. But he's a cold, he's the uh, he's yeah. a cold dude. Now this one guy I used to have a turban. He goes in and no one, none of the wrestlers talk to him personally, you know, except for the big guys. Like I'm on a plane with like Triple H. Everybody else got to drive there, like Hyundai Sonatas from <laughs> town to town. But like Triple H, Undertaker, those guys, they get on his plane. So I'm in the back and um, you know watching this whole thing go down. And he, this guy with the turban, he sends it. He goes, listen, my family says, please, can you stop oh, making no. fun oh, my God. of my turban? Oh, you saw no. Because my people... Bleh, 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 bleh. Tiger... Tiger... Tiger Ali what? Singh. Oh. Tiger Ali Singh. He's right. like, please, don't make fun of the... He goes... <laughs> He goes, shut up and put on a turban. <laughs> <laughs> Please, my people. I beg you. <laughs> put on the turban. <laughs> like the jerky boys do. He's just like, my people. He's like, I don't want to hear that nonsense. Get out there and put on that stupid turban, you jackass. It was like, oh, my That's God. That's great. Oh, there's the clip from uh, WWE last night. By the way, someone's yeah, they're pointing choking out, the shit out of... Uh, someone's pointing out that they taped this on Tuesday, so it's a, it's a huge coincidence that... Uh, really? Know, yeah, that the bombings were, what, yesterday? Yeah, they're choking. I'm dressed in there. We're cutting a, a Christian man's head off. Uh, where? Yeah, but watch how they take the other dude away. Yeah. Like he's the martyr. 
Yeah. It was brutal. And you know, I think, I think anything is funny, man. But I was like, this is not good. Yeah. They even lifted his hair, like his head, like the way. <laughs> oh, I yeah, think yeah. Saw that, and they lifted uh, the Undertaker's head. I'm telling you, hair. it was brutal. Okay, thank you, man. <laughs> That's a touchy subject. That is a touchy subject. Hey, to reenact a, be a beheading in a wrestling ring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, hey, are you? Uh, <laughs> were you responsible for some of the legendary storylines on WWF uh, in recent years? One that comes to mind? No, Any? I was I was fourth man on the totem pole. They have a kid there, this young white kid who's the boss but i would if i'd have stayed i just couldn't deal with what they were what they're asking i couldn't yeah. do that little learjet with them and um you know uh just i just couldn't do it because they're very corporate you have to be mm -hmm. committed to their cause and i just wasn't committed you know what i'm saying and and i got fired what's her name uh stephanie fired me like six times really she kept calling me back and firing me but she doesn't realize comics just get fired <laughs> We just so she goes. You know you're fired, right? I go. Ah, yeah, yeah. I understand. I do understand. You know what I mean. I, I'm not gonna. What would you get show. fired for? Um, I because I had a show. Yeah. And I said I can't make it. And she's like, what? You're gonna. <laughs> you're committed. Yeah. <laughs> they want 100 percent like, loyalty. I was like, over I there. met Steve Austin. It was good enough. <laughs> <laughs> like the thing, what I took from it is like how how powerful Vince McMahon was and like how too the Rock was cooler than he should have been. Yeah, like he was just too accessible. I I I didn't want him to be that accessible. Just like like a regular guy. Hey man, hey how you doing? They were real regular guys, and they kissed the writers' asses because the writers make up scenarios. They make them, yeah, for them to become whatever. So they they this little white kid, he has these giant roided up dudes like <laughs> kissing yeah. kissing ass. And he's like, was he good? What he did? The kid? Yeah, he must have been because he was Vince's right hand dude, man. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Do they write scripts <sighs> or just storylines? They write do everything this? done. Really? There's n there's some who get leeway, like Kurt Angle, the Biggies. They they can they can talk. Yeah. They can say words that aren't uh, there sometimes. But the other guys, but you they stick do to the not script. do not play around with that man. Wow. He runs that with an iron fist. He's behind every. He's behind the scenes, sitting there at the when they come out with the explosions. Uh huh. He's there, like all right, blah 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 blah. blah, blah you know, doing running it. Patrice O'Neill in studio. PatriceO'Neill dot com. And uh, I forgot you used to write for the WWF and the WWE, right? Yeah, man. Flew on the private jets with uh, Vince oh, McMahon and genius, all that. Genius, two days. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Oh, it. you were two days. You I worked? got fired quick, man. Why? Because that that is a that oh, that thing is a cult. Like it's like you got to go do it their way or the highway. And I just said, you know what? I, at some point, I'm going to be on the highway anyway. So let me just go now. Yeah. Thank you very much for this two days, man. It was it was genius. You are fired. Yeah. <laughs> it was like it was like it was like winning a winning some type of uh, lottery. It was some, it was like winning some type of thing. You know what yeah. the things you guys have. We yep. come sit in the studio. That's what it was. I took it like that. Stephanie was like. You know, listen. You have to this. I you have to get up. You have to go to their house and write, and you have to get up and. Yeah, uh, that wasn't uh, good. Uh, we love the uh, McMahons. We've uh, had we've had a great relationship with the whole family over the years. Oh, man. Mr. Man's the one of the, the. I'm telling you, I met three people genius. in my life, man, and that dude was like just seeing him operate was great, and it was like thanks. He's scary, it. right? It, it was it was like you know what for him to have a strange black dude in his house in Stanford without a pro like it, it, hello Patrice. He, like, he knew who I was and all that stuff. Patrice O'Neal. And then going to the kitchen, and, Lin and Linda's in there like, uh, I hear you, would right. you like some, you know, some some apple juice and some, you know, and this? And I'm like, yes, Miss McMahon. And and uh, he's like, all right, Patrice, we'll sit down, and we just start writing stuff for, like, <laughs> like uh, the Arab character. And, uh, and, like, I was in there, and the Arab character, I remember I said, he was like, he was like listen, um, I, I hope I can't wear. Do we have to wear these turbans? Because my family said they're desecrating. And McMahon's like, "You're gonna wear the fucking turbans. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna. He's gonna put on those goddamn. It was him and uh, D'Lo Brown. You and D'Lo gonna put on those fucking turbans. I don't give a shit about desecration. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like this little white kid that ran around who was like the head guy or something. And uh -huh. all the wrestlers who didn't have a thing. Like there was some echelon guys. Like. 
you know, like The Rock and The Undertaker. Be who, careful, we got The Rock listening in. Oh, right, now. right. But it's some it's some guys who <laughs> about to go to The Rock who did not have to, who doesn't have to answer to the the the, the writer. Uh huh. And but there were some guys you could see even me when I was there when they said, okay, this is some, he doesn't look like a wrestler. He's kind of fat. This guy must be just a big fat writer. So <laughs> it would be like guys like uh, who just guys who didn't who was just hanging around without a point to be there and it's yeah. like they would go hey man how you doing <laughs> thinking got any uh good uh good ideas for me yeah i'm like yeah man listen you know maybe you can you can hold two pickle jars and be hamburger man i'll try to be helpful and shit but it was just like you know you just sit there it was like uh, i had to get out of there <laughs> it was too close yeah <laughs> it was too close for you know the thing that i actually love my whole life you know what i'm saying yeah, it was let's just like let me get out of here uh, let's say hi to The Rock. Hey, Rock. Good morning, bro. How you doing, man? <laughs> good? Oh, good. Uh, yeah. And this dude was nicer than he should be. You know what, Rock? You are nicer <laughs> than you should. If I was this dude, even not even on a star level, mm -hmm. on a looking like him level, I'd be such a piece of just an <laughs> asshole, man. This dude is the nicest guy I ever met. It's, and, it just makes me sick. And he's taken off, man. It's one of these guys that, you know, went from wrestling into movies. It's been done before. People have done that. But this guy is now uh, making it his career. Uh, for sure. He's, uh, you're like the, you're like for, the new for, Stallone. For sure, you know what's funny? I got, I got to tell you, man, I was laughing my ass off. I was trying not to laugh. I didn't, I thought, <laughs> but I'm listening to you talk because I know the grind and I know that, that world, man. And it's just a, it's a nutty, crazy world. Yeah, it's like a circus, <laughs> right? <laughs> you're going to put on a fucking turban? <laughs> <laughs> that's what he, the dude's around, like, the dude's like, please, you know, please, that, that my, the desecration of my people. And, the, and we are, this, this makes my people look. He's like, he, he's going to put on a fucking turban, him and D'Lo Brown. And I'm like, God damn. Do you want to work here? <laughs> it was yeah. like, wow, baby. Uh, oh, I was really blinking slow when I was doing that, man. <laughs> and I met this dude back then. He's like, hey, man, how you doing? You know, Rock's like, how you doing? And I'm just like, why is this guy not a dick? Like, this is just, <laughs> like, because you want to be able to go, man, the Rock's a dick. But he's just not. And I'm serious. And, like, and Jericho. Like, dudes are just ridiculously Chris Jericho, cool. another really nice guy. Just too. ridiculous. Really nice guy. Yeah. He's an actor now, too, Rocky. Quit. Yeah, he, I know, man. He's, he's, he's out there. He called me the other week. Jericho quit, he, too? He's done. He's, he's done, done as now. well? Yeah. Called you the other week. What are you two just sitting back up laughing, going, dude, what, you, what about us, huh? We're in movies and shit. You guys are like the new SNL. You just hang out at SNL until you get the movie deal. Yeah, then you leave. And then you leave, and you're like, ah, yes, freedom! Freedom! <laughs> become the biggest name. Yeah. Big, big stars are pumping out of WWE. You gotta now. think the WWE guys are very jealous of guys like uh, The Rock and Chris Jericho. And Hey, we had Mick Foley in here the other day, and he was uh, talking nice about you, Rock. He's a good dude. Dude, the author, the author, the author Mick Foley. I believe it. It's crazy. There's another one comes out of there. You know, you know his character. You just think he's some you know, bumpkin uh, uh, maniac, and uh, the guy's got quite the head on his shoulder. He he absolutely can write. Yeah. Oh, he's a smart guy. And, yeah. And we told Mick Foley uh, ever since like you left and he left. Uh, we were honest because we were big wrestling guys. I, yeah. I'm not watching as much. And I don't know what they're going to be yep. able to do to to get someone like me back, uh, you know, checking it out again. I think I think it went way too PC, and that really just took the whole edge out of the thing. Well, you saw the Arab dude. Did you see the? <laughs> oh man! After well, uh... they they really played the Arab dude. He came out with the uh, with the beheading guys. The, yeah, the, yeah. The beheaded like the Undertaker. And... All right, I I didn't see that. But... Oh my! Well, it was like right after the London bombings, I think uh, that that happened. But it was already in the can. It was already taped. Yeah. But you know why he's a star? Like he's gonna be a star. He's a star, and Jericho's gonna be a star. The, here's the thing, because they have regular bodies. Like they they have athletic right. muscles, and like a guy like Batista cannot be a celebrity. So no. it's only gonna be a few regular shaped guys that can be a star. You can't right. make you know like uh, Schnitzky or whatever. You can't make him a star because he's just too. Enormous, yeah. so he'll always be like a, a, yeah. a background bodyguard. And there's or no real uh, huge action <laughs> action <Background> hero. Body. <laughs> <laughs> well, you laugh, you you laugh, but our buddy Patrice O'Neill uh, should introduce you, Rock. He uh, that's his role in all movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm and, and I don't even have muscles. It's just that I can act. Like right. evidently, you got to be uh, be able to act to be a background bodyguard too. Yeah. So you just you can't just you know what I mean. But except for uh, Kevin Nash. 
Kevin Nash is uh, uh they see sneaking in movies. Yeah, here Look and Patrice there. knowing all the wrestling crap. We only have a few minutes with The Rock because he's now a big star. There were there was there were the days when he'd come and hang for hours. Now we're it's hanging like hanging out, drinking. Or... Yeah, now they're telling us, oh, you only got seven minutes with The Rock. He's way too busy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing the whole circuit today, talking to a million radio stations and yeah, TV stations? Exactly. I, got, I got a two-hour tour. Uh, the two-hour tour. Uh, the two-hour gimmick tour. Yeah, yeah. every seven minutes you got to make believe that you're the, you're fans of that particular show. And you know the guys <laughs> really well. <laughs> like, and... You guys are doing great. You're a brilliant <laughs> show. Give it up. Yeah, right. The Rock's got the movie Doom coming <laughs> out today. Doom. Uh, you, you ever play the game? Yeah, I was a big fan of the game. Well, First of all, I, I I thought it was the first time I played it came out. I think in like ninety or ninety one. Yeah. And uh, my buddy was like, "Dude, you got to play Doom." And I was like, "All right, we'll get the guy." I thought it was on Sega because back then we were all playing Sega and PlayStation. They're like, yeah. "No, it's on the computer." I was like, "Well, fuck, I don't even know how to turn a computer on." So then I had after that I started playing it. It's cool, man. Yeah, that's great. a game that's evolved um, from just you know. Uh, what was it like? Flat brick walls, and you're kind of going around corners and shooting stuff. And now uh, the game, the, the the last one that came out, just looks amazing. And yeah, uh, great, great storyline, really creepy. How does that uh, translate into the movie? Uh, very well. We kept yeah. it very very loyal to the video game, and you know, it's that unapologetic approach that the video game had with its blood and its gut and its and its, and its gore, and that's what we did. That's great because I like the, I like the scary shit in those games, like. Uh, you're walking around the music series, you come around the corner, and boom, there's something there that uh, just scares the shit out of you. <laughs> That's exactly what you get in the movie. That's great. And you, <laughs> you get to work with some of those fun, unique weapons? Oh, yeah, of course. Like like the BFG? Yeah. The big fucking gun. <laughs> the big fucking gun, Daddy. <laughs> the BFG. And uh, the chainsaw? Uh, Chainsaw's in there, Pinky Demon's in there, the Baron, the Imp, every, every, everybody's in there. One thing I really liked from the trailer I saw was uh, the fact that they kind of incorporate that first-person shooter view in on a few of your kills. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that, that's, that's a scene that just it blows, you, blows you away. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, you get to see him go at uh, one of those creatures with a chainsaw. <laughs> it's pretty nice. It's exactly what Doom should be. Yeah. Like made into a movie, yeah. Did you go into hell and everything? That whole hell? Uh, the portal, yeah. yeah the all, portal. Like all that stuff. And all the demons are from hell. Hey, uh, Rock, at this point, do you have just scripts piled up all the way to the ceiling? I got a lot, man. You know, we filmed Doom. I filmed Doom over in Prague. We started last October, and I've been working since. I'm going to take a break after, as soon as I as soon as Doom comes out. How many other movies you got out there that are coming out? Um, I got... Two others coming out next year. Uh, one wow. called Gridiron Gang, yeah. and uh, another one called Southland Tales. <laughs> what you guys will love. I'll give you the uh, log line on this: is uh, uh, Sarah Michelle Geller, who plays a porn star, nice. is, is my girlfriend. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, but it gets better because Mandy Moore is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> God, you have the life. <laughs> He's got the life. When are you going to play somebody retarded or gay so you can just make that step over? Get the Oscar. Into, into yeah. Oscar. Yeah. You need the Oscar role. You're going to either have AIDS, retarded, or gay for you to yeah. make right, that move, Rock. man. Yeah, when are you going for the Oscar role? <laughs> what is that move, Rock? AIDS, retarded, and gay. You're, yeah, yeah oh, all three. Or you play win. Uh, Little you Richard win. in the movie. Dude. Actually, and the winner of the Oscar <laughs> is The Rock. Let's bring The Rock up. I'm the Rock <laughs> smelling an Oscar, people. And Actually, Sean Penn goes, I can't. And believe I'm leaving now. They're giving wrestles. <laughs> Hold on a second, though. Eric just handed me a note, and, and yeah. he's correct. Uh, the Rock was gay and be cool, right? Oh, that's yeah. right. But that was a fun gay. He has yeah. to be like a gay guy going through some pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of crying. His mother rubs his shoulders. It's like that. That didn't count gay. That was like just flamboyant gay. Don't win an Oscar. <laughs> sitting in a robe, petting his dog, waiting for a friend to come over. <laughs> <laughs> like this kind of retarded guy, like yeah, that don't yeah. win Oscar. It's like I have feelings that he has that play that kind of game. That retarded. <laughs> I love and you oh, love too. Oh man, what are you doing uh, with the WWE these days? You pop in, you you say a few catchphrases, you run out. No, not not so much. You know, I've uh, he's and, done. You, you know yeah. what it is? Oh, I, when God. I when I retired, I really wanted to do it quietly. Like, right. I never wanted to be that guy. You know, and I grew up in the business. You guys know that. I don't sure, love, yeah, you pop, everything. So, um, I just wanted to do it quietly. I never wanted to say, you know, I'm retired and make a big deal about it. Because everybody who retires, you know, you see them like two two weeks later. Yeah. <clears throat> so I just didn't want to be that guy. I just wanted to thank everybody. I thank the old man. I thank everybody in the back. And Yeah. Aloha. Obviously, though, you still have some kind of relationship with him because of that name. Yeah. Uh, he must be loving the fact 
that uh, a check gets sent over to him every time you use the rock. <laughs> No, no, not necessarily. What happens is we, we have a dual ownership, so what he can do, he could still make the dolls, the, the wrestling dolls, the T-shirts and stuff like that. And he I doesn't do... get a piece of your movie, though? No. Oh, no. wow, well, that's you, nice. You had a good deal. Uh, it's the best. So <laughs> if you went to Dwayne Johnson, would that be like a dick move if you did that? Nah, uh, no, it wouldn't be a dick move. I mean, he'd understand it, but I mean, when he... what, what's happened now, it's kind of naturally taken uh, it's a life of its own on, where everybody just refers to me as Dwayne Rock Johnson. Yeah. <clears throat> you know did, he, I mean? did he beg you to like retire, like just like let Kane give you one last something from hell, and, like, <laughs> <laughs> so, never no, see, no. just like you know the death is. of the Rock, throw you off a building, and <laughs> just never seen again. I'm sure, <laughs> no one thinks you wanted the big ending. You know, yeah, we light you on fire and <laughs> drop you from the top of the arena. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never uh, to come back. No, he was he was cool, man. He uh, yeah. and plus, you know, I just I did the business the right way. It's like, okay, yeah. you need me to put anybody over who yeah, it doesn't matter whether it's Brock Lesnar. Or when I leave, it's like whoever. Yeah. Whoever. So, uh, so you're officially saying you're done with wrestling, huh? Um, well, All it took was one of those Hollywood paychecks to come rolling. Said, yeah. Oh, <laughs> he, put yeah. he put the Arab dude over. He put the Arab dude over. Yeah. He? Um. A little bit. Who? Uh, yeah. The one with D'Lo? No, the Arab. Not, no, not D'Lo. He's an Indian. The other, the new guy that that got banned. See, I don't know. I don't know the no. characters the, that that much. These Muhammad, days. didn't you come back and put him over or something? No. On, on no, Raw no, one no. day? No. Oh, mm, so, Muhammad. Was in my mind. I thought. No. Was no. no. All right. Hey, 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 what's your next interview? Uh, man, cow. Ah, there you go. <laughs> oh, have fun with that one. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah, that's have fun to talk politics. That's great. We got the rock on. Ah. <laughs> Radio people are as petty as wrestling people. <laughs> And we can't wait to get our big movie deal so we can leave this stupid business with <laughs> like, too. Yeah, Trust right. me, Rock. You get that $20 million check, you're like, out. Yeah. Radio what? <laughs> XM like, what? Off. Patrice O'Neill who? <laughs> well, uh, Rock, best of luck. And, of Thanks, course, uh, Doom out today. Go check that out. I appreciate uh, it. It is The Rock. I appreciate Ladies it. Gentlemen. Hey, Thanks, by the way, man. isn't it the best to be on XM? Uh, it's oh, hell whatever. yeah. <laughs> yeah, no more uh, crap having to sit and dance around language and stuff. No more stuff. bullshit. I love it. Yep. I love, it. I love the fact that The Rock is just cursing freely. Yeah. Do it on your happy. next interview, Rock. <laughs> if you're so comfortable, just throw the F-bomb out on Man Cow's show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, good fucking morning. <laughs> God, this guy's living the life. He's the happiest man right, in the great. world. All right, Rock. All right, fellas. Thanks, man. Thanks. All the best to you. Okay, you too. All right, there he goes. Rock. So wow, that's what I mean. How Chris Jericho. Hey, dude. Looking, doing, looking like, an, like an actor or like something. Like a businessman. He is beautiful right what now. What happened to Chris Jericho? How beautiful yeah, Chris looks. I am now Chris Jericho, famous author. <laughs> so he has to dress the part and everything? Yes, I have to dress. I have, I have a monocle and an ascot and a pipe. <laughs> and I sit in front of a raging fire reading seg segments from my novel. It's been a while, man. Where have you it been? It has been, man. It's, I was, it's fun to see you guys again. It's funny because... Uh, we were uh, trying to get through, and they're like, I don't know, new producer, old producer. And I was like, I'm going to no call producer. Opie no and Anthony. Producer, no producer. <laughs> yeah, we I'm call just going to no call producer. you. I'm just going to show up outside the window and go, <laughs> Opie! Hey, remember me? <laughs> yeah, man. I've just been uh, been working on this book and uh, been doing a couple other things, but fucking writing a book, man. I, I got to be honest. Holy I, I, I haven't been able to read it yet. There's so many authors coming by these days. My, I got, like, they're stacking <laughs> up in my yeah. house. Because I really try to read a little before you guys come in. But I'll tell you this much. It's called uh, A Lion's Tale by Chris Jericho. And uh, right on the front cover, Mick Foley writes, Thoughtful, thorough, and laugh out loud funny. Jericho's book is winner. And I've heard uh, further from Mick that he's scared that your book is uh, way better than his. And I loved his book. Well, I that's mean, the that's, plug I'm I mean, giving you today. I, that's all you. I could give you. Well, I think this book's in the same vein as, as Mick's first one is, and obviously that's kind of the, the top of the mountain. You want to try and write that if you because the reason why this book is 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 a lot of fun is, is it's not just a book written for wrestling fans. It's a book written for people that don't know about wrestling because it's more the story of this dream I had from wanting to be a wrestler at eight years old, watching wrestling with my grandma in her basement, forced well, to. Well, I'll slow you down a second. Who did you watch when you were eight? <laughs> 
AWA was from Minnesota. Some I of the guys, Winnipeg. though, so that it was, we uh, might Hulk, know. Hulk Hogan, okay. when he first started, before he went to WB, and the guys like Nick Bockwinkel and Baron Von Raschke and all these wacky guys from Minneapolis. And I watched Bugs Bunny at 5, and I watched Hockey Night in Canada at 7, and wrestling was on in the middle. But because my grandma was in charge of the TV, you couldn't change the channel. That's all there was to it. You're, wa- you're watching wrestling! So that's how I got into it right off the bat. And then that's, soon afterwards, I was like, I'm going to do this. I want to be a wrestler. Right. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm 8 years old. I'm like a <laughs> Eight years old. Yeah, exactly. So I love Tom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little, little so much, sack on a pole. The Child League, which was really underground. <laughs> Very much so. It was a sweatshop. Fighting kids. Yeah, so that's kind of the, that's kind of the deal, and this is like this is how I followed my my dream of becoming a wrestler. But all around the world, going to Mexico and Japan and Germany and all these different places, and, and not just the things that happen in the ring, but like some of the things that happen outside of the ring, the life threatening situations and the dangerous things that happened. And so it's kind of the, that's the tale. I think that's why people are digging it. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, man. Was it uh, was it hard to write? I'll tell you what. I thought, well, I'm going to write this book. And, I know uh, Jimmy just wrote a book uh, too, dude. and uh, he just made it seem like it was easy. Well, then he's a genius, man, because it took oh, me about 18 months to write this thing. And even crazier was that uh, I, we had twins last summer, and I have a, I have a son too. So my wife would be with the twins. I'd put my son to bed at 10. I'd write from 10 to 3 in the morning, then get up with my son at 7. And that was my schedule for like 18 months. It was like being a, a radio host or something. You like know, five yeah. hours a night, man? That's, that's amazing, though, to, to, to do that. You have to kind of do that to like just regiment yourself, and I was never able to do that. It's tough. And then, you know, I'm such a control freak. I edited it myself. I wrote all the, you know, all the oh, copy you're dead. and everything. Took pick the pictures, uh, cool. pick the captions. But once Good. again, I think that's why it works because if this is my story, I don't want anybody else writing it. Right, right. No one else is going to know how to do it like I can. You're happy with the way it came out, right? Yeah, like it's exactly the way I wanted it. Good. Exactly. Because I'm obsessed with it. I'm an, I'm an idiot. You do a good show, too, <laughs> on uh, on uh, on XM, man. Do you still do the show? I, I got fired off of XM. Why? I, all right. They had a new program. Way to go, Jimmy. They had well, a new no, yeah, but I uh, uh, It was on Sunday nights and, and, and you played good stuff, man. Two years For two years I had the show and then they got a new program director and you guys know how that works. Wait, what the... What show did I was he on do? The, I was on the Boneyard. Yes, it was called the Rock Best Station on uh, next to this one. It was <laughs> called yes, yeah, yeah, close man. I, I, what you just played whatever you wanted. Yeah, the Rock of Jericho. It was called. And I Very did it cool. For two years, two hours, man. It was fun. But then uh, I had a new program director. What were your favorite hair bands growing up? I was more. I was more than the hardest of. Although like, Boneyard's maiden. more than hair bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, not, that's, I was, being, that's I was not fair. Of, really, great. Maiden guy, Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden, Dio, and, and those type of guys. How about you, Patrice? What was your favorite hair metal band? Um, I knew a lot of them. Patrice knows no white trip, stuff. Yeah. I, know he does. I, I know what you were doing. I'm trying Christ, to get this have an answer for you. I'm you know, you, man, the paper. you know what? That's very fair of you because I, I, I'm doing some asshole shit right now. I'm just the shit you was talking about. Just it was just bugging me. So <laughs> let me. <laughs> he, was, he was reading the paper, man. He was reading the sports. I was section. just seeing how much, how many stars they gave American Gangster, and you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Patrice has a great way. <laughs> you know what? You're fucking absolutely right. I just, I was just disgusting. You have a great, I'm with you now. You have a great way of making people feel insane. Significant. This is my life. Yeah. Once upon a time. <laughs> yeah, he's and really he's like, pouring his three soul stars. Out. That's bullshit. Right. Everybody's figuring out names of books. I'm gonna call it. So <laughs> he was going through them like, hmm, first one is top rope. <laughs> Your favorite no, hair band, no, Patrice. No. Let's go. <laughs> favorite hair band. Um, He'll have an answer for I you, would, Chris. I would say. Um, no, 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 no. Ozzy wasn't a hairband. No, that wasn't a hairband. Who said that? that? Chris um, would agree that Ozzy was a hack. You, you would agree oh, with that, boy. right? No, I can't, man. <laughs> you know, I I just I, want one guy to say it in front of Jimmy. Ha- Hairbands were very um, one hit wonderish. So I can't imagine mm-hmm. there was a there was a a one that was like this hair man hair got mixed in with all of it. They were great. It seems like they were Molly Crew. Well, there's a couple that stuck on, out more. Come on, no, it's a bunch of that mess. Ah, Clint Ryan, Clint Ryan. But that's it's what Patrice they, you know. O'Neal's I want to rock. And Chris's sister. Chris's sister. Come on, let's go. I don't know any other twi- uh, uh, Molly Crew. You know Molly Crew. I would. Uh, would you s- welcome to the jungle? Guns N' Roses. Yeah, Guns N' Roses is hardly a one hit wonder. Yeah. Probably the greatest band. Let me tell you that. Wonder. Maybe Patrice no, no, is no. the Rose most is knowledgeable black man on white people I've ever <laughs> known in my life. I, 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 ever. <laughs> I yeah. mean, to, to have the reference not, point to pull it, but no. I know these. Uh, he knows us like one learns their enemy. He doesn't like white stuff. He studies white people so he can hurt us with our own enemy. The art of war. He uses them against us. That's right. Of course he does. He does a lot of war. When it, when it comes to twisted systems, he hates no. all things white. But he knows them all, yeah. It was back, there was a time, it, I would think we talked about it before, but there was a time where you knew each other's music. There was a time where, like right now, 
now is got to be a bad time for white music because I know nothing. But, but, you yeah, don't yeah. hear it. But I was forced to listen to it growing up. You just hear, you heard white music. I knew R.E.M. I knew this, that, and the third. Now I don't know anything, but I knew Twisted Sister. But you're kind of right, though. There's not a lot of new bands that that are really that popular that are crossing over. I can't even think of hardly any new bands that I like recently. White people music is is dead right now. I hear you don't like it. Well, like music Mother first. Or... I like Wolf Mother. I like Avenged Sevenfold. There's a couple bands that are pretty cool. Yeah, but it's not like he's saying like it was nah. back in the day when everyone knew who, who Quiet Riot was or everyone. Let's knew not who, forget yeah. that we're talking to the lead singer of Fozzie here. You well, know? That's right. Absolutely. Which I to this day, and this is what I'm saying. If I really was deep deep entrenched, I would go. I would. I just thought you were doing a wrestling thing. I did not. I thought realize. it was a work. Right. Yeah. That's right. I just didn't realize this was Definitely. a serious well, thing the, for the, you. The first time I ever did O and A was when I first started following oh, you. Doing, fuck! Like, you wouldn't doing, break character. Doing, doing like a Spinal Tap Blues Brothers thing where I came in as Moon Goose McQueen, which was my yeah, alter ego. Was, <laughs> we were and, calling you Mule Juice. Mule Juice. <laughs> Mule Juice <laughs> McDick. The first time, like you guys didn't know who I was. I didn't know who you guys. We've come were. a long way, Chris. I, it was so funny because like you guys were trying to make, make me break character. I wouldn't do it. You were busting my balls. I was busting your balls. The best thing was, and you guys probably remember this. And Andrew Dice Clay was there, and Dice was, he didn't have a clue what was going on. He was like, well, is this guy a wrestler? Is he a singer? Yeah. And you guys are going, he's a wrestler, and I'm going, I'm a singer. He goes, listen, he says he's a singer, he's a singer. Give him a break. So it was Jericho and Dice versus Opie and Anthony, yeah. Moon Goose McQueen. What, what, Moon pissed, Goose. what pissed us off, too, because we were huge fans of your wrestling back yeah. then, especially, and we're like, fuck this stupid I, music yeah, thing. I we want to talk to Chris Jericho, but, the wrestler. Just how, but like, then how you proved us wrong at the time. Because the Fozzie thing did take off, and it, and, and it, it became you know this, this thing for a while. Yeah, there was yeah. so much going on with your character at the time. We wanted to kind of talk about that, and you wouldn't even fucking it was, break I just, character. I was being such oh, a, was I was being so pretentious. Oh, you were. Do it. We used to and, make and, fun and, of your Pebbles hairdo and everything. <laughs> everything, man. <laughs> it's so funny though. Up, like man. now we're like buzz. Yeah. That's what are we? Oh to my start? god, you got us so pissed off. We actually were calling your hairdo a cum fountain. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you guys were so mad at me. Yeah, <laughs> that was so funny. And can I ask you? Um, <laughs> that was awful. You were, you was a heel during the time of Fozzie, right? And so would you be, since it was a serious thing, <laughs> was you upset when the crowd would boo you like because you was a heel, but you was actually doing your good music and they like fucked Chris Jericho at the time? It was tough because, yeah, when we first started, like, like it was just a total schizo thing. I was I was doing the Andy Kaufman, Tony Clifton. Like, I was not <laughs> Chris Jericho. I was Moon Goose. I came from Japan. Chris Jericho was a fan of mine. And we do. It was a couple of times we played live, and, and and people would start to boo. And at the time, it was cool. Like this is great. And then after a while, like man, we really fucked ourselves because people booed this yeah. as like a, a heel thing. That's a good right, question. That's what I'm saying. And then when you know, then when we took it more of a serious thing, people didn't know if it was real. Is it bullshit? So it was kind of a weird place. Because at first it was just a fun thing. We did it just just for fun. And then we started getting really good. And then we said well, we should try and take this a little bit further. But but because we started in such a weird way, it was hard to kind of break out of that. But we finally ended up doing that, like you said. Mm -hmm. so. Now you're doing the WWE. Like I, I see a lot of stuff when the WWE guys branch off into if different areas. Like I seen Condemned. Condemned was pretty good, by the way, with Steve Austin. I enjoyed that movie. You know oh, did it really? I, I like the movie. That was the uh, he was a convict on an he was island a or whatever, yeah. and I thought and that it was pretty damn yeah. good. And he didn't overdo it, but. Like, are you doing your stuff now with all this WWE thing attached? Like, can you be just Chris well, Jericho by no. yourself? Well, or, did, or no? He hasn't wrestled in a while, but there's a heavy rumor, I mean, rumor, that he's going back. He ain't to the going WWE. back. This dude is he's an He's going actor. back. See his muscles, see his arms. He's lost weight. <laughs> are you insane? <laughs> no, 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 no. He's in shape. See, he's regular guy in shape now. Do you see The Rock now? He's regular guy. He's skinny big. guy. He's, he's not wrestling big anymore. He's regular in shape normal guy big now and that's he's not going back to no fucking wrestling well, even no. so even if he did it's all about personality and a lot of guys have forgotten that nowadays now you did you guys know that patrice actually worked in the yeah. wwe he used to write he used to write there for uh, how long and like a month a, or a, 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 <laughs> a month I got five seriously i'm not even Look, joking let me tell you something when you're in that thing it's like you got to be in it and i just wasn't seven. in it and, yeah. and i just had to get fired but i i loved it but my thing is when I did met, Vince McMahon fire you personally? The no, angry uh, Vince? No, Stephanie did. He didn't go, yo, Stephanie, five. you Stephanie are did. fired. She fired me. Patrice, she fired I'd me. like to see you in my office. <laughs> <laughs> she fired me eight times. You stink. <laughs> you know, I've been going through some of your writing, and it stinks. I, let me tell you something. You know how you're proud of something? I'm going to write my own material. <laughs> I, got a little, I got a little sketch I want to run uh, past you right about now. 
<laughs> How about this one? You write me something. I think it sucks ass, and you're fine. <laughs> that was you like that sketch? Do you like it? <laughs> he was very. He was. I told you guys that I've only had. I've only blinked slow at three dudes in my life. Like where I wear. <laughs> Like, where I'm just like... Blink slow. Yeah, you're all you're tearing holding back with tears. It was just, you know, that... What's that music? Awestruck. It just... <laughs> little bird. Wah, 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 wah. And he was one. And because it was just... He, his aura was magnificent. Yeah, he is And quite none the, of the wrestlers... Personality. I had that. Like, I, I, when I was doing it, no, I met the wrestlers. Like, hey, what's happening? Like, Tess is as big of a human being as you can see. But you just go, hey, how you doing? And this is how you doing? And and at that time, I didn't meet him at the time, but he was one of the big heavies. He's like one of the guys that could ride in a jet uh, from yeah. where they go into the next day, and then everybody else had to like I'll take the bus use or, a skateboard yeah, we, we or fucking be on a train. We didn't associate with the guy. We didn't associate with the lowly riders. <laughs> <laughs> they sat in the front, and and the riders were in the back where the plane is. You know, just, <laughs> you're on Vince's plane and all that. The, the riders go with Vince. Wow. The writers stay with Vince. The writers don't get there on their own because they got to write the shows. And the thing that that was great about and Vince. you got 10 wrestlers wow. in a van piling in. <laughs> piling in, but it would be. It arena would be, to arena. It would be him. But you were one of the guys that the, got. The, the Undertaker, Stone Cold, The Rock, and maybe now. Mick Foley. Rey Mysterio might be on. But the the guy with the uh, pituitary gland thing, <laughs> he's not on. Um, the giant Indian who should just be removed from wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> the pituitary. That's his gimmick. Ladies and gentlemen, weighing 500 pounds, the, the pituitary, pituitary gland. gland. He has Rey Mysterio's legs and, uh, and yeah. Kane's body. They, Kane's upper torso. <laughs> they've been trying to get the new Andre the Giant for years. Yeah. Forever. Yeah. And the giant, but they can't Big get it Show figured out. was him. And, but I don't know what happened. But Big Show was him. Big Show is definitely the new Andre the Giant. Wait, you were a guy that was a headliner for wrestling. You told me about him. Is he still the same dude? He was like a young little, guy. Little, yeah, little white dude. He's the guy. He's like. Now, why is he got to be a white he's dude? He's the guy. He, yeah. Because he is. <laughs> he's not a little black dude. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just be a dude. Yeah, no, you look a little dude. I'm tired you of white people trying to like make that? things colorless. Because no. <laughs> you can't say nigger no more. I can still be well, racial. Hey, and you I'm can gonna, say it. We I've been yes indeedy. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, yes indeedy. <laughs> I like to use race to describe things. Uh, <laughs> So do we. We're, we're just not yes. allowed anymore. Yes, We've had we our can't balls do that. cut off. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be in the plane writing, and the big stars would be in the front of the plane. It would be going from arena to arena. It wasn't arena. him, but I knew who it, I knew who the guys was. It would be Triple H without a question. I, and I and I think the pecking order is probably Triple H is at the top of the the pile because he, he's married to his daughter for one, and he's just you know the dude. But Undertaker very close. Jericho was very close. Uh, Stone Cold very close in terms of they got. Cause they would do, they would work every goddamn day. But then it would be like, I would say seven guys that can get on a plane with Vince and and be comfortable. That weren't like, uh, uh, it, it was it was. Uh, who the else would you say? I, I didn't miss you got anybody. Them all, though. You got yeah, them all. it's all of them. And the That's rest about is it. right. Are know. they nervous around Vince? Because I don't know. Not I, dudes like him. Dudes who can talk are not nervous around Vince. Dudes who can mm. do a shoot interview. Uh, the Kurt Angles, the he the guys no, what, what who it is, can it, talk. It's just he's like you said. It's a very intimidating presence. And when you first start out, until you have that confidence and have a little bit of leverage. I mean, sure. still, of course, you're still scared of him. He's your boss. I mean, sometimes you want to kill him, but um, it's one of those things. After a while, you just got to treat him like a normal guy. Or else, you, you, he he's got so many yes men surrounding him. He's sick of yes men. So you got to sometimes just tell him. You know, I didn't get a harumph out of you. <laughs> <laughs> this coffee is too cold. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, Thank boss. you, sir. Yes, what about me? Boss. Bad idea. Good what idea. About Thank me, you. Boss. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So that's kind of the deal with that. And you asked me before about about if I could write this book within the WWE world. I like because I took a step back and not working with the company, I was able to write the book the way I wanted to write so it. So this is your book. This it's is my not book. An association it, with it, the, it doesn't the, even talk beautiful. about the WWE. It's just my time to get there. It took me nine years to get there, and this is the journey to get there. So which is good because if I would have written it with, within their system, you'd probably it would have leave been all a few, WWE stuff, and you yeah. would have left a few things. I out, remember probably. the day you yeah. came in. On in 1999, like the right. when, that's it, right. When Good it memory. Was, uh, because there was the whole thing was uh, Y2 uh, Y2K. 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 Uh, Y2K. No, Y2K. 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 Y2K.
where they go, okay, they trying to make him big. One, if you fucked around with Rock, and if you fucked around with uh, The Taker, would be like, okay, they got, they trying to push him in. And, and he, they put him on with The Rock right away on a word battle with, with The Rock, where he, where, when he, Rock would go, it doesn't matter what you think at that time. And they put him in when the Y2J character came out. That, that's when, you know, they was like, damn, they trying to push, they gonna push this guy. Like, you know, big. it's funny trying to explain the kids nowadays when they, nowadays, and they ask me, well, what does Y2J mean? And I have to explain the kids like 10. Yeah. He doesn't know what Y2K is. So trying to play Y2J, you just get this blank look of that makes no sense. It's like, well, it doesn't really make sense, but it would if you were like over 30. <laughs> it's a great nickname if you're older. So you got beat up by uh, Bret Hart's Everyone. dad that you did, you was in. Oh, the basement in, thing? Yeah, actually, I, I moved from Winnipeg well, to Calgary. Well, explain the basement. That was uh, the dungeon. Red Hot's father, the dungeon. dungeon. Yeah, all the Canadian guys got beat up. Yeah. They had they had a dungeon there. It was called. And it was basically Bre- uh, Stu Hart's basement, and it was a, a small little room and had a low hanging ceiling. It looked like the basement from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, where there's these pipes everywhere. I'm looking at the book, and there's yeah, there's a picture of it, obviously. Uh, in the back that you weren't going to include, which I found very interesting that you wrote that, and you, you did eventually bring it in. Which, which yeah, there's a, the, obviously throughout the course of this book, um, Chris Benoit is a huge part of it because he mm-hmm. was he was a big influence on me both professionally and, and personally. I met him in '92 in Calgary, and I was a fan of his from from watching him. In, you know, he was only a couple years older than me, but um, so he became like a big brother and a mentor, and we traveled the world together for years. This story ends in 1999. It's the story of my career, like I said, from '90 90 to '99. So I finished the book in, in May. And then uh, in June is when all the stuff went. When you know all the stuff happened with him, so um, I went back and I was able to to go through the book and I, I wanted to see like how it would read and how it resonate, knowing that I talked so positively about this guy and so many great experiences, mm-hmm. but then it ended off in such a horrible way. So uh, there was a picture of him and his wife and myself and Stu Hart at Owen Hart's funeral, Stu's son. And I was going to take the the picture out, but then I thought to take it out would be to suggest that, that he, they never existed and they did exist and this time frame happened. Uh, so I left it in there. I thought you know, it would be like you know, having something with the Twin Towers and editing it out. Like, mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Just yeah. because it ended in a bad way still doesn't mean it didn't exist. So what I did do is I wrote a forward that just said, you know, this is the guy that I knew between these years because it'd be like a big black cloud hanging over this book. It's a very funny, humorous, comedic, positive story. But if you didn't address the Benoit situation, I think it would really read a little bit strange. So I was able to go through and, and you know, kind of write a little thing about it. So and it sounds uh, it sounds crazy because every time there's something awful happens, people look back at the person or their life and go, "Wow, was there anything that indicated uh, what was what was coming?" You 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 look back on your history with him, and there's nothing you can look back on that was an indicator. No, right? absolutely not. Like like if I had to go somewhere, I would uh, I would have left my kids with him. Like that's how much the, my best friend that I ever had in the business, and that's wow. what makes it even harder. Like I have to deal with this every day. For other, you know, I'm not saying it in a bad way, but for other people, that the big story happens and something else right. happens, and two months from now, it's kind of just, oh yeah, I remember that the wrestler guy. For me, it's like every day of my life, I have to deal with it and try and figure out, you know, what do you think it was? I mean, was yeah, it, was dude, it you can't just think. A moment of rage i mean I, you, we'll never know we're not wired to think that way i mean if you get that that insane or mental problem or it could be demon possession for all i know i have no idea there were never signs no, never nothing nothing so just you know something we gotta, yeah, gotta yeah. deal with so and he was uh, yeah. he really helped out uh, your career over the years totally as, you as guys a, were really close professionally and, uh, and personally you were Gr- close with eddie guerrero too yeah. right yeah very and much he's now so. gone as yeah, actually well dedicated the book to eddie um right. way early on uh, yeah he that was a that one was maybe even harder in a different way because it was such a surprise and such a shock and Eddie was such a sweet guy man just a good dude and you know had had a lot of great times with him just the thing about the book I mean there's I, I wrote a thing in the back of all the guys that are in the book that actually aren't around to check it out there's Owen Hart Owen Hart Brian Pillman I mean there's tons of guys it, it, you know wrestling it, it kind of gets glossed over unless something bad happens no one ever really hears much about the positive side of it but it's such a difficult <clears throat> job because there's only a handful of people in the world that can do it at, at a high level but there's millions Millions of fans that want to see it everywhere worldwide. So it's very mentally and physically taxing and grueling. It's it's you know it's a tough job. I have to say, dude, I, we I know, and this is the thing. It's like I'm a wrestling fan, and I mean we're not gonna gloss over it because even Vince McMahon tries to give it something else because they know it's not. You know, a, a, a two hundred pound man punching another two hundred pound man in the face is is death. <laughs> yeah, but to watch them, what they are, and I'm not trying to marginalize it, they are stuntmen who can act so they're falling like after everything there's a guy running in a room with some dude trying to 
put his his uh his dislocated uh you know back in back in place like a chiropractor who goes hey what you do i think i, I think i probably slipped a disc in my neck and you just see it going <laughs> crack back in all right tomorrow all right, when you're on there. the bus you got to do it again but you 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 give them a piece of paper that you wrote words on and they fucking just go all right they read it. all right let me tell you something motherfucker i'm gonna knock your head off <laughs> and then they fly through the air on tables and shit and it, it's a respect you should have, not on the fact that, okay, we know it's not real. You didn't really kick him in his balls. But show business. This shit. Yeah, it's show but business. But it's, <laughs> it's dudes are talented. Yeah, but yeah. there's also... Talented some, guys. They're also taking some real shots. The, the wrestling did change. Like, I, I, I was watching some old wrestling. It was on cable or something. And it was beyond fake. Where they were barely hitting yeah, each other. But yeah. the new guys, they actually do hit each yeah. other. And, and take some shots. Not obviously not the over the top moves, but they're taking some. Yeah, yeah. you can make mistakes. There's a guy who's not walking now. Uh, the draws draws yeah. b mistakes, oh, no. man. Yeah. There's there's a story in my book from when I was in Knoxville. I I, I was practicing before the match and I I broke my arm literally. Like I was looking at it and it had this weird little divot in it. So I Oof. went to the hospital. He uh, he said well, you got to have surgery right now. And I said well I just have this wrestling appearance I have to make. And I'll just he goes okay well tomorrow at seven a.m. you're getting surgery. So of course, I basically snuck out of the hospital, went back to the arena, dumbest thing, put my gear on. The promoter was all like, what the fuck you break your arm for? And I was like, don't worry, I'm still going to wrestle. Okay, no problem. So then uh, I went in the ring. I wrestled this match with a broken arm. I had aspirin in my system. I was all like whacked out. And uh, I got cut open. I was bleeding like you know, looked like a, a reject from the Carrie movie. Like a bucket of blood just dumped all over me. And I'm on the floor with a broken arm, bleeding everywhere. And there's this puddle of blood. And there's like this total uh, stereotypical redneck hillbilly. He's wearing like the overalls with the big gut hanging out, little cowboy like goofy cowboy hat. And he might as well had like the hay hay uh, straw. And he's like, that ain't real blood. <laughs> and I was thinking like, you asshole. Fuck. He goes, that ain't real blood. And he puts <clears throat> his finger in it. And he like tastes it, and he's like, "Yeah, that ain't real blood." And first, I'm like, "How gross are you? Like, how, does my, <laughs> how does my DNA taste?" And second of all, how could it not be real blood? I have no shirt on. Would I have a magical pump in my, <laughs> yeah. in, my in my in my pants? And I got a magical pump in my pants, all right. But you know, it's like, is this, is this is this blood just coming from nowhere? But I mean, that's kind of the, some of the stuff that, that you go through. But I just love that guy just like, licking the blood, like mm, that ain't real blood. Let's I know what real blood Dro tastes like. Yeah. Is it anybody cold, you fucking horn? hate in the business, man? Hey, dude, you know what, man? At this level, you're just a professional. You go out there. Some guys that rub you the wrong way, but it's business. You know, it's business. Who rubs you the wrong way? This guy, you know, you want okay, to get not who, See, But what type of personality rubs you the wrong way? Guys that take themselves too seriously, and that's a good way to ask that question, Patrice. Because at this stage of the game, like I said, I had this goal and this dream that I accomplished. I win. I'm not bitter towards anybody. Some guys are assholes. Fuck them. I don't care. I'm happy. You know, I'm, I'm, I, I did what I wanted to do. But guys that take themselves too seriously, especially on this job, because this is show business, and it's it's common. Comedy, man, like just you got to have fun with it and then enjoy yourself. And you know, it's it's not real. So. You hit him a, a little extra hard. Well, not not here, but overseas. You know, like when I first started going over to Japan, for example, being a foreign guy, they don't like having the foreign guys over there as much. At least they didn't used to in the early nineties. So it would be a little bit more of a, of a fight. You know, the first guy, the first match I ever had in Japan, I worked wrestled this guy called Weda, and he was a kickboxer who actually wore boxing gloves in the ring. And this yeah. was before there was MMA. It was kind of this weird mixed martial arts wrestling company and uh this this dude came in man and he wasn't pulling anything he was kicking me and punching me like i could see it in his eyes you know who's this little fucking foreign guy so you know what he nailed me so hard and i was just getting the crap kicked out of me and, and there was no <clears throat> rules in this company it was called fmw so I just went to the floor and I grabbed a chair and I, I went back in the ring and he turned his back on the pretty boy and I just I I hit him in the head as hard as I could with the chair with the chair I was like fuck this and man you could just see him he just like wilted and just fell down and after that he was very nice very very easy to work with afterwards but <laughs> you know you just kind of had to, to kind of had to get yourself some space and get a little respect the right. same thing in Mexico too the foreign guys come in they didn't like it it was a little more of a, of a, of a shoot until until they knew that you could actually work together and then the, the, the point of the business. Is is to work together it's like improv comedy you want to work together to put on the best show and the more you put the other guy over the better it is for everybody Where as the guy's about to hit you with a chair someone yells freeze <laughs> exactly freeze <laughs> now you hit me with a rubber chicken <laughs> it's a, it's a, I, I hate being such a giddy wrestling fan it just bothers me but I, I just love it I just you know I just love where do you, you know? yeah where do you guys uh, hide the razor blades I've always wanted to know that it's a magician's secret 
a lot of guys have different places to put it, but it's it's an art form, man, because... Because you, they could get in the way and then cut you when you oh, don't want to be yeah. cut. Yeah. I'm sure that's happened. And you, I it, always want to know that question. I think like, I know, actually. The, they put it, like, on the thigh, like, the, the scrotum covers it on the thigh, and they get action right in there. <laughs> yeah. if, you, if you cut your horn off, that's just part of the business, man. That's just but the way it goes. But your forehead looks okay. You don't have the dusty rose head. Yeah, well, that was more of a step. <laughs> yeah. Holy. When, he, when him and B Abdullah the Butcher used just, the road, you know, the road butter knives. <laughs> 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 the ro the ro road map on the foreheads. <laughs> it does, it's just hard to look at it. Yeah. Some of the guys just took, you know, yeah. There was more careful. <laughs> what am I trying to say? They weren't careful. That's there was sure. guys in Mexico because they were wear masks there. They're all like cultural superheroes, like comic book heroes. Their chins would be totally scarred up, like 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 they had a beard of scars because oh, only their man. mouths are showing. So they couldn't do it on, under the mask. They would do their chin instead. So like these guys, like totally normal face with like this horrible goatee of scars. <laughs> That sounds like a horror movie. Go to your yeah, did, did you plan for the future where you're like, look, man, I like in your contract was like, I will bleed only on pay per views. No, I just just do it. I mean, you're smart about it. Yeah, like some guys thought it was cool. Like I'm gonna get bloody. I'm hardcore, and it's like, fuck, man, you just got you're gonna look stupid. Like when you're 50, <laughs> walking around with a road map on your forehead. Did they tell you you had to get bloody for this one, that one, or would it, would it just be kind of like you said, this is a good one to get bloody on? Shit, like I said, it's show business, man. So it's all it's all an elaborate show. Um, mm. You know, like I said, that's the most important thing. It's like it's like a Shakespearean morality play for the modern era. There's a good guy, there's a bad guy, there's a confrontation, there's a denouement, and there's a finish. And then that's kind of if Shakespeare was alive today, he'd be writing wrestling shows. Do you have a favorite match quote. ever? Uh, got a lot of them. Probably WrestleMania 19 against Shawn Michaels uh, in Seattle at the Enormo Dome or whatever the hell it was called. That was a good one because a lot of people said it was the best match on the show. And at WrestleMania is like the Super Bowl, so if you want to get out there and put on a show, that's the time to do it, you know. And it, it was just cool to to be at that level, especially all these you know working at a, a kid's birthday party when I first started, getting paid a hot dog and a glass of orange juice, to uh, you know being held up at this on the side of the road by a chick in Mexico City in the middle of nowhere. Uh, she, I, I picked her up. She was going to take me to a party. Her and her brother held up like uh, oh rob yeah Band rob. banditos she, yeah she was gonna take me to a party so we're, we're, sexy. we're driving yeah it wasn't sexy we're driving to this party and her and i are making out in the back and it's like this is great this is gonna be a party and this girl's hot and we, we i noticed it's getting more and more desolate until we're finally like in the middle of nowhere like dude there's nothing like mexico city murder capital of the world holy shit so i go where's this party at? and the guy's like the party is you know right here and the gun right there man and if you've ever seen the beginning of the james bond films where like you see those grooves on the inside of the gun. Yeah, yeah. I never knew what that was until I actually saw the grooves on the inside of the gun sticking in my, a guy, my face. Oh, you said a girl? Like a guy and a girl. Oh, I thought you just got robbed by a girl. Well, <laughs> even worse. Yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. Right. Let no girl do That's shit nice, to me. <laughs> yeah. Just put your little pink gun away. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it, 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 <laughs> I'm glad you added a man to that motherfucker. <laughs> If you don't think that he's going to be an actor, look at the front cover of that book. <laughs> look, at, look, at the, look at the bottom right thing where he looks like Barry Bonds. And look at his little skinny body now. <laughs> look, at, actually, look at his body of I want to be a wrestler bad body I'm, and his well, fucking fuck wrestling I'm going to look good body. I'm, I'm actually 112 pounds right now. Yeah. That's actually uh, that's a good question. Patrice is making me sound like I just came out of a concentration camp or something. You know, like you can see that it's athletic, but, but you, you see that picture in the bottom well, right. Let's it's ask just, him. Chris, like, obviously you go back to wrestling anytime and like the rumors are strong you're going back there, whatever. If you don't want to deal with that, that's fine. But what, do you, what would you like to do? You've done the band thing you've done the wrestling thing well i mean I, I, if it was up to you you're, you're you're now an author do you want to be an actor yeah i've done some stuff i was in uh, i was in android apocalypse that won the oscar for best movie uh, a couple years ago was, i did a couple <laughs> movies which are cool i mean I, I i enjoyed that experience it's like anything else so you gotta i mean obviously unless you're like the rock and strike it big, make really some of that huge. rock money well and that and that's a rare thing you know to get that big so quickly you, you got to work your way up and i've done some stuff i did a couple plays last year which was a lot of fun i enjoy i enjoy i worked with the groundlings for a year did you know did shows with them which is a great comedy troupe Will Ferrell was a groundling and Phil Harbour Pee -wee was a Herman, I think too. Phil they Pee -wee put Herman, a lot of really yeah. fucking yeah, funny Lisa people. Kudrow Sherry Terry Kristen Wiig so it, it was great to work with those guys I mean writing the book was great 
for me, I, I needed a break from wrestling, man. I was burned out mentally after two, uh, 15 years wrestling, 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 wrestling. But the thing is, it's also wrestling is show business boot camp. You learn a little bit about everything. It really mm. helps you to train oh. for all types of show business. So I could go back to wrestling, and I would go back to wrestling on my own terms, have some fun, because it really is an, an open book. It's a, it's an open canvas don't, to go out there and do what you want to do. Sam in here. Would you do oh, TNA? TN, 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 hold on, hold on. What's going on? Uh, Sam, what do you know about Chris Jericho? You mean as far as him returning? Yeah. Well, he's a huge wrestling fan. The uh, Save Us 222 promos that have been running <laughs> for like a month and a half. A lot uh -oh. of people think that it's uh, got to be the return of Chris Jericho. we got to call you out a little two, bit, Chris. Two, two, Come on. They're, they're, I think fans got one. They're very reminiscent of the Millennium Countdown that counted down to the last wow. day. Wow. <laughs> In 1999. What is the 222? Two, two? <laughs> nobody really knows for sure. That's, that's it. it. We're watching on YouTube Maybe right now. This is the first time, oh, first time I've ever seen this. Oh, you haven't seen this, huh, Chris? No, I, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> they run these spots on all of their shows. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, well, I'm Sam. To, wait a minute, Sam. I'm trying to see where this fucking tags into Chris Jericho. It's exactly like the old ones yes, from back in 1999. But like he said, no one, like, it might be for some other Dude, computer man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fucking guy. Like, why is this? The why would he bring his soul that, back like that? It's that, the 2.0 version. That, that's a gimmick. Computer man. <laughs> he's a laptop in the corner. Yeah. He, he, so, like, like I said, I, I would go back to wrestling on my terms. I wouldn't give up any of the stuff right, I've been doing. It. You know, um, if you don't want to blow up your big dude, announcement. I, I swear. <laughs> Sam, give us if, more. If tell us, make Sam. him uncomfortable. This is not convincing. Yeah, you gotta say right, Come on. Sam's man. good, though. I'm Sam just saying, knows this shit. Make him more uncomfortable. And gonna, stop trying to be hold on. coy. Just right. say what you fucking got to say, Hold on. Move the man. mic away from your face. I'm going to study you as... Uh, go ahead, Sam. If, if Tell people what you know. If it's not Chris Jericho's return, then... Every single internet wrestling fan is going to be extremely disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from that, on Lance Storm's website, who's another wrestling friend of Chris Jericho, Lance Storm said that it was Chris Jericho oh my already. God. Why don't you throw us a bone? You know, all these wrestling... See, here's the thing. I would, you know what he did? Here's you know why? Wait, wait. He just drank the water. He took a nervous <laughs> sip. He just took the nervous sip. You liar. I saw that. He took a that. fucking nervous sip. He's, he's nervously sli uh, oh, sipping water. Damn. Oh, Sam. Damn. I don't want to do God it because... Damn, Sam. Hey, was, you want to kick his ass? And he's looking at no. Sam okay. like, I'm going to no, of course not. rusty head Negro <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I mean, how 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 great of <laughs> who is this albino <laughs> giving away my information? Like an aborigines. <laughs> I just, I just, all the sites listen to us. You might as well uh, well, dude, do the, no, big, do not, the big I'm not announcement hiding right anything. Here. It's funny. The point is, how good of a, of, a, of a deal is this for me to get all of this free publicity? Because people are getting mad at me now. You were yeah. supposed to be back on Raw last week. You were supposed to be the pay per view. I paid my money. It's like, dude, I never said I was going to be back. And even if I was coming back, I wouldn't say anything. I'm a magician. You have secrets. You have things you want to do. He is drinking. I think, I think nowadays I took a nervous. I have muscle milk. I'm nervous. He's, he's, if he's I drink one of these, he's it's going to suddenly make me get big again. Just for protein. It's that's right, of course, of course. But that's one of those things. I think nowadays people know everything so quickly. You know, they can go on, on, on the internet and they everybody finds stuff out so quickly. When I was a wrestling fan, I didn't know shit. All I knew was what I saw on TV, and mm -hmm. that was the magic of it. It was, it was spoilers it was and speculation. I bet you are, Sam. Of course, Sam. man. Thanks, Sam. No, but that's, not, but that's one of those things. Like, we're not going to be surprised anymore. But, no, but, but the thing is, everyone thinks they know, but no one really knows for sure. And that's the way it should be. It's like going to a movie. I haven't seen Saw 4 yet. I don't want to know what happens. I want to see it as it unfolds uh, on the screen. God, this is the he political was, uh, turn. He's good at it. I'm very Fuck. good at Sam's it. Sam's right. He was I'm dead, the whole, it. He was dead yeah. the whole movie. Sam's well, probably got more. <laughs> no, you right. son of a bitch! You probably got more clues. <laughs> oh wait, Sam's got more <laughs> clues. I was looking through your garbage and you wrote somebody. <laughs> so wait till you see this two, 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 two thing I'm doing. No. Go ahead, Sam. It's gonna I, fool everybody. Sam, I don't know anything else. I just know what I read. I don't like spoiling things either. Yeah. I. I like wrestling for the magic yeah. of wrestling.
for the show business for aspect, show business. right? Sam, exactly. hello, so, it's uh, Vince McMahon. <laughs> you know, I heard you on the radio today <laughs> blowing up our spot. <laughs> We're trying to keep it sacred, and you're being a blabbermouth! <laughs> <laughs> I want to hire you just so I can fire you. Pal, <laughs> it's not my information. You're fucked. Chris, just so you know a little more, WWE sent him a, uh, a, a real belt a for A champion birthday. belt, yeah. The real what? one. Really? Yeah. Why is that? With the I, spinning thing and everything. Because he's such a huge fan. Are you, are you sick? or Talking about wrestling. <laughs> <you sick>? on <laughs> <radio>. <laughs> Make a wish foundation. That's what they did. Yeah. Oh. That's why he's talking so much. He has some little um, white Negro dementia that won't allow him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> he, doesn't have much, he, doesn't, he doesn't have much time left. He wants to get it all out while he can. <laughs> I feel oh. it. Damn, that nervous oh, sip damn. fucked me up right there. I was balling Chris until he took a goddamn nervous sip. sip. You're like Andrew Dice Clay years ago with the uh, Fozzie we, gimmick. We, uh, we were letting you be, but then it's getting, all right, enough. No, honestly, I mean, it's, everybody's asking about it, everyone's talking about it. I've been doing this book tour for the last week and a half, and everybody wants to know. But that's the good thing about it, man. It's the speculation of it. People are thinking. They're, it's, 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 it's a surprise. It's anticipation. <laughs> yeah, so Stop looking at it um, now. Trying to look for clues in there. Yeah. See, everyone, it's like Paul is dead of wrestling. People are yeah. finding clues. Little clues. Like, I am the walrus type stuff. But you walk out with your book. It's See, gonna be perfect. That's right. Hit some people over the head with it. Hey, Amen. Can you I sign actually, Sam's chair? Of course I can. Is that, wow. from, a, is that from a match? No, that's not from a match. I went to a convention like three years ago and decided to bring a chair, and since then I've been uh, bringing it, to getting it signed. No, seriously, right, how horrible. did you get the belt, and why? And why did they send you a belt? They just sent it to me because I talk about wrestling on the show all the time, mm. and I think they just enjoy so the help. Help publicity. He was the only one that stood by the uh, gimmick, the Vince getting blown up in the limo gimmick. <laughs> like, like we were, we went through the videotape, and we're just saying, like, Sam, look, you could see that. that no, no, there's uh, investigators on scene. And the, like he was selling it better than anybody. All right, that, so he's and, special. And yes, the, he's special. That's where, got, that's where right. got the belt. With the fake leg that I falls out of the limo just <laughs> yeah. before it blows up. Very, yeah, very subtly, but very purposely placed. The yeah. leg oh. comes out, yeah, the leg yeah. goes in. It the was comes hysterical. Out. Yeah. And then it said the FBI was investigating, but then when the FBI said, hey, we got nothing to do with this, they came up with what? I think it was the FIC. The FIC. <laughs> the Federal uh, Investigation, Investigation Commission. And you, but, but you and, the guy, the, and the guy that was the detective, he was like all buffed up and everything. <laughs> like he was one of the guys that wanted to be a wrestler, <laughs> but he kind of wasn't up to it yet. That, that used to always make me laugh. Like a wrestler gets hurt in the ring and then the, 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 the paramedics, paramedics come, come out and they're ripped and on they're their all uniforms. They're like, fucking oh, huge okay. arms. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I wonder what's going to happen with the paramedics in a minute this or two is, here. Why you have to love a wrestling fan or wrestling fans that know it is that Vince was going with that that bullshit and then uh, uh, Benoit happened yeah. and he just said this sh goes, shit's yeah. over bah. and wrestling Stop. since bah. now is back everybody healed people didn't go oh, wait a minute go, it's, it's yeah. fucking done I'm done with wrestling oh my god it's just like yeah we know man you can't then all of a sudden it, he had like, a uh, love child or something yeah, <laughs> it was like fucking crazy that's what I'm saying yes. it's, it's, it's a form of entertainment that either you get it or you don't and people that get it they understand it. they have fun with it but people that don't I mean it really is like the stepchild of entertainment especially in Hollywood and stuff like wrestling what, what, what they're a bunch of Neanderthals they can't actually put a sentence together <laughs> every <laughs> rapper has a movie or every rapper does a TV show heaven forbid that in wrestling you go to these things people just don't understand it the same way well, could, you not, could you not say rapper with yeah. so much venom as if you rapper. were a rapper I actually played in a celebrity. Christopher Reeve used to have a celebrity game at the Garden. I played four years with with it. It was great. But the one year I asked my dad, <laughs> oh, Jimmy, my dad can come. Jimmy's itching. I don't, don't know. Don't fuck around with Chris. He was a good dude. Man. Yeah, why would I? I can I? see your wheel spinning. Not at Jimmy's all. itching. The third eye, you will blink off. <laughs> no, oh, terrible. Oh, what? Oh, terrible. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> terrible. Everybody's going. You know what? Christopher, oh. Christopher Reeve in a wheelchair could still kick your ass. It's not a big deal. Good so, for him. No, <laughs> the great answer. I thought you were supposed to be a comedian. That's why I wasn't funny but anyways I'd have, point, I have a story about it you jackass don't interrupt my stuff. I can't even tell the story now it's been built oh, up so much he's yeah. really mad at me well dude he's a friend of mine you don't right. talk shit about someone's friend like that yeah well that's true but he, uh -oh. he was a very famous guy and you know we, we poke fun at it uh, uh, you know we, we do it it's not that it's nice but we do it ladies and gentlemen but, but, but Jimmy Owen, gets his ass kicked Owen a, no, right after these Opie words and Anthony the host of the show the, your bosses yes are being respectful. Bosses. Well, and you, being... you got across the line when I said don't say it. Well, I wasn't being disrespectful. Yes, was... you were. That's very no, disrespectful. No, no, no. You didn't say I'll you be were honest friendly. with you. 
I was uh, this close to being disrespectful, but, but Jimmy jumped on on it first. <laughs> but no, he, but you didn't say. Horrible. First of all, you didn't say you were friends with him. You just said you played in the tournament. Dude, with I'm him. just I'm just kidding with you, man. I was actually going to go with the. You say what you I want. could see your wheels spinning when yeah. he said that. I was going to re- go on that. Ah, uh, see, I, I threw you a softball. See, I was going to go on that part. Yeah, I would love yeah. to see him put Jimmy in some type of finish. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Oh, you know what it is? You know what Jimmy, Jimmy can bend at least three times. Well, here's, here's, here's the finishing hole. That hole. That's oh, oh, that's the finish. No, that whole not, crowd. Punching, not punching him because Jimmy doesn't have any bones in his face. <laughs> so it's just your, your fist. That whole crowd, crowd out there. Though, <laughs> crowd. That whole crowd out there would have stood up if you hit Jimmy and said, leave him alone. Please don't do that. <laughs> Nobody would have helped me. Of course Dude, not. We're He's not really going to do that. Me, no, 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 no. You no. really are. But it's no. okay. I didn't know he was a friend of No, my fury is over. I'm happy. I'm happy. We love you. We love each other. And I am a comedian. I You didn't think it because it wasn't a funny line, but I am one. Good. Now he feels bad. I was laughing no, at the oh, let's shake hands on air. There, there you go. go. Their hands right. are shaking. Was, fine. Uh, We're buddies. They're okay now. That okay. was a little awkward. That was. You know, it was awkward. But it was but beautifully awkward. Be? Though. You got. You got to stick up for your buds, right? I mean, that's just the way it is. Not really. Not. Not, <laughs> not these. <laughs> guys. <laughs> not, no, we don't. Chris, not these guys. guys. <laughs> We're all, not We're all, these guys. We're a bunch of miscreants. We're a bunch of heathens. You should go down the comedy cell and see how these guys treat each other. It's amazing. We're just a bunch of scumbags. We're just a bunch of scumbags. That's what we are. We fucking. Nothing is sacred. We just kind of took this conversation and <laughs> took it to a screeching halt, didn't we? Let's no, talk about this. Was anybody? Uh, this is beautiful. How like, was your How was your screeching halt? You, you much like. No. <laughs> did, how, did you hold each other's cocks when you peed? Patrice was holding mine. It felt really nice. It's so funny to see guys change the subject. <laughs> right. Let me tell you something. Let me explain something about the, the word inappropriate in men should not fucking exist. Oh. <laughs> Only look. It, you make you go out there. You make you might make a mistake where it's like it's personal to you, and I understand. But it's like to in. in Inappropriate, you can't have it. The only time you should be inappropriate, the word used by mm-hmm. a man, is like you ever had to you, shit. You feel like you had to shit, but you just had to pee, <laughs> and you're sitting down with your pay, your fucking dick tucked between your legs, feeling like a girl, and you're just looking around, going, you know, Buffalo I Bill. I feel like a bitch. This is inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, <laughs> you that you true. should be able to take, because this we talked about it earlier. It's context. You, you gotta try a Christopher Reeve joke, even though I, it's a, it's just I understand what you're saying, but you gotta I gotta stick up with Jimmy on this one, just because this is what we do, and it it, but, it fell yeah, flat and it was yeah, awful. But, but if, you're gonna, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna but bomb, I know but it's gotta, not a joke. You gotta, if you're gonna it throw one out, you gotta throw a good it's one. A friend, Jimmy didn't know it was a friend. His. We need to throw out a good one. That wasn't a bad one off the cuff. It wasn't that no. vicious even. It was I didn't realize it was a friend of yours. But it was like it wasn't that vicious. It was like it Let's was, play some tape and some real vicious shit. Yeah, but oh I'm saying boy. but it wasn't done. <laughs> Let's get vicious. You know, it, it was just done in the moment and it, he was a very famous guy. I, I mean it was you know I didn't mean that asshole, don't find it. <laughs> <laughs> we're Look still at wait- this fucking asshole, right? Here. Hey, we're still waiting for He loves this. He's oh, he just got a big smile. Look at him, he's like his hands are together like Fucking yeah. asshole! Don if we were me. talking about, like right now, going, hey, you know, it takes a million years for the energy of the sun deep down to come out. Uh, uh, enough of this. Um, <laughs> as Jimmy's getting ready to get raped by Chris Jericho, and I will rape him. <laughs> I will sodomize him. Oh, he's sitting there. Look at how his fingers like, are together. Doodly, well, doodly, well, doodly. well, well, <laughs> well. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. They have turned on each oh other. Let the animals oh. tear each other apart. <laughs> it, you were talking about the nervous sip from the water was, glass. That says much more right there. Nah, it was an amazing moment. It, it really was. was. Oh, See? It was genius. Well, that will make the uh, best of show. There's other things involved with that. That's what makes it amazing. So, like what? Excellent. <laughs> That's great. He's just fucking sitting <laughs> there, <laughs> loving it. It just, it just, ah, whatever. No, <laughs> what's the matter? He's so no, something up. I was gonna bring up, which ties everything in. Your your mom's a quadriplegic. That's so right. That's why he's a little oh, sensitive. That's, how yeah. funny do you think oh, you are shit. now, motherfucker? Wow. So well, now well, you feel bad, don't you? No, I told you I had to cross so, the line. No, but I talk about suicide. But, my friends have committed suicide. It's, it's like as a subject, you look at something like that. You don't ever want to appear, but that was something that obviously hit you hard for I, that reason. But you can't that's look why, at me like I'm being a dick on purpose because I'm this not. Is, this is very it hits very close to home, obviously. So okay. when you went there, I was like, wow, this is gonna be interesting. Well, that's you know, all I'm saying. Other, let me tell oh. my, you. My father's a quadriplegic too. Well, he's, he's been dead for a few years. <laughs> no, Chris. His limbs don't fucking work. Come no, see that? Work. But that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's bullshit. That's, funny. that's bullshit. You're, you're mad that's at me. That's not bullshit. It's it is. Funny. It was very funny. No, but I, I'm not well, offended as, 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 as a guy who had to live with it. I'm offended as, as a comedian. That was just a bad joke. 
Uh, a third eye, you will blink off. It was not fucking bad. Look at it. Anthony's killing. He, I respect his opinion. <laughs> and that's what made it weird, because I'm laughing because I thought that was funny. It was funny. <laughs> it's just the third so eye, blink off. And what was funny about it, I'll tell you, it's the uh, word blink. <laughs> and a blink off will never happen. It's and I got just, Patrice and absurd. Anthony to laugh at that. Guys, guys all the thing, this, this conversation is just going nowhere. For me. I know. You know, but, if you uh, want me to continue to participate, we know the story now. Let's just move along and have some fun and talk about cocks and stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, no, we've reached this point. Oh, my oh, God. No. Like, listen to the oh, silence. Oh, I, I no. will close this oh. part of my... Had you said oh, to me, no. look, this is my situation. I shouldn't have new... to. There's certain things that just aren't Ooh. funny. See, okay, well, then... then to you're... me. Well, to but me. again, I'm not a mind reader, so if we, you told me that, I would have certainly been respectful. I said, don't cross the line. How much money? I said, don't say it. We, I can see your wheel spinning. We, we were already in the middle of it. Had you set it up like that, I'm going to tell I, you it would have been different. Yeah. How All much right. sugar in those muscle milks? Is that <laughs> my, my Zero. My mother's diabetic, and so am I. Zero. Dude, I don't want that fucking sugar. It's Man, like your people weird. listening to this show just getting burnt, like they're getting no, a buzz kill. They want to have some fun <laughs> no, on this. No, they're, no, they're, they're fucking no, they're not. Chris, they're fucking vultures, man. <laughs> Our audience are fucking right, vultures. Right, we, Look at the smiling, grinning faces. He doesn't like me. I know he doesn't there. like me. And I know as a jock, he wants to punch me. That's what they do. I no, get it. No, no, no. I get it. I'm smart. I go and, and wire your car so when you get downstairs. I don't have a car. Do you have a car? Yeah, no, okay. just wire club son of Kenny. He's stupid. <laughs> hey, wire him oh, to All right, I got the approval of the car. Right. <laughs> I hope he punches you in the mouth so they get some type of meat to him. <laughs> so, so they swell up. <laughs> like it's some Botox instead of those thin bird lips you have now. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> just punch way. him in places so, punch oh, him in his arms so it gets muscular. <laughs> but dude, I'm not mad at you anymore. I'm over it. But you're, you, you, you're, your feelings are hurt. You're I can tell. really not. You're not a good psychologist. My feelings are not hurt. No, but, I'm but not. You, but you got a different look on your face now, though. You're, well, Jimmy, you're, I'm not going to be phony about it. It's well, like, don't be phony. Don't be defensive. Just, just move Jimmy on. Jimmy can hold man. a grudge cool. like Simon Wiesenthal. <laughs> I'm only irritated. <laughs> that Dennis Miller that he joke. said like <laughs> Simon Wiesenthal. Just I'm, 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 I was telling him I was being respectful. Like, yeah. had I known that situation, I would have been respectful of it. I really would have been for anybody. But what he's saying, but I told you not to, like, that's what's bugging me, is he's like, hey, I instructed you not to, and you should have known that's not my words. And you should have just followed his instructions. He that's told you. Now fucking shut up. So now you want to continue this? Now you're bugged now? No, you're asking me no, why I'm telling I you quiet. we're over it, man. You want to continue arguing about it and disrupt the show? Because I'll argue all day if you, you want. You just said to me, I, w I was done with it, and you just said to me, now my feelings are hurt, and I'm explaining that they're not hurt. Okay, well then it's over. It's cool. Tell us, some, tell us some jokes. Give us some wacky material. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> no. You, see, no. You, can't, <laughs> you, can't, oh, no. you can't say that. Because oh, I would I'm... almost take the beating to get the laugh I would get. See? Oh, no. Oh, this is killed. This is it's oh. nothing. But this is not uncomfortable. No. It's hilarious right now. <laughs> this but is good people, radio. But, but human beings, this is what I'm saying. Every yeah. human being should really enjoy this because this is as real as you. Can you imagine this? is this? reality radio. It is so real right now. And it's like if this was on that shitty morning show or Julian and Mike Sandy. Enjoy it. It's just like, okay. That's how we ended up when it gets on. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, or, um, so... <laughs> but look at Opie, <laughs> leaning back, hands behind his but, head. But my, but my thing is, Jimmy, there's no reason to continue on with this. You're it's, continuing. I'm, done I'm not it. continuing. Sure you are. Uh, I'm done. You said to me my feelings were hurt. I was saying that you were wrong. They really weren't. Okay. That then, was why I had that, then and then I explained win. it. It was okay. not a winning thing. Okay. Well, well, your feelings both, aren't hurt. We're you, both you bothered by something. Part. We move on. But let's go. Yeah, we're, there's no bothering anymore. I'm done. We're done. It's fun times. Good times. I'm done. Good days. Good days. Fun times. I'm done. Holy shit, man. Oh. Wow! You just never know. Live radio, man. It's God, compelling. Man. You gotta love it. It's like the 50s. It's like the old Hollywood, man. Dean Martin. Fox only 1034. Shit. I was hoping it would be 11. This that is whole crazy. thing was like a minute. And we can't move on. How did it happen? <laughs> what do we do? This is the great thing. Is oh shit. Here we go. Oh, Paul. Oh, this is <laughs> what are you this doing? Doing? You gotta explain it, Patrice. Oh. The security guys just walked in the studio. Here's, oh, that's the way to here's the great thing about this. <laughs> This is the there. journey that's going to be great, is finding out how to move on. And out. So, um, Especially with the heavies behind us now. Now, let me ask you a question. 
the raised ink on, on the, the bottom on the cover, of the book. Yes, it's How? red. It's yeah. <laughs> that's called. That's called. It's embossed. <laughs> embossed. It's embossed. And that's a special it's kind of printing press. Uh, listen, yes, it is. It's, it's, it's invented in 1965 listen, by Elmer yeah. Jones. Bring uh, Red Rum in. Red Rum's gonna get naked to try to calm everyone down. <laughs> we uh, did notice that uh, nudity, nudity, nudity does always, solve that, the world's problem. That breaks the ice. We're going to yeah, attempt. That does. If there was uh, nudity at uh, peace conferences, at uh, ooh, here we go. Oh, she has double piercings. Mm -hmm. double Actually, a triple piercing that we can see. Is that a, is, wow, and yeah. is that that an explanation that. for a breath? Wow. <laughs> wow, there you go. There we go. And that was, was just on command. That, yeah. Wow, yeah. The power of ONA, just come nudity. in, get naked. Wait, you you have recovered beautifully, by the way, from having a baby. You look fantastic. Oh, she just had a kid? Yes. That's good to throw oh, that right. in to really sexy it up, Jim. No, but I'm Thanks. saying, I'm complimenting her. She looks beautiful. <laughs> what? What's with this guy? What's the matter, Jim? <laughs> you <laughs> bring up that she has a baby. We're all looking at her real nice. You got to bring up that she's got a baby? What's the matter with you? Everybody knows she does. What the fuck is the Now your fucking feelings are Why are you on my case today, man? What she looks fuck? good. What is going on? I can't even be nice in public. <laughs> what is fucking she going on? I'm you? telling her that she looks very sexy. Everybody knows she had a baby, so I'm saying we she didn't know. Well, you didn't know, but she knows. Yeah, and but, 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 and he knows. <laughs> And now you know, and I know, and everybody knows. McGarrity knows it. <laughs> and, and the thing is, <laughs> when a woman is, has a baby, nothing. Is, every woman is self-conscious about her is, body, and I'm telling you, she looks fantastic. And I told her that before. Sociopathically, so, on a sociopathic <laughs> level, focused, and her. <laughs> I, he is like this, a nasty little man. He will not stop. What's it gonna take? I'm not in a nasty mood. How far you gotta the go? Cobra Clutch. Did I not? not there's no. Did I not tell you before no that you limits. look good? But you're using her, her awful after after birth titties no, to make no. a point. <laughs> Jesus. To make a point about the situation. And I don't like. We I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what he just did, which is use this excuse. <laughs> To get that mean titty joke. <laughs> Who do you think your bitch is? He just worked. Didn't know she had a baby. He just I worked you. Awful titties alone. <laughs> he just claimed you. He yeah. set you up. He used he us. He set you up. <laughs> you used yeah. us to I, get a mean titty joke. I feel joke like we're minutes away from a royal, <laughs> a royal rumble. Yeah. Call more security. <laughs> Okay. Help us! Yeah, uh, you know what? Don't, we don't need security. Don't we insult I hear Jimmy hold Norton on, on. got his feelings hurt. Is that what happened? <laughs> don't <laughs> in, don't insult Chris Jericho. Leave the studio, yes, please. Oh, everybody, wow. there's no. That's what the silly. Fuck. That's 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 kind of an insult, to be quite honest. Oh, the, the security Chris came in? Yes. Chris Jericho's a professional. He, yes. he was thinking oh, that Jericho on, was in. First of all, I'd be in big trouble before Poe got there, but it, it was not Dude, necessary. Dude, come on. Chris Jericho's come a professional. Come on, guys. And he's, he's rich. That the lawsuit's <laughs> over. <laughs> Believe me. This, I have no there's, dignity problem saying that I would be fucking... On I would be fucking... I would be second. Oh, would that be great on... How funny would that be on YouTube? You pounding Jimmy in the face. And just him suing Chris Jericho. They do it in... Slow motion, twenty times. It would look like it would look like when Smith got hit in the Matrix. Your fuck, cheek would just go in. Tell your jokes now, funny boy. Uh, Norton, Norton <laughs> National Wrestling is the NNW as he owns everything. He's too great, Derek. That's why the security came in. I, I just figured that out. Thank oh, you, Chris. Smokes. No, I don't have a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out. <laughs> You're fired. Thanks to you. Yeah. This is because we used to do on Tough Crowd. We would get into these. We all would do it. I watched it. We would just be like, "You mother," and have this quiet. You cocksucker! Did you just, you know? And then it's like, "All right, I'm gonna fucking do this to you," and then I'm gonna do this. To, it's just uncomfortable. This is. It's just. That's what we do. It's just uncomfortable. It's just. I wanted to continue, and it's just. <laughs> after a while, it just gets old. But you just want to just have this go on and on. This is a memorable and have logic show. Of, of course. And, you're, what, and what's wrong with Red Rum's tits? They look like. <laughs> oh no. I think she looks great, man. For real. <laughs> It's no, I, they look. They look fine. I'd fuck them. I would. I mean, it's not like my. I'm not. I'm just saying. They just it's now they, she's mad. Yeah. Hey, look. <laughs> and the guy's yeah, hey, come on, come on, and come the on. crowd is getting mad that everyone's turning. And on the it. psycho she's married to is he gonna be you angry. Know, Opie is oh, funny. he's a psycho. Oh, he see? certainly is. is. Yeah, which one? This guy? That guy's insane. Oh, he just looks crazy. Look at the size of that guy. He looks like the guy that beat up. I fucking think she's hot. 
<laughs> and he don't look like he got man. enough money to hey, sue. That's your Mike. bike? <laughs> Mike. Here's the thing. Mike. This is the thing. Now, here's where I think it's unfair in life to, for this. It's like, okay, I don't want to know all the context before. I mean, I don't want to know the whole story before I make a, a titty joke. And I don't want to hit the whole story. You don't have to hear the whole fucking story until you go, I'm going to try to make this funny. So she pulls out a little tits and they just, they ah, just look like little scared things. And you just, I got to <laughs> comment on them. Without having to fucking go, I have to now be a man with whatever. If my girl pulled out a fucking, she had stretch marks on her ass, you know what I mean? And come back and go, Jesus, ass looks like a road map. <laughs> I don't want her to go, look at my big nigger boyfriend who's going to fight you. I don't want to deal with that. But that's what he'd be thinking. I am focused on, on the titties. I'm not, I'm not getting into, oh, sorry, oh, now, now I have to go deeper into your past. Like, you know, my family, I come from a family of baggy little titties. A and couple then, minutes and ago, and we were talking about And then I got to hear his story. <laughs> you happened. know how many niggas I killed? Right. I don't want to hear what that shit. What happened to our fun show? It's you know, still fun. It's, it's still it's fun, fun. You know the best thing is, Opie, really you were saying, it's a, it's, sometimes it's a grind. Like, this show, you will remember oh, this, this show. Oh, this is grind today. No. no. This show will be remembered. It's nothing yep. personal. Well, that's what happens with comedy, though. It's okay until, like, a joke gets too close to home. We talk about that on the yes. show all the time. There's, there's <clears> things, <throat> you know, we joke about that personally I, I don't like, but I, I just, I, I, I sit here in silence and deal. That's that's comedy. Very I learned broad. this in college. This is that all is a, I learned in college. Yeah. That is a, good is good if it's good for me. That's it. Everybody's <laughs> upset with what affects that them. Is, that is it. exactly that is the general de uh, uh, definition of comedy right there. You're fine with stuff until it hits too close to home. Right. Shit, my mother and that's can where lose all her feet. <laughs> but you think I don't Dude. fuck around with diabetic? Well, Dude, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, I think you're. A rare, you know, a rare. <laughs> You're a rare human. Yeah. Not for a comic, he's not though. I mean, I mean, as a comic, that's the way comedians think. Nothing personal, precious. That's fine. You don't me. have to have your murderous husband murder me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to look at me. I shaved all my hair off, and I'm gonna kill you. Don't forget. <laughs> I want to. It's it's nothing personal, precious. Why? Why no? You could have been spectacular. Naked. Hold on. Why no panties though? I never wear underwear. It's freezing out today. But, but how come you wow. just? That must, how come you oh, came right. in and got naked <clears> on cue? Is this something? Do you do this quite often? Okay. So yeah. You, okay. I'm pal talk. Perfect. So she's so, the in yeah. case of of uncomfortable situation, break glass. She comes in and gets naked, and everybody's cool again. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Dude, come on, dude, dude. Like, come like on, that's dude. the thing. Like, how would I? You, it's impossible to figure out. She comes in and will strip naked in front of people she don't know. And but there is a psychopath with her to guard her against certain things. Rape, but not the idea. <laughs> that I, look, right, rape, but not. But the, you like ins You can't. It's impossible. You can't do it. You can't fucking do it. That's why it's, everything is on. You can joke about every fucking thing. Everything. And then you deal with the consequences later. And motherfuckers don't deal with consequences in terms of being funny. Dude, I got kicked in the mouth, chased home with knives for being funny and go, shit, I'm going to be funny tomorrow. Motherfucker couldn't stab funny you out sure of me. You sure that was for being funny? Yeah. <laughs> or trying to be. <laughs> After I dropped that blonde Ain't girl off. Funny about that. Yeah, yeah. I told the joke and her father chased me. <laughs> no, it wasn't it. <laughs> it's just you have to go for it, baby. You got to. Uh, and and Chris, this is not uncomfortable. It really ain't. Oh, this is a new thing. Like a this is this, this is the new thing. And you gotta. And you was a heel for so long, dude. I'm I'm cool with it. I'm just discussing her breasts. That's what I was just curious about. Right. And the, see, the breasts are out. Those are fun. But, you know, but say, say but that again. Nothing, they're fun. I like them. See what? now, I want to get into a wrestling match with with <laughs> those Chris. breasts aren't fun. In what what game? They're, they're fun. They're perky. They're bouncy. They got they got there has nipple to be a rings. Context to they that. got nipple rings in them. That's and cool. And the context is this: I would, in a minute. But you, you just, if it was my girl, I would go. I would just go. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> they just because I, I got. But a you just said hands. you just said good. good <laughs> yeah, you, you just said good is good if it's good for me. Yes, that's, that's what it is. That's look, good for me. Look it's at Patrice's hands. Really? Yes, I like it. Yeah, my I hands like are her. different. I would have to it. kind of. I would have to squeeze those and suck them through the fist to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>
<laughs> he, he, he's surprised he came out with that one. <laughs> well, and it's not even on her. It's just. But the thing is, too, though, thing is, too, if she's going to come in and get naked, you have to deal with the consequences. People are going to make comments. So, I mean, it's not an insult. You're well, commenting. She understands that. I'm not insulting. Sure, she does. She, she, she understands that. What do you think you're a breast? I don't like them. Well, I, I do like them. I like no, the they're, they're getting bigger this year. And that's smart, cause you, and and get him just to to fill in he's the a space. He's a guy. He promised me boobies. So. Yeah, he should get him. And, gonna and get after today, he's gonna feel so bad. He's gonna definitely don't go. Get boobies. Don't go too big though. I know. I can't. Go just fill big. in the space. Yeah. That's all you do. Whatever that. You know what I'm saying? Don't just don't just fill in. Squeeze him in his face. <laughs> you know, like a Jesus balloon. Like, just, <laughs> like a water balloon. <laughs> you, know, it, fucking awesome. right you are awful, man. You are just an awful <laughs> man. That was a good one. Yeah, that, was a, that was a doozy. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Want to play uh, uh, Crying Wrestling Fan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good, oh, there we go. Good segue. That's, that's why nice. That's what we were, we were going to do before break. Or that's just what, after yeah, break. We've been waiting for that. Oh, did, 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 how it turns! It was just a love fest, and then bah. instantly, now we're trying Instant, to we're trying to we're repair, trying to repair, we're trying to repair the damage. Let's all d join together in laughing at somebody retarded. <laughs> let's, let's see where this goes. Because I'm sure that this, this gentleman you will hear from is not of uh, sound uh, mental state. It's a it's a famous clip. Do you know yeah. this clip, uh, Chris? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. If, are we looking over here? Or yeah, yeah, here we yeah. Go. This let's guy. play this. On E-bombs right. world. Let's get the uh, sound. Go, please. For the love of God, just play something. Where's the sound? Play it. I just want to thank each and every one of y'all for all you've done to your bodies. It's still real to me, damn it! I'll be. Thank Make you. Take it easy, man. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Funk, for saying what needed to be said. I don't want to see it, brother, but it is. <laughs> That's not real. Oh, You've never yeah. seen that? No. That, that is guy That's is real? He's He's a little the guy. upset yeah, about uh, the whole. Uh, That's like the, thing. the Britney guy. Britney, why? Yeah. That's, this oh guy my gosh, is a, that, he's a little upset. But of course he's right in the South. Has that so yeah. the ain't real blood. It's the same type what of attitude. What needs to be said. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't much. know what he was so upset about. He's, uh... There you go. Uh, who are the wrestlers? Uh, it's Jim Cornette in the middle. Looks like Terry Funk. Mm. Bobby Eaton. Wow. Do you uh, have the Sam's nodding his head in agreement. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes, yes Chris yes. Jericho's right. He's correct. Yes. 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 <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are, that, that's for your home personal use, isn't it? What is the what you're videotaping? Well, there'll be uh, like a few clips. You invite your, are you going to invite your little friends over for like a WrestleMania? <laughs> I don't have and then go. Friends. By the way, before WrestleMania, uh, I just want to show you a few of my like home movies. Uh, you might enjoy Chris Jericho. Yeah, and then you'll you'll play that, and your friends will be like, "Wow, you're neato." Well, no, I'm the, not uh, eight. The rusty. <laughs> as I know what did you, you call him, Patrice? The rusty-haired. What did you say? Rusty-headed. <laughs> rusty-headed white little negro. Rusty-headed little I, negro. Poor Sam. Oh. <laughs> Sam was related to Thomas Jefferson, and he's true. He looked up his genealogy. Wow. And we all know Thomas Jefferson did a partake in a little. Part. Kind of true. went out into the. Uh, you sure it wasn't George field. Jefferson? <laughs> <laughs> Sherman Hensley fucked his mom in the back of the door. <laughs> <laughs> So that, that's, that's funny. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. Oh, okay. okay. We were waiting for an answer. You, right. Do you um, want to ask Chris Jericho a question? Wow, yeah. Yeah. Um, how does, it, does it make you feel good to know that after like being gone for two years, that there's this much hype about just a possible comeback than knowing that you still no, have it wouldn't make anyone well, feel saying, good well, to know it, that yeah. they're wanted or, <laughs> or yes. appreciated in what I they do hate it. Oh, you're fired <laughs> you're fired from the Than and Sam show for it's, such a, a stupid question. Insane. Go ahead, ask him another question. Ask him another stupid question. What, what kind of ambiguous question was that? That question. Dude, it was first of all, it started as a yes or no question. <laughs> Do right. you think it's like yes or no? What no a matter what. fucking shitty question. Yeah, and then as you went into it, you took no out of the mix. <laughs> Ask All he could say was yes. yes. Ask him how big he's packing. Something interesting like, wow. Right, try wow. again. Try Sam again. Sam. That's interesting. Try again. Yeah. Okay, try something else. Yeah. Right. Who has the biggest the biggest monster in, in the business in terms of you just go, what the fuck? There's a guy called Too Cold Scorpio. 
Two cold Scorpios back in the monster wood? Radiator hose. That's fucking figures. <laughs> Ridiculous. That's fucking figures. Ridiculous. Right, and there was a, he? he just is a funny looking black dude, and funny looking black dudes just got a <laughs> monster wood, man. Baby arm. Yeah, <laughs> like a baby, seven baby's arm holding an apple. Yeah, he, Holy he was, shit. Two cold fucking score. That's yeah. why he did that move we flipped. Yeah. He just would have something just protecting him. <laughs> and right on his balls. <laughs> yes. Blah! Yeah, the, the momentum from the unit take him right over. Exactly. That's all right. My balls get me from dying, nigga. <laughs> gotcha. Um, um how, <laughs> when I was a child, I saw something. Go ahead. Go ahead. Last yeah. week, <laughs> would, uh, would you ever uh, allow Ralphus to return? Ralphus was my uh, weird sidekick guy that he used to drive the truck around, drive the lights, and he had like no front teeth and had these spike uh, incisors that stuck out of the side of his teeth like uh, like punji sticks from Vietnam. And he, I, I dressed him in a half shirt that said Jericho Personal Security, and he was just this weird guy that used to just uh, come to the ring with me as kind of a funny thing. He's still alive? Still alive? I don't know where he is, man. He started. He got weird. He was like just a truck driver. The next thing you know, like the girls were talking to him and people were chanting for him. I'd be getting like really big heat with the crowd, like you know you suck, and then turn around and people would be cheering because Ralph was on the other side, like waving at the crowd. And I said, you can't wave at the crowd. We're bad guys, but, he's, but these guys are—they're nice people. They're, they're cheering for me. They're very friendly. You hate them? No, no, no. They're really nice. This guy just didn't get it. So I think I don't really know what happened to him. But he was literally a truck driver one week. The next week he was on TV and everyone was chanting his name. And I really don't think he really understood what was going on. Like he was banging broads in his truck outside of the arena. He would be taking flowers from girls like at ringside. Like people just went nuts for him. Time of his life. The time, exactly. Now he's one. Yeah. I don't know what happened. It was fun, but I don't know what happened now. So I guess the answer is no. Yeah, no. Another Jeez, yes. he had to make some interest in yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I'm doing the best I guess. Why don't you ask him what two, hair care products he used? Two hours. Our hair looks lovely. Two hours we've been here, and this that's the best you got. Give me something better, hey, man. Not even two hours. hours we've been here. You're a fucking wrestling fan. Yeah. Years. All the stuff that's went down today, fun stuff, heavy stuff, everything in between. And, and you ask me, do you like your fans? <laughs> if I had asked Patrice's penis question, I would have been considered a gay guy. No, no, just, you just I'm can't win, Sam. No, I don't know. What Fan. You're Thank uh, you for your not, question, Sam. Sam. I appreciate Sam, it. Sam, Sam, Sam. Just ask a, a goddamn question that somebody wants to goddamn hear. Like, if they would ask... If they were here... You ask a question for them to At, do. After your question, five people turned up their radios to get the answer. <laughs> that's, that's five people, though. That's pretty yeah, good. That's wonderful. We're talking to a million. <laughs> Nothing. Mm. Let's go. Give him another one. Last chance. Um, if he's not your favorite wrestler, ask him something interesting about your favorite wrestler that you want to know about. Well, he is one of my favorite wrestlers. So then ask him a favorite wrestler question. Let's. How about... Uh, <laughs> Not a Sam, fucking, man. not a awful. newborn infant question. This is yeah. like a three-year-old, Mr. Jericho. He's he has to be fake with you night right now. You're making him sick. Um. <laughs> Am, I, Sam, making, am what, I making you sick? He's not going to say that because <laughs> he knows that he's a good guy. You ask me anything you want, bro. What's See what here's your last question? I, uh, see, and but, Patrice is right, by the think, way. Think, <laughs> think about this, Sam. Think that the, the a lot of wrestling message boards, you know, it, no matter what we do, if we mention wrestling, the boards get slammed. Now, they, of course, with uh, everything that's been said and stuff today, there's going to be a lot of information on Chris Jericho on the, on the uh, message boards. You have the opportunity now to make a, a, ask him a question that's going to end up on all these boards. You'll be kind of like a, a West wrestling board celebrity. Oh, wow. But it's got to be a good question. <laughs> yeah. Why is that a pressure p question? I don't understand. What the hell is the matter with you? Did you feel slighted when uh, when you were kind of pushed Pretty. out of the main event scene towards the end? I mean, right at the end, Jesus, you were back you in the main event. Wow. Horrible. Wow. Horrible. Wow. wow. When but you like, were pushed into middle cars, how did that make uh, your life feel yeah. shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, that's what he was saving up for. Oh, wow. I'm saying, I thought that you should have been the main event. When you're well, on the road right. to has been dumb. Yeah. Uh, was it uh, Jesus. really rough to <laughs> next stop to real life now? <laughs> <laughs> and it's just the same question he asked, except for now it's uncomfortable. Like, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, do you enjoy when you do the um, moon saw? Y yes, I do. Do you enjoy when you would bump yeah. down to middle card and wrestling right before the guy who dressed as the, yeah. the Green Lantern? Do you like cake? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How do you feel to wrestle? Yes. How do you feel to wrestle? Without the TV cameras on. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel 
be in the high school gymnasium. How did it feel to wrestle on the Allentown wrestling tour? When you went from main event to jobber before the cameras came out. Right. <laughs> the guy just like a green lantern. Oh, when you started being gang grills. Did, did it bother you when all the... Did it bother you? Gang grills. <laughs> oh, God, did he stop? <laughs> when, they made you gang put, when they made you put in vampire teeth with gang grills. <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's, here's a literal Vince story. You're talking about Vince firing people. Here's a Vince story. Gangrel yeah. was a vampire guy, for people that don't know. And he had one of the coolest ring entrances, right? He would come up from the bottom, in, in the fire, and he, was, he looked he cool. He had something that But guy. just wrestling-wise, it nah, just wasn't there. But he wore a shirt. And they kind of didn't know about it anyways. And he was wrestling, and he took a, a bump. And when he took a bump, his shirt came up. And I was sitting right by Vince. Vince was watching the, the show. And this big roll of flat <laughs> came out of, of the shirt. And Vince looked at it and went... Ugh. <laughs> the next week, fired. Fired. Oh. You want to eat like a pig? You can live with them. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> That's right. Pack your stuff and get out. You and your fat roll. Please. <laughs> 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 Just picture that. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> you want to represent me? <laughs> Get up. I can't believe what a fucking m mediocre nobody Sam is right now. Just, <laughs> oh, just, just okay. nothing. Stinking up the joint with about, these fucking about, I got questions. Nothing. Right, oh, go. He's got he's okay. had time to think right, now. Here we go. Let's yeah, go. Right, here we go. Just what? picture all the like the websites that are going to have this question. And then today. Sam asks. And then Sam asks. This it's is great. Be all it's the great wrestling sites. Let's go. What was uh, politically? What was it like between the differences between the WCW locker room and the WWE locker room? Bigger, ah, bigger, bigger that's, 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 that's a, a bad, good question. That's not a bad question, question at all. See, question. there you go. After five tries, you got one. <laughs> that's a good question. That was a good question. WCW was very strange. It was a very much a hierarchy. Wherever you came in is where you stayed, like an Indian caste system or something along those lines. So all the guys like the Hogan and those guys, they were kind of running the show. And guys like myself, even though we were working hard and, and people were into it didn't ever really get any care or respect from the office and that's the reason why I was able to kind of get over a little bit because nobody cared what I said I would I, like can I go say a promo for 30 seconds yes you can I'd go to the ring say a promo say a bunch of bullshit people would like it but no one was paying any attention to me because I was just lowly Chris Jericho so the politics it, it was almost like they had everything but really squandered it it was like a millionaire who spends all his money on hookers and blow and then says I didn't put it any way for the future that was WCW when I went to WWE it was a whole new world everybody had an angle everyone had respect Vince McMahon knows the name of the, the popcorn vendor all the way up to the world champion. Eric Bischoff never really said anything and would kind of really be sequestered off with, with his guys and it, it was a real like high school. Everybody sat with themselves. Is it was, Bischoff it was still there? Uh, in WWE? No, he's not. No. I don't think he's, he's gone. There. He's gone, yeah. He's gone. And let me ask you, is coach and all these guys that are being put over as like GMs and da 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 mm -hmm. Is there any of them that actually make matches or like, no, like it's Teddy all, Long or anything? Or it's just all no, that's all show. It's all show. Yeah, it's yeah. all show. And you should know that, Patrice. I know that, but yeah. they do. Like Jim Ross, he's when I was there. Jim Ross was big boy. Like Jim yeah. Ross was like he was the head of talent relations. He was big boy. He was really? a big boy. But he yeah. all he was on on tape was um the guy the with, the, with the yeah, right. he was like right. doing yeah. his exactly. thing. And oh my God, King, you, amazing. That's what he. But he was a, <laughs> my he God, was a, my God. I tell you, a guy that was an asshole when I was there, who treated me like shit, was the other big boy. It was Vince, and there was another motherfucker who was really uh, the man. Dog the bounty hunter. <laughs> Dog the bounty hunter. <laughs> and he <laughs> and he looked at Vince when I was on the plane. And went, what the fuck is this nigga doing on the plane? Don't let him on the plane. I like saying nigga. <laughs> who was it? The was pilot? it Kevin Dunn? Kevin Dunn. Kevin Dunn. God, he treated me like dog shit, Kevin Dunn. Well, he he's the executive producer of all the shows. So, if, yeah, if he was treating oh. you like shit, you don't have long to, to it last It was there. just awful. Yeah, he, he looked me up, and he wouldn't even speak to me. I'm like, Jesus, I'm wow. right next to Vince. I'm, yeah, he's big time. All right, he's big time. Good job for... Uh, that was for, good. He finally yeah. got it. Yeah, he got Should it. Should we do line of the day and get the hell out of here, or what? That sounds like a plan. Sounds good. We, we were still trying to recover from the, from the atrocities. I think we made a full recovery. We did. We're doing good. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, we're doing good. It's all good. I think we're okay. Patrice okay. is just laughing his ass off. Are you guys? Are you? I think this is crazy, right? You guys gonna agree to disagree? Is that what it comes down to? No, we're friends. Agree to disagree? We're, we're what is the? What, is the, oh, what does that even mean? Agree to disagree? I love it's, 
<laughs> it's a bit we do on the show, Patrice. Of course it means nothing. That's the point of the whole fucking thing. I know. I, we just hate when people say that, so now we do it on our oh show. My Look God. at how they usher oh, the audience out. Disagree. 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 The audience is leaving oh. in protest. They oh. usher them out so we don't have to sit here and take pictures with all of yeah, them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ask questions and they can take sides yeah. on our arguments. Oh, shit. <laughs> No, they, we just don't want them to see the bloodshed. <laughs> um, no they won't see me. They'll just see like one of my shoes and my bloody sweat jacket. <laughs> they can ask. The best part that security was sent in. That's yeah, it wasn't oh, necessary. It's that, like, come on. That, it wasn't necessary. Who, who makes that call? Do you have a red button That's underneath? Mess. Mess. No, no, it was a was it you? Personal no. judgment call. No, believe no, me. No, who fucking did that? Poe would hear that no, and go. I don't call Poe. I actually told Poe not to come in here, and he said, "No, no, no, I'm going to come in." Poe was going to That was unnecessary. Guaranteed. That was just Paul coming in to make my sure. But that's great, though. I mean, now Absolutely. we can say, remember that time when the security came in? It was so it was Paul so crazy. was trying to protect Paul. me. He didn't know if, if Chris was just going to smash me. Oh, so come on, man. We're professionals, that, right? I'm saying that that's what his yeah. Yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris when did you take that? When did you take this? I don't this? think he'd punch you. I'm not saying he would, but How Ellen? are you on? That's on. Oh, I thought that was Chris Jericho right there. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> You're making it's, it. not a, it's not oh. a joke on you. It's a joke on You trying to fucking make a situation, motherfucker. Not him. You think he was like Ellen Jarrett? You're saying I'm it making a I joke say it's on, a joke on Ellen. Ellen? I don't have to say if you're saying I look like Ellen, the joke no, is a joke on him. Yeah. Yeah. He just said you look like Ellen DeGeneres. Did he just say I look like Ellen DeGeneres? Is that what he just said? Yes, he <laughs> fucking did. He goes, when did you take this? We all looked up and there's Ellen DeGeneres. Dude, okay, if we were watching King Kong and someone said, look, it's Patrice, <laughs> you'd go, oh, that's the joke on King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to uh, you know, a contest we can all appreciate. I apologize. I meant it right. Very fair. That's what I'm that just trying to be. What were you getting at, though? Was that it? <laughs> he said I'm skinny. He said you a lesbian. Put it earlier. He said I look like a concentration I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't Hey, listen, are you, going, are you going back to wrestling with that two two thing? Right. I couldn't say anything to her, so it was like I was saying that to her, but he was... Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lost. So I have to... That makes Man. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, I, and I see your side. He so compared Jericho to Ellen, but he's saying that the, 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 the punchline was Ellen, not Chris. If Ellen was yes. sitting here and Chris was on TV yes. and you go, hey, yes. look... Then it would have worked. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And that's where it went, yeah. But then we also wouldn't have had that earlier situation if it was Ellen. It would, yeah. have been a dip, it would have been a, les that, it would have been a lesbian I've thing. completely forgotten. It would yes. have been a lesbian Jimmy thing. would have blurted out some insensitive lesbian joke. Of course. <laughs> and, uh, and she'd yeah. have kicked his ass. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. Uh, Damn it. Well, Boy, this has just been a lesbian. This is the Wild West. West. It has, hasn't it? It's just been it a has. lesbian. We've run the game. Take your fun. fucking hat and go to the yeah. cotton club, you <laughs> motherfucker. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like the American gangster <laughs> dude. Yes. bitch around and <laughs> 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 We're not leaving until we see that Brother Joseph has proper medical attention. <laughs> I'm going somewhere and get a cockalene right now, baby. Rob, <laughs> that's an amazing hat. Uh, it's got a feather like in it. it. It works. All right, Patrice. Nice. We learned uh, today that Chris Jericho is coming back to the WWE. Let's not forget that. And. Ooh, he did not deny that. Well, I mean, at this point, what's the Wrestling point? Wrestling sites have What's the fun? point, exactly? What's like, the point? Yeah, he's like, why bother? So it's a yes? Well, you know, I got a book tour for the next month, and after that, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> we just beat him down. That's going to, you know, something At this point, like, oh, fuck it all. That right there is going to scoop your great questions the on the thing, wrestling websites. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was, you know, but that's the speculation that's going on, So, and I never denied or uh, or confirmed anything. So usually means it's it's true, by the way. Well, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Elias, could be, you know to get my truck? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let's look. Uh, Let's uh, make it perfectly clear. Uh, Chris Jericho's book is A Lion's Tale, Around the World in Spandex. Uh, getting great reviews from uh, someone I respect a lot as far as writing goes, Mick Foley. He's written some great books over the years, and he writes uh, thoughtful, thorough, and laugh-out-loud funny. Jericho's book is a winner. And he was kind of scared that your book was funnier than his. Well, so. like I said, that's the idea. Hopefully we'll get that. You know, come on down to, uh, where am I, Borders? Uh, 100, uh, 100 Broadway in Manhattan at uh, 1230. You'll be there signing copies. Come on down and insult me. It's Insult Jericho Day. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you coming back? Jimmy, Jimmy's going to be dropping in for that to, one. To hear? I, I, guys, this is fun stuff. Yeah, it is. I, I have no problems. I, I have a great I, time. I, you know, sometimes you get into deep discussions. This is what we do. 
You know what I mean? Jimmy, I mean, talk, brother. Come on. We had a deep discussion today. Everyone has yeah. opinions. Yes. There's, there's, no, there's no lasting No, things. no, like, not at it's all. It's like having a beer talking about the Mets or the Knicks or the, the, you know, the Mets yeah. and the Knicks. Do you like basketball or baseball? Basketball players playing uh, baseball. That, it's perfect. <laughs> Sounds like an idea. Yes, and I'll be in Queensbury tonight yeah. at the uh, Saratoga Comedy Club. Uh, in that shit house, sweet basil restaurant. So come see me there. And hopefully, hopefully that's enticing. Come see me in the shit house. Hopefully you'll be funny. Let's hope so to be a first. But if you can make it, come on, be up there. Saturday early show sold out. So try the other three. Wow, and Patrice is stress factory seven three two five four five. Ha ha tonight and tomorrow night. Two shows tonight with that revolting phone number, and two shows tomorrow night. The great Patrice O'Neill. Thank you. And of course, Chris is doing his uh, book his book today. signing today at Borders one hundred uh, Broadway, Broadway in Manhattan. And, and there's going to be a line, so get there early. You do uh, Best See, Week Ever still? Uh, not Best Week Ever, but we just filmed I Love the New Millennium. And even though it's only 2007, okay. they're already doing that. So. Oh, okay. I want to thank Quick from Harlem Nights also. <laughs> 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 I am going to wear this hat, man. I do it, but it's it's going to happen. I'm just going to wear my goddamn hat. No, we learned when you wore that fucking Pink Panther shirt. <laughs> and we didn't give you any shit about it. Right now, Oscar Madison's head is cold. <laughs> this guy came in with a... Pink Panther t-shirt one day. And we didn't give him one God, fucking yeah. word about it. Not we one word. We let him slide for whatever reason. You're also know, sneaky bastards. You know a lot of little, like, uh, quick from... That is a fucking well, amazing I, reference You know right something? There. That I wish I could sit here and take credit for that. But then there's the bell. It starts the third round. <laughs> uh, I wish I could take credit for that, but that was handed to me by... Uh, Danny. Danny. Oh, oh, Danny. Who came, did, oh, who came shit. up with it? Was it Danny? Danny. Yes. All right. Danny Googled blacks and hats. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good. That's Thank funny. Oh, that's the true comedy. These fucking two. <laughs> oh, these two. We're, yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're going. We're going to the club. Chris is no, a goddamn it, troublemaker too. Yes, of course he, he is. Thinks of course. He's slick because he's smarter than probably ninety-eight percent of all the wrestlers. <laughs> they don't know when he's being an asshole. But the thing he knows that's jabbing him is his this. validation of each joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now that was good. And then I'll say something. Chris is fully aware of what he's doing. You are. See, man. Now, for the people out there, this thing is still going on. You just go, you just gotta listen very we'll closely. Have to the, we'll have to bring the rematch. Back. Oh, oh you gotta hear God. the little jabs that have been going back and forth no, 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 for the last forty minutes. Well, I'm, but I'm the, 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 the great Khali doesn't know when he's doing that to him. That's no, quick. don't, no, Jimmy, don't let Patrice stir you up, man. But no, no, Patrice is right. Of course, I'm, I'm not stupid. Like, you think I don't know? Like, see, Chris, thanks a lot. He liked that one. Fucking forty years old. He just did. He just did the ball thing. He's funny. Let it be said that Jim's been jabbing back too. You just gotta listen really close, but of course. But of course, I know that that's just what it is. So then, if I if I'm like kind of shitty about something, he'll go, "What? We let it go." <laughs> 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 He's a passive aggressive he's, he's monster. A pa yes! He's a, a passive aggressive fight. monster. Monster. Passive aggressive <laughs> in his ass! Yes. <laughs> I almost made it That's out the door without fair. you figuring it out on air. I, li I like this. No, we, we were fully like aware. We, we just wanted to play out because there's fun to listen to. At one, point, at one point, Chris went. Now that's funny. And Jimmy goes, yeah, thanks. And makes the face like, but it, it sounded like a thank you. Yes, but if you look at the face, it was just like, yeah, thank you. You can't, you can't be able to fight and be smarmy. You can't be a smarmy ass and beat somebody up at the same time. You have to just... That's like telling somebody... What an asshole! You know, you, <laughs> but that's and you love it, don't you? You love it! But that's why Chris Jericho's shit is great. I love oh, that's I love amazing, the, when he used dude. to do all that stuff uh, during his matches and all that crap. But that's, so. the, that's the equivalent of telling somebody that the truth. Genius, telling man. somebody that's the awful. awful truth. Like if somebody has an ugly girlfriend to go, Hey, your girlfriend's a pig, and then wake at him and poke at him in the stomach. <laughs> I gotcha. Just great, kidding, pal. Good just call, kidding. man. That's right. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Very Between us, you know. That's very I was good. just sitting there going, why is he? And I go, oh my God, Jericho's a goddamn troublemaker. I was feeling bad for a second, like, uh, no, he like, absolutely he is. is. An asshole, man. That's hilarious. He knows. Mm -mm -mm. God Manipulation is my game. Me. Holy shit. He's, he's been doing that his whole career. God, that's, I that's know what wrestlers. We do. I know wrestlers. wrestlers. hated you. It's well, only like three that liked you. I already know. Yeah. I just know. No, yeah. Son of a bitch. I, I'm going to pee my pants. Do we have to do line of the day or what should we? Oh, that's funny. All right. BodogFantasy.net <laughs> brings you line of the uh, day. It's uh, for fantasy football fans everywhere. BodogFantasy.net. Check it out for yourself if you play some of that fantasy football. BodogFantasy.net. Here's a runner-up line of the day. Hart said that his client is not a racist and vowed never to use the word again. <laughs> That's well, 
How is he going to go through life without saying again? <laughs> that's good. Did you just say that's good? <laughs> no. <laughs> Frank! <laughs> that's, that's funny, guys. Dear diary. <laughs> yes, you do. Dick Gold Star for Dear diary. You know what? I wanna, you, you guys should do more humor like that. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. I want to hang out with Chris Jericho more, man. He's right down my aisle. Oh, I didn't, he's there. funny, but I didn't realize he was that funny. I didn't right on. I just I didn't now. realize that. God damn it. Here's another runner up line of the day. Good is good if it's good for me. Yes. That's, that's what it is. That's look, good for me. Look it's at Patrice's hands. Really? Yes, I like it. Yeah, my I hands like are different. I would have to it. kind of, <laughs> I would have to squeeze those and suck them through the fist. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> that, oh. that, that was a good one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now that was a good line. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, Evil. If you adopt that, is, that is going to be the worst to, that's worse than a car crash to go. I wasn't. That, now that was a good one. I wasn't feeling your niggership, but that was good. Oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit. Oh. What the oh. fuck is that? God, it so, all comes crashing down. Unbelievable. I, I, haven't, I haven't heard a lot of your stuff, Patrice, but that was really funny. <laughs> oh. I'm not a fan or anything. You should do more of that right there. Do, do that, a lot more that's, of that. That's a good do one. Do a lot more of that right there. Right, hey, here's a, another runner-up line of the day. I'll be playing uh, Poe's Revenge. <laughs> it's set on a video game of F.H. Riley's. No, not. No. In the parking lot. Oh, yes. I want to make it very, uh, very clear. But you have to walk through the establishment first. We don't condone that game. activity at that fine restaurant. And you go out back. Pose revenge as he ties you to a stake and then talks to you. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Swim walk. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this bad? I just I just texted Poe to um, get my car and and face it west. I said, make sure it's facing west. Uh, yeah, Do you yeah. think that's going to be a problem? Yeah, he's got his stupid finger up in the air. Poe, where is it? It's in the Parker Meridian lobby. Is Chris, <laughs> is Chris uh, texting wrestling f friends yeah, here? Yeah, I have. No, my wife just called me because I haven't called her all morning. What'd she call you? Hours. She called me an idiot. <laughs> just she say. called me not funny. All right, here we go. Uh, another runner-up line of the day. Yep. Just so you know a little more, WWE sent him a, uh, a, a real belt a for A champion birthday. belt, yeah. The real what? one. Really? Yeah. Why is that? With the spinning I, thing and everything. Because he's such a huge fan. Are, are, you, are you sick? or Talking about it. <laughs> that's a great line. That's all right. Know. Now, that one's good. No, I don't like it. That plays off of sick children. Because that's what they that's what they. <laughs> That is what they send sick kids. Oh oh, honestly, they're still going uh, But I'm not. I'm saying the truth. What is he sick? They send sick kids shit. Oh, shit. They really do. That's a no, playoff for children. I, can I say to you, I, I, I believe shit. it. I can't fuck it. I got the line of the day. <laughs> no, the problem is that I got the line of the day, and I'm not even a comedian. Wow. It's not line of the day. Oh, oh. Holy shit. Okay. shit. Can I show you the face? I know it's radio. Yeah, yeah play it out but for everybody. But he would not. When, he, when that happened, when Norm just did that, Chris's face went down as to go, how, it went doo -doo -doo, like a computer to go, <laughs> how am I going to get him back? <laughs> he is competitive. Of course. He is awful. Dude, you should be like that. You're actually right. That's what I was you, thinking. He just went, he just went, mm, all right, good one, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't to say come that. come back. Holy shit! This is this, this oh, one of my favorite <laughs> radio shows of all time. Of all time. Chris, it Chris Jericho is just time. horrendous, <laughs> and Norton is just pure. His whole body is a heart. I know he's shaped like a he's shaped like a inside of a body, like an organ. He's shaped like a liver, but his he's all this is the heart. This is better than the main event at WrestleMania. Oh, oh yeah, God. this has been going on for the last hour. The little jabs ever since the moment. Well, the main, the main event started. at WrestleMania, but but. But not his main event because he's on the middle cards, right, no, Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Sam. Yeah. Sam. No. Yeah. That's right. Fucking no. Dress sock. I worked in a battle royal on, on no. WrestleMania once. Uh, Sam wanted. To, Sam wanted to ask this question: Is it true that you had to write a book because uh, the WWE doesn't care about you anymore? And you <laughs> need something to do. Oh, you <laughs> what is this? Why is and by this the way, there's fucking Opie's beauty. I want to say something awful, so I'll pretend so and so. 
want to be. We're learning the rules of comedy. And, and look at Anthony's looking at him like, hey, cuntface. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. I did not. Anthony's not looking at him like that. You're, this is the meanest show I've been on. You're pretty ever. much. This you're pretty really much, is mean. You're pretty much watching a show just unravel in front of your eyes. This is so mean. A show is, we've built up for years is, is coming apart fat today. Fat Jimmy, Jimmy's Jimmy's yeah. fucking pegged that right on the head, too. Cause using Jim, somebody else. Well, because I think Jimmy's been waiting to get back at me because I kind of like well, jumped in on, on the uh, the Jericho thing earlier. No. <laughs> I, I, think he was, I think he's been waiting to give me a I slam. I just noticed it. No, I just noticed it. <laughs> Jimmy has been pretending to be him since that happened. <laughs> <laughs> He's been he's been a doppelganger of Jimmy. Like it, he has went into another place. Oh my but God. Chris is still there. Also, but he's de- he's less he's more political. Jimmy's just his little eyes with no eyelids are just yeah. open. And, and Chris right, is listen. like, ha, 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 I want to get this little piece right. of garbage. All right, we got to get Charger out of here. Lions tail around the world in spandex. But here is your line of the day. Thank you, BodogFantasy.net. Uh oh. He- Duck and cover. <laughs> and then you got uh, in second place, manliest video games ever, according to Arthur'sFall.com. Oh. Mike Tyson's Punch Out from 1987. Uh, I remember that. That's a classic. One. Yeah, that's a classic, classic, obviously. <laughs> that yeah, could have been I agree. As, as I'm the game. <laughs> Tyson's Revenge. And Custer's could have been the same. <laughs> Can I get line of the day? Yeah. Nice try, kid. <laughs> Trash. Uh, well, the game. We learned the staff has no balls whatsoever. No, no. no. Me, 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 Steve! He's just doing wrong? what he normally he does. Fell he's sitting in those chairs. You can't <laughs> sit in those chairs. <laughs> oh, I thought it was. He looked right. like he was thinking deeply. No, I'm, I'm gonna pee my sleeping. pants. Uh, I hate for this one in there, Obi. I, I think you uh, did everything. Unless you want to keep going, I'm, I got it. I gotta I mean, go. Everyone's yeah. gotta we go. Gotta, we got out of here. A Lion's Tale, a great book. Chris Jericho oh, signing 100 Broadway in Manhattan at 12:30 today. Yes, thank you guys. We'll see you Monday, man. What are we promoting? WWE. Well, yeah, we were supposed to. E Rock and me both were supposed to promote it, but. Uh, yeah, WWE is sending E Rock and me to the uh, Raw 15th anniversary show that's tonight. Wow! Yeah, we're going to be in the. Is well, it going to be live on TV tonight? Yeah, it's live. It's on at uh, 8 o'clock on USA. Let me tell you something. I, I haven't watched wrestling as much as I used to. Yeah. I will definitely be watching. Got to tune in for this one. Yeah, yeah the got, commercials sound great. They, I mean, they're bringing everybody back. Hulk right? Hogan's coming back. Stone Who cares Cold's about Hulk back. Hogan? Well, E Rock cares about Hulk Hogan. It's his hero. Gives a shit about Hulk Hogan. Everybody. He's <laughs> immortal. <laughs> Stone Cold, Mick Foley, everybody's going to be I want to see some of the other guys, but yeah. But yeah, they're sending us, uh, they sent us front row tickets, E-Rock and me, and today E-Rock decides that because the drive is long, he can't go. Eric. <laughs> but, it's uh, his friggin' hero. But it's Bridgeport, it's right? Hero. It's E-Rock, Bridgeport, Connecticut. E-Rock loves his wrestling. It's, it's Vince McMahon. Do you ever think about Hulk wrestling Hogan. be half nigger boy? What? <laughs> 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 what do you think of his afro? It's despicable. <laughs> it's just nasty. Is that... It bothers me. All right. E-Rock, why aren't you going to the wrestling tonight? It's an hour and a half drive each way. It's two of your heroes. So? Vince McMahon and Hulk Hogan. Why don't you want to hang out there. with Sam? He's I not have no nice. problem hanging out with Sam. It's just I don't want to come home after 1 a.m. You love wrestling. I know. You're I think it was fag. because... And then go to work and just sleep on the couch. At least we'll know you'll be on time. You're a last disappointment. Time, last time I ratted him out for... Going to the Are you going stand. by yourself? I don't know. Do you, who, I'm saying if you, I'm saying if you have to, you'll go by yourself, right? If I have to, of course I'll go by myself. Sam, loves I would love wrestling. to go with you, but yeah. Sam, I'm not hanging out with you. Why? We could be on TV. It's just you just you're too far down on the cool meter. Like That's you refuse right. to even. And when I say cool, I don't mean your status. It's just you just won't be cool, yeah. and you're happy with it. I don't fucking fuck like people who aren't cool and just and are like I don't care. Can't fuck with them. Mm. There has to be a sad warfare about you for me to just like hang. It's not cool about me. Meaning, <laughs> do you know? It's like you don't have to dress a certain way. It's just that you're just like a you just, you know, you got a wandering eye. Like your eyes funny. 
<laughs> like if you look, if you look at if you look if you look at what Sam's eyes, his, his, eyes? Eye. his left eye is the Night Rider. He does it does the Night Rider thing. <laughs> like talking like about? Kit, it's you like know, like Night Rider thing. Grill, yeah. yeah, Kit's grill kind of. Worm, worm. <laughs> If you look at him long enough, his, his left eye starts to move. His eyes move by themselves like an albino's eyes. It bugs you. <laughs> like a horny toad. <laughs> and he doesn't care. He's too comfortable. Like that awful hair. He's just too comfortable with that hair. And they and they pan the front of the audience. I just can't. <laughs> you can't I'll be, be there. Like, I think I seen Patrice with some weird little um, Negro um, sick boy. Like some sick, <laughs> no. some sick Negro albino boy. <laughs> They're going to think it's such a huge show. What a couple of lucky guys to be there in the front row. You want Sa oh, uh, you Sam, go. you want Flea Man to go with you? No. <laughs> Why not? Uh, Flea Man? Uh, Why not? Uh, there you go. Sam, Flea Sam. Man is the fucking him of my story. I was gonna, uh, you beat me to it. Uh, <laughs> Flea Man, what's uh, up? If there's an extra ticket, I would uh, sure appreciate uh, going. I... <laughs> what do you want? I haven't even said anything. I haven't even said anything. Anything. No, Sam, if you want me to go tonight with you, I'll go. But I don't want you to go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That had to hurt. Right, Sarah, Why I'll not, Sam? Time. Why don't you want Flea Man again? Flea because. made me leave Pal Talk last night, too. He got me so pissed off. Express it. That's what I'm saying. On the cool scale, Flea Man is so far <laughs> below me that the last thing I want is to be seen on TV wow. next to some... Hanging out with Flea Man. Flea Man. Don't you understand? You're all sitting in the same room that uh, they put all those kids a in an animal of, house. A bunch of flea men. <laughs> it's <laughs> just a bunch of Sam's and flea men there. Well, they, sat, they sat Flounder and uh, the other guy with the uh, the Indian kid. And <laughs> oh, shit. It's just a bunch of Sam's and flea men all <laughs> no, over the, just, the goddamn stadium. Just flea men, not Sam's. There's one Sam, and he'll be in the front row. <laughs> I'm sure there's uh, some other boys with weird hair that no one understands. <laughs> and you know Sam's going to have a sign, and he has his own belt. And he he does a, have his belt. He has a fucking number oh, one foam finger. He just makes me <laughs> sick already. You uncool motherfucker. I'll be trying to sit in that bitch trying to be cool. He'll be like, Stone Cold number one with a fucking foam <laughs> finger. We would have a great time if we went together. And Jimmy Superfly <laughs> schnooker feet. Larry, New York, what's up? Yeah, I was just wondering if uh, Sam's got an extra ticket. Why does he bring AJ Poopy Shits to Raw? Oh, good. Yeah, you uh. want to bring AJ Poopy Shits? No, I don't want to bring AJ Poopy Shits. What's wrong with AJ Poopy Shits? It's embarrassing. Oh. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> I bet. I would never bring that guy to a wrestling show. I think Sam show. is upset that he's not upgraded to being cooler than these dudes that with like, Flea yeah. Man or AJ Poopy Shits. <laughs> Do you There's understand, no Sam? I'm um, as far down as AJ Poopy Shits is. All right, listen. <laughs> so what's the big plug? We got to go home. Well, it's Raw tonight at 8 p.m., three hours on the USA Network. Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold, Eric Bischoff, Mick Foley. Everybody's going to be Why, Bischoff there. was gone? Yeah, Bischoff's been gone for a while. Fired or... He was Fired. But they'll all be back. They're doing a 15-man battle royal with all the old guys in oh, it. Oh, wow. Patrice, you would have a great time. I can't go. And where is this going to be? Where I want to just event? fucking it's watch in, it. Uh, Bridgeport, wanna... Connecticut. Oh, it's in Bridgeport. I would be sitting there going, uh, I wish I'd have stayed home and just... Of course you would. <laughs> E-Rock's in here. Something's going on. What's up, E-Rock? What do you got? E-Rock? Uh, he's setting up something. I swear we have no idea. We have a, a little Christmas gift for you on line 10. For who? For uh, for both of you. For the show. Oh boy, it's gonna be great. Hello. Hello. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, it hit me right when right Who when the I. Who is this? Uh, excuse me, Mr. McMahon. What? <laughs> you're you're uh, on the air. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Big fans, of oh, course. Oh right. yeah. You might re <laughs> you might remember us. Uh, you hired us once. <laughs> Everybody makes a mistake every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one thing, I never got much closure uh, when the whole um, uh, XFL pregame show thing, uh, when, when we were uh, let go, let's say, from that, because I never heard from the boss that we were fired. And I would just love it. If if you could give me some closure and and get rid of us the way you normally do, yeah, we've been waiting years for this, sir. I would be delighted. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, please. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. McMahon. You know, I mean, that's not as good as I do later on, but that's way early in the morning. I'm having a phlegm early in the morning. You know? Yes, you sure build some up later, though. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna challenge you there, oh, uh, Vince. Vince, you're you're uh, amazing. You guys making fun of me like that, by the way. It's an homage, no, Vince. I don't appreciate that. I don't sound like that. 
You don't think you sound like that? When you hit the ring, you better believe you sound like that! <laughs> now, we, we, we've we been hearing that uh, you might be getting tapes of Anthony doing uh, doing you, sir. Is this true or uh, false? Yeah, yes, it's very true. Oh, it's wow, keep, that's very flattering. Keeping tabs. <laughs> keeping uh -oh. tabs on you boys. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, and actually, you know, I mean, it, it sounds uh, pretty close, I think. <laughs> yeah, so close that we've also noticed that now you're doing Ant's impression of you. That's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like. But you could go to hell. Exactly. <laughs> Trying to emulate him, he's better than I am. <laughs> well, Vince McMahon, uh, what a treat. We haven't spoken to you in so long. Uh, what What's going on in the wonderful world of the WWE? Well, the biggest thing is going on, of course, is a tribute to the troops. We just got back from Iraq. Yep. We got a big uh, Christmas Eve airing on USA Network. Nice oh, straight. And uh, it's a really, really good show. It's an opportunity for us to go over there and uh, bring a little slice of Americana uh, over to our men and women over there who are paying such a sacrifice for us in a price. But uh, it's really yeah. a fun, fun show. And, again, it's, uh, you, know, you get to see the spirit of these men and women. And, you know, I mean, it, it just uh, it's, it's enlightening when you watch it. It's really a fun show, and it's an opportunity as well for the uh, kids over there to be able to say hello to everybody back over here. Very, wow, very what a cool. great thing, man. Very cool. And, uh, of, of course, you, who'd you bring over there with you? Uh, well, actually, we took a, a lot of guys. We, uh, we took a DX, of course, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Kennedy, Chris Jericho was over there. Uh, oh. Ray Mysterio, who's made quite a number of tours. And uh, uh, Bob Orton, or actually would be uh, Bob Orton's son. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and some of the divas and, and what have you. Oh, uh, that's always Ron good. Ron Simmons and, you know, Jeff Hardy, a whole bunch of uh, guys. And we just... And we all got in the Black Hawk uh, helicopters and went to the forward operating bases, which is something that most people don't do. And, Listen uh, here, you insurgents. <laughs> Why don't you come here and take on some of my guys from the WWE? We'll kick your ass in a cage match. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell talks like that? <laughs> uh, that's a great thing, man. Those are my sentiments, exactly. Hey, Vince, uh, we watched the 15-year special you guys just did for Raw. Yeah. And you got to bring back uh, people kissing your ass, man. That, that, <laughs> that was shit. it. Was that the was hysterical. Stuff, man. <laughs> I kiss my ass, Bob. Uh, you know, you're right. I have to bring that back. It was hilarious. And, you know, it's not like anybody's ass. It's my ass. <laughs> it's right? your ass. That whole story, that went with uh, uh, the stink face then. Yeah. You started getting into that. Oh, my God. Yeah, that special was really good. Not so, as many people knew that my ass did tricks. <laughs> <laughs> so what? Uh, what else is going on? I mean, uh, who? Who's? Who's the champ right now? I am. You get out of here. Yeah. No, not really. No. <laughs> I was going to say he'll always be the champ. Yeah, I'm always the champ. You know. Yeah. You know, we have the uh, biggest fan ever over here. Our own young Sam. Really? Uh, yeah. Sam was so concerned. When uh, you um, apparently blew up in that limousine, yeah, you know it, it made news everywhere. It uh, certainly did. Yeah, it was a, a legitimate story seen only on WB. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We we were uh, looking at the videotape, and and poor Sam was very upset at your demise, and no. uh, we kept trying to tell him, look, yeah, I think this might not really be him uh, uh, being killed, but he was uh, inconsolable. Well, it's nice to know I have that effect on one individual here in the United States. <laughs> <laughs> the one caring soul for Mr. McMahon. And I like how uh, the FBI was involved at first, well, but then I guess the FBI got in touch, and then somehow some other agency, FIC, got, the, the FIC. FIC then had to get involved. Yeah. Well, of course, they all have to get involved. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, what we're getting at, sir, is that the FBI might have called Vince personally and said, look... Let's uh, keep us out of your silly uh, wrestling story. <laughs> and, then, and then the FIC guy, uh, he looked uh, mysteriously like uh, he could have wrestled. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you put a suit on him, you still see muscles in their neck. Yeah. You know. I I love you guys, that, man. That's it's my favorite hysterical. part of wrestling is when someone gets like hurt in the ring and they bring in the paramedics, but they're a little too big for their paramedics. <laughs> yeah. And you know that something's about to go down. Hey, it's tough to get paramedics. <laughs> Oh God damn! Yeah. Very good. How's the family? Good. Family's great, thank you. We yeah. miss we miss all you guys. You guys know, used to be on Shane our show all the time, Shane yeah, and, and yeah. Stephanie. And well, yeah. we got to get back to doing that. We would like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely, thank you, guys. And thank you very much for 
you know, for all the support for all the many years, and you really know who your friends are when they stick with you like this. And always, and, and thank you guys so much. And again, uh, you know, you know, uh, the tribute to the troops and the support for that, especially that's our most important show we do. It's even more important than WrestleMania, at least for us, it is. Yeah. And uh, again, thanks for all that promotion as well. Oh no worries. Speaking of our friendship, uh, when is our Christmas gift uh, getting here? <laughs> we're running out of days. Yeah, we're running out of days. Yeah, we are running out. And I'm looking I'm around. I don't really see uh, Vince present under the it, tree. It must be there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Sam got a belt. That's Not that's really. that, and and seeing the smile on his face was a present enough for me. Yeah, Vince. I'll well, see. There you it was go. Wonderful, uh, Vince. Thanks so much for uh, checking in on this uh, last day before vacation, and uh, it's a great thing you do. With the uh, with the troops, it and really is. And let's not forget Royal Rumble in January at Madison Square Garden yep. here in New York. Oh yeah, that'll be a good one. Oh, right yeah. here in New York City. <laughs> yeah, we're coming to New York. We're coming for you, and we're gonna kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank right, you, Vince. Man right, for the WWE. Yeah. All right, well, Paul. Hey, that was a nice surprise. How'd you yeah, guys get that? Look at that. that. I pulled some strings. You did not. <laughs> <laughs> now everyone's t trying to take credit. Was, was that, that Sam? Was, that was mostly E Rock. Oh, e Rock? About 99% e, e Rock. No wonder he's been all farting and stinking today. He's got nervous <laughs> belly over this whole thing. He was all nervous. Oh, he's all nervous and just farting and stinking. <laughs> Although they, they tipped off their surprise a little bit when both. E Rock and Sam walked in here. Yeah. yeah. So there's a guest on the phone. There's a guest on the phone. I, I, I guess who it is. Yeah. You didn't it's got to be wrestling. I knew before he said a word that it was going to be Vince because I looked at your face and the smile on there, it was either that or, or the maker of the, a PS3 or something. I like wrestling more than PS3. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Wow. Thank you very much, uh, uh, yes. E Rock. Good question coming in from uh, what's. Sam's take on what? What's what is Z? Sam's take on what? W U T happened to Vince McMahon last night? C C in Cleveland. Oh my God! Well, we were kind of going to blow this off because it was so hack. But now hack. That you, now Obviously. that you bring it up, we do have to get uh, Sam Roberts in here. Young Sam Roberts. Obviously, uh, huge news, but not on the news. I didn't see this happen on the news. Much like when uh, Vince is. Um, Limo exploded. Yeah. Uh, and he had, to, he had to bail out of that one because Chris Benoit killed him. He had killed his family, and he had to bail out of that one. But And you, you know Vince was pissed off. Like, uh, thanks a lot for was a good angle. my spot. I had a great angle that I've been thinking about for yeah. a long time. Well, the latest uh, thing to happen to Vince, obviously, some type of malfunction on stage. Yeah. Uh, or perhaps sabotage. I, I see. I want to hear from Sam about this. Um, some, some stage equipment and part of the set and lighting rigs fell down and yeah. um, fell on Mr. McMahon. Am, is this what I'm being led to believe, uh, Sam? Well, it was the conclusion of Vince giving away his million dollars because he's been giving away a million dollars a week. Yeah, and that sounded really authentic, the guy on the phone that won. Well, he won $500,000, which was the biggest, because he called uh, four pe or five people before that, and they each won 100000 uh huh. And so this final winner won five hundred thousand dollars. Wow! Sounds very fake. No, are, are, are the authorities looking into Vince McMahon? I don't think he's really giving away the, this money. Yeah, he's been giving it away for the past three weeks, a million dollars a week. Man, I I bet you he found a loophole. We got to get the WWE on the phone and ask him how they could go on the air and give away a million dollars without actually giving actually it away. Actually doing it. Then, you know what that would do for this radio show if we could pull that one off? Yeah. He's not giving away the money, Sam. How did he get it's, around this? It's his own money. Uh, of course it is. It is a way to thank the fans and to bring the old fans back. Is anyone back questioning him? I, I want to be the one that questions yeah. Vince McMahon. An accounting. that you actually gave away the million dollars. Eric and me went to the press conference. Yeah. So oh, you media, did? Yes, the media was alerted. And so it's for real. He's giving away You're the a million media. dollars a week. But I, as of now, I thought I was going to enter to win next week's million dollars. Oh. And it's not on the website anymore. The contest is... At least suspended because of what happened. Well, what what I'm seeing is uh, Vince is. Um, well, we got the audio. Let's play yeah. the audio for everybody. Yeah. Uh, you can find the ridiculous video online. Well, ridiculously upsetting video. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. 
falling into the hole in the floor. <laughs> well, it's not a hole. Oh, it's the edge of the stage? What is it? I think something in the paneling fell through. Yeah. Yeah, so there was some sabotage. Could have been some sabotage. Are we well, led to believe that there was some sabotage? I mean, in the 15-year history of Raw, I have never seen the set fall apart like that. I like how the set fell right at the hinged portion. Yeah. And, and you could see, if hinged. you rewind that, you could see the locks come out and the thing falls down, this big lighting rig. Uh, falls down exactly where it's supposed to. No, yeah. not it's not supposed to fall. And he, has a, oh. and he has plenty of room underneath yeah, the lighting yeah, rig it didn't to hit survive. Him. It didn't no, hit him. The, the lighting, lighting rig did not hit Mr. McMahon whatsoever. It's supposed he to had light a, the uh, arena. He had a protected uh, area because that he was able to get into, and then the thing falls down looking like he might have been crushed. If it's on the ground, it's not safe, and it's darker. It has to be lit for TV. Uh -huh, That's what the lighting uh -huh. stuff is And then you got for. the good guys and the bad guys working together, which well, is you can, just amazing, because they got to save Vince McMahon. Yeah. You can hear the panic in the voices oh, in the audio. Yeah. Well, of course you can. Yeah. They're all uh, uh, panicking and, and helping to try to lift this big, heavy thing off of the thing that because, is keeping it from hitting Vince by about three feet. <laughs> I mean, Triple H and John Cena are going to be wrestling for the title this yeah. Sunday, but... Let me tell you something about Triple H. His what? acting was awful because... What? In real life, Triple H wants Vince McMahon to die because then <laughs> he becomes a billionaire. <laughs> no, you no, understand that's, that, That's right? kind of true. No. He's married to Stephanie McMahon, yes. who would inherit a shitload of money if, if Pops dies. Look. So why would Triple H be in a panic? Because <laughs> Why? I'm sure he loves Vince. He loves yeah. him as a father-in-law and all that crap. But, you know. But money's money. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, you, know. you get past that initial mourning phase and you realize... <laughs> Holy shit, I'm a billionaire. You own the WWE. Right, right. We're dealing with human beings here. Yeah, are, are we, we? Sam? Really? Yeah. There's a neck brace going on Mr. McMahon. He looks unconscious. The EMTs are there helping him out and they... They kind of look like wrestlers dressed like EMTs. Why is that? Well, because they would have to get large EMTs to work these shows because the wrestlers are heavy. Oh, well, so that makes sense. If you're going to lift a wrestler, you got to be one of the bigger but, EMTs. But, but I don't think an EMT worker should be on steroids. Uh, well, there's no steroids involved. Like, look at that guy with the big shaved head. Who's yeah. that? Yeah, that's an EMT. There's I don't another know. guy with a ponytail. Yeah. And aren't yeah. these like the, the old uh, jobbers? What are these guys? No. Like? There's no jobbers there. <laughs> no. He's leaping Lenny Poffo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Brooklyn Brawler, I yeah. think I saw, <laughs> holding a stethoscope. I always wondered what <laughs> Ivan Putski was doing in retirement. <laughs> I didn't know uh, Vince McMahon still had him on the payroll. Yeah, he's on the payroll. Now he's an, an EMT. an EMT guy. Those men are not trained EMTs. Why don't we, why don't we play the audio? Because this was just amazing for, for Sam. Yeah. Well. Can you give me the password? He's in the middle of giving away the $500,000. All this guy's got to do is give Vince the password. Vince yeah. is on the phone with this gentleman. He's got to give him the password. Uh. Listen to uh, listen to the winner, because, uh, wow, he really sounds authentic. Can you give me the password? Night of Champions. Guess what? You've just won a half of a million dollars. Oh. Congratulations. I love you, Vince. You do. That is so fake. What are you talking about? I love about? you, Vince. You can't have a fake contest. Shenanigans. I'm calling the authorities. <laughs> I love you, Vince. You do. I love you back. Oh, oh now that's the apart. first lighting rig. <laughs> yeah, that fell. It fell right well, next. Half a million dollars is quite a shock. Was it some sparkles? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some sparkles. Oh, yeah. Stage is falling apart. The pyro's malfunctioning. Uh, you have to see a bunch of lighting equipment is falling. Yeah. Listen to that. Listen to the way they yell, Vince! Vince! Are they Vince. yelling that because he's trapped in the safe area? Look at, see the There's hinges? No see, look where it's hinged. Yeah, they, and watch, you'll see, you'll see a little thing release. Before this falls down. Now, why is that, Sam? He doesn't even no. have the balls. He's already in the safe area. Watch, watch the no... bottom part. Watch this little thing Look, release. This is a safe area. You see area. that? <laughs> <laughs> see? I'll tell you this. It's a mechanism. <laughs> if there was a mechanism. And he played it really safe because he made sure he was in between the two pylons just oh, in case course. he didn't get in the safe area in time. So, so no. it would be like a Charlie Chaplin thing. <laughs> no, because if there is a mechanism there, it would just be so they could safely take it down after the show. It was oh, certainly oh, so predictable. Oh, I got it. 
gotcha. Look at the safe area. He's yeah, he's in. not even hurt. It's, it's not even close to hurting him. <laughs> this is a light bulb spark. Dude, this is the best they could do. <laughs> this is a multi million dollar HD TV television set falling on you. There's no safe area. It's a safe area. He made sure <laughs> he got between the pylons and then in the safe. <laughs> Nothing was going to hit Mr. Yeah, McMahon. Yeah, I think then Mr. McMahon's fine. Yes. Why yeah. wasn't he moving after it hit him <laughs> if he was in a safe area? Um,. Probably the same reason that he was alive after his limo blew up. No, it's fake. He's, no. Oh, my. And why is this yeah. on CNN? I mean, a, a yeah. billionaire almost died on live TV. Like, why is it? Look, we, we got don't all know the what news condition he's on. in. Do you know what condition he's in? No, but I'll tell you, I think I know why the news channels aren't covering this. Yeah. There's not a lot of information. But they are doing a press conference that they're going to stream on their website at 1 p.m. today. Why would they have to stream well, it on their yeah. website? Why Sam? wouldn't CNN? Why pick wouldn't it we up? just all well, watch this CNN? Is, <laughs> this is Vince McMahon. He's you know a pretty big name. I'm saying after the press conference will probably be when it hits all the news oh, because you think? we'll get more information. Or I want to see the press because I bet they're big, strong guys holding the camera no. yeah. and the big, burly guys holding microphones, all roided out because they could still do steroids because they're not actually in matches yeah, anymore. Yeah. There's no steroids involved i know the guys that are now like wrestling they're they're off the roids because yes. everyone's paying attention but the behind the scenes guys they're still roiding their asses off well the behind the scenes guys don't work for the press yeah what does the fic have to say about this whole yes thing? are we and what did that, that stand for again? that the federal investigation committee right right <laughs> and i'll say this <laughs> that's who, that's who was in charge when vince's uh, limo blew up but uh, the first time uh we saw that they had said the fbi and well, the FBI had put out a statement saying, we are not involved in any investigation so with the, the WWE. So, oh, they transferred, they transferred it over transferred to the, the FBI. Well, what does Sam say about the fact that, that Vince came out and said it was all crap? Yeah. Because he explained that, and I forgave him. He said that... You he, forgave him for it. you, so you admit that that was because a farce. He, no, because he said he fake killed himself to see if the people still loved him. Oh. And I said, oh, that makes sense. Because he thought that the but fans... You, but, you, but you did... You said he was fake. That his fake death was fake. Well, yeah, because he said it was. But you did believe it at first. Well, yeah. I mean, the limo. Was you disappointed up. after that? I was no. I was very much relieved that he's still alive. Oh, oh by the way, uh, well, let's let a, a keel. It looks like a keel. Yeah, man. Somebody please, Max Sam. I'm about as I'm about as much as a wrestling fan as anybody. As Sam, if not more, but. This is the same time last year he did the same stunt with the limo. Karma, man. Was that's, that a that's, year ago? It's well, a year to the day. It's actually and like... Then, so is that going to be his new thing, thing once a year he almost dies? Hey, well, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, you got to love this. The man's a genius and stuff. But Because this is, uh, what, I think like today or tomorrow is the same time when the whole thing came out about Benoit. Yeah. Which, uh, like a week before... He did a whole limo stunt, and after Benoit... Yeah. He probably sent out a press conference. Story. Look, you wrestlers, none of you kill yourself the next few months. I got a new story. If line. you kill yourselves, you I'm going to kill your whole family. You're not supposed to kill yourself, but I'm doing a stunt. Do you now, understand me? I'm going to have a giant rig fall on top of me, what? and everyone's going to think I'm injured. So if one of you sons of bitches kills themselves, your whole family's going to die. That's right, the whole family. <laughs> oh, if I hope Even though you're right. dead, you're fine. Yeah, fine. This one's got to play out. I'm going to make it last a month. And I'm going to come hobbling out on crutches one day. And then someone's going to hit me with a chair. Just in time for the next pay-per-view. <laughs> yeah. It's this Sunday. Night of Champion. What is this? Night of Champion. Night of Champion. Boy, I wonder if we're going to get another piece of the puzzle this Sunday. All the, the belts are up for grabs. All of them. All of them. Will I be there? No, because I'm injured. Here's something, uh, Vince. Pay-per-views aren't that special if you do them every four weeks. Uh, <laughs> That is I just mean, Muhammad Ali insane. used to have a pay-per-view once every two years. Everyone was watching. When you have a pay-per-view every four weeks, he, he doesn't even wait a month anymore. No. no. It's four so weeks. They actually just did uh, a pay-per-view and then two weeks and then another pay-per-view. Yeah, we exactly. do them every two weeks now. I don't understand how somebody can't understand it, how that's crazy. <laughs> All right, listen, let's go, to, uh, He's the best. let's go to Brad in Jersey. Brad, how are you, hey, sir? Uh, I, I want to know if Sam noticed that after... Uh, Vince came to when the EMTs were taking care of him. He started calling out the Triple H, but he was calling him by his real name, Paul. 
Exactly. You think they're going to break that storyline? Ah. Uh, this uh, is, that's pretty good. We got the, the audio. He said he couldn't feel his legs. All right, let's get to the uh, second Reach into the, the register audio. and pull out my money, Brad. Brad. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. All right, are you going to be able to stand up? I don't want to fall. I, I can stand up. Yeah. 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 Drop him down real quick. Slide him out. Get him out from under this first. Oh. Slide, you slide. Okay? Keep sliding. Oh. Oh, you okay? <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. Okay. Don't I move. Can't go by right. Don't move. Jesus, Jesus Christ! Don't move. You're gonna be all right. I can't go by right. Just, just lie down. God. Just no. lie down. Okay. Don't, geez, don't. Don't let him move, you guys. All right, I'll give Vince this much. Yeah. If he's if he ends up in a wheelchair for the next three months, I'm watching every fucking week. <laughs> oh, that'd be Vince great. Man in a wheelchair. Where Could be just some of them wheeling around. <laughs> they have to put a ramp up to the yeah. ring, and and then of course during a pay per view, all <clears> of a sudden he'll miraculously be able to stand up and walk, well, put on that Vince face, right, and, right. and his legs will be shaking. <laughs> right. Maybe after serious physical therapy, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hopefully. Well, yeah. We can only hope there, Sam. Fucking Sam. <laughs> right. <laughs> You're a douche. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming they're still in the hospital in San Antonio right now. Get, tri right? get Triple H on the phone right now. Yeah. Call Triple your H WWE people and get him on. We want to know the I condition. I want to talk to Paul. I want to know well, the condition of Vince McMahon. I would assume that Triple H is probably with his father-in-law in the hospital, and they probably Bedside don't Bedside have... vigil? Exactly, and they don't let <laughs> cell phones in the hospital. Uh, McMahon exploits paraplegics. Classic. That's coming in from <laughs> you know he's gonna do that. If well, he couldn't oh, feel his great. legs. That's the last thing we knew. Maybe oh, is that it? He said, "I can't feel my legs." Maybe we'll find out more. Paralyzed tonight. Vince will hit be it, great. So <laughs> he got paralyzed. Paralyzed by Vince. A life fiction that didn't hit him. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it was the whole set coming down on him. It didn't touch him. Wait, the GM of SmackDown's in a wheelchair. What, Sam? You don't tell us this. Well, that's they're setting up a wheelchair match. That's wheelchair match. That's the GM of SmackDown. That'd be Vicky Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero's widow, uh -huh. who is now having an affair with Edge, the world champion. Sure. But she's in a wheelchair. Yeah, she's been in a wheelchair for a really long time. I don't even... For real? No. I don't even really remember why she's <laughs> no. there. No. Oh, look, Sam's not even going to play on that no, one. He no, he ain't. He's ain't. <laughs> not trying to sell that one. She got gorilla press slammed a couple weeks ago. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah, Sam, the tough questions are now coming in for you. Okay. Uh, Dave in Tennessee. Yes, Dave. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning. Sam, I was wondering where in the EMT protocol is it a good idea to ask a patient, can you stand up if they might be paralyzed? I have a neck injury. The EMT <laughs> said, can you stand up? That's something that will yeah, happen. Yeah, Sam. He doesn't know yet. He Everyone else, know. the wrestlers are smart enough to say, don't move, don't, don't move. move him. Put the neck the brace EMT on him. the EMT like, can you hey, stand up? Hey, walk it off, dick. <laughs> you know what? One rookie EMT is not going to solve yeah, this whole yeah. thing. Good oh, point, Dave. Know. Good point. Sam is a douche. That's coming in a lot. Oh, what? God. Jordan from Pittsburgh is leading the charge, calling you a douche today. Why? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense to me. I'm just... Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I'm just trying to explain why I might seem distant First today. of all, the director of the show didn't think to not show Vince not being hit by <laughs> <him>. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and the camera is so close to his face, anyone in their right mind would go, get that fucking camera away yeah. we need room to work here but the camera was right on vince yeah he, you know what vince would have wanted it that way he always would said, have wanted it that way is he dead are you are you saying he's died i you know i was scared for a minute because he was he's been not... obsessed with his storyline that got fucked up last year he's like oh, I, I need to do this storyline i just gotta rework it i'll now. wait a year and rework it i'm coming back in a wheelchair and right. what if and, and what if he was still at the at the point where he wasn't pretending wrestling wasn't fake anymore. Yeah. Like, yeah. he was still trying to pretend it was real, yeah. and then he had to come out and go, it's fake, it's all of it's fake. all fake. Do you think oh. the yeah. CEO of a publicly traded company is going to pretend to be in a wheelchair? Well, I how mean, did this, this affect the stock also? Because uh, when a CEO like that uh, gets yeah. injured to that extent, where we don't even know if he's alive or dead... Um, How's that affecting the stock today? I've been so concerned with the humanity of it that I haven't checked the business oh, end yet. Oh, okay. He is an unlucky motherfucker as all those explosions are happening <laughs> yeah. around him. Yeah, how funny would and it be? And as he fell in the hole, <laughs> and then he gets up and goes, holy shit, there's more 
light bulb explosion. <laughs> but, but how what, funny was, was there have... electric electric was it the overload? Yeah, like, what happened? What how, happened? How funny would it have been if he got paralyzed for real, like doing a fake <laughs> fucking story angle? Oh, would not no, have been funny. Like, he, him. he didn't step aside, the thing hits him in the head. That would have been awful. Yeah. It's the first thing people think when Oh, so um, you're admitting it's fake. No, I'm saying if that had happened it uh, would have been awful, but this one But it's thing. awful because he's really injured, Sam. Exactly. What are you trying to say? Exactly. That's why so what it's happens awful. every time a wrestler really dies everyone thinks it's a work yeah so you don't uh you don't buy it at first which is why they don't fake these things anymore well, well, <laughs> anymore well when is the press conference well the press conference is today at one and then we'll probably all right so we'll have cnn on at one o'clock okay I'll, I'll give the the word to ron and fez and then okay. and they'll they'll broadcast the press I'm sure. conference live they're big wrestling fans i'm sure they'll want to see MSNBC, that on bc fox news they're gonna be all over all this of one. them yeah. I'm sure all the uh, major networks. Because now there might be a murderer out there. This oh is attempted God, murder. Right. So yeah. I mean, CNN's got to be all over this. Mm -hmm. Who would have done it though? Anybody um, dislike Vince? Well, you know, I'm thinking, <laughs> with him giving away a million dollars a week, yeah, a lot of wrestlers could have been quite bitter that maybe that money wasn't going into their paychecks. Uh -huh. They didn't understand why he's just giving away a million bucks. Oh, by the way, Tim H from Columbus writes the WWE stock is also fake. It looks like Monopoly money. Well, what is that <laughs> supposed to mean? Oh, well, you know, you get excited that your stock's going up, but yeah, in the but end, it's not you real. Monopoly money. It's so. not real. This yeah. is a legitimate company, okay? Right. All right, trying to get Triple H on the phone for you, Sam. Well, it would be great to hear from him. We would absolutely love to uh, hear from yeah. somebody. Well, Iraq's in been in communications echelon. with them. What are they saying, Iraq? Go on the air. Um, Iraq. Uh, from WWE uh, Public Relations. The wounds are fresh. The family is ra is rallying around the chairman. Uh, we're thought. not sure if we can get a hold of Triple H, but we are trying. See, wow, rallying around the chairman. It's not exactly the time to do press. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, well, yeah. of course. Like, this press conference was already scheduled well in advance. Yeah, he has, he has new paralysis. <laughs> you know, you can't just get oh, interviewed yeah. right after 24 hours after paralysis. God forbid. It's like swimming an hour after you eat. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you, you need time to, to yeah. get, get your paralysis right. Can't right. they just put the phone by his face so we could talk to him for a couple of seconds? Come on, can we be a little humane about this? <laughs> no. There's I mean, no statement? Where's the statement? Yeah, There has the not been a statement yet because That's we don't the first know. official word we've heard right there. It's on our show. Yes. From them is that uh, the family is rallying around the chairman. The, day the wounds is, are fresh. Is good to us. They will always give us the scoop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why right. is Vicky Guerrero a GM? Because they got to get her a job somehow. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to be. <laughs> God damn. We're going to be recording the press conference. We'll have more. Oh, tomorrow. please. You got it. I want to hear these bad questions that oh, these bad, absolutely. fake fucking reporters <laughs> ask. <laughs> I think you're real. Mr. Uh, McMahon's family. What, what caused the light explosion? Yeah, what what caused that? Well, there's so much technology involved now in putting these shows on that it could have been anything, and that's also what I want to know. Could have been sabotaged, though. That's and what where, I'm saying. And why? And who boom mic the the explosion of the like? <laughs> who boom mic that? Yeah, well, it was really loud. All How over. it goes kabloom. I almost saw the words kabloo. Kabloomy. 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 That's the thing these new... <laughs> well, they get the local high school to do the special effects for this thing? So yeah. There's no special effects. That's, that's uh, why... No, they weren't special at Rich all. Rich S. from Kansas City writes, Vince was paralyzed when his spine was hit with a severe case of the douche chills. It froze <laughs> solid, but will thaw out in time for the next Wrestlemania. So okay. that's good news. Well, I hope that he's okay. He was curled up on the floor in a completely comfortable space. Yeah. 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 Where right, nothing it, was there. It was after he had been hit. He, he didn't even play it already. off where he <laughs> stood up until the thing came down and then ducked. That's the problem. The angle, we don't know. The angle was perfect. We don't so know if he was how standing. Awful it was set up. If he was standing and let the thing almost hit him and then fell, yeah, the that would have looked good. I know, but, but he, he was he laying was... down. And who doesn't uh, run for your life as things are just blowing up and exploding? Right, right. He just stood there looking why at lighting the, fixtures. Why didn't the arena empty? And w the wrestlers that came to his rescue after yeah. it f after it fell on him, yeah, quote unquote. What what were they doing as the explosions was going on? So well, they were yeah. just chilling, waiting for something to hit him. They were in the and ring. And why was he standing exactly where that thing <laughs> fell? That's the question. That's another. That brings up Anthony's point of sabotage. 
because yeah. they knew he was going to uh-huh. be standing there. Ah, and the wrestlers are in the ring because it was the draft show, and, and they set up out. some elaborate mm-hmm. explosion to make mm-hmm. that lamp fall right on. CW from Could Scranton is, is following the story. We got updates. Uh, breaking news: McMahon's gurney in hospital accidentally pushed downstairs. Oh, Still no. not dead. What? <laughs> and then uh, more breaking news. McMahon chokes on hospital food. Still not dead. Okay, I think so they're... So CW's not, on the case here. Thank you, See, you know how you get hired to, to, to be right on these? is like you take these existing scenarios, you, you, you take an existing thing, and you just finish it. Like yeah. you write it to its conclusion, like w- what is going to happen at the yeah. end of this whole thing. Yeah. By, the, by the way, Sam, who thinks wrestling is real, yeah. Patrice used to write for the WWF. Well, I know you call the WWF. He you, used to be on Vince McMahon's plane writing out storylines. Yeah, I mean, you got to send them in a direction, but I'm assuming they had some kind of cool, nice thing written to end this big money, and then all of a sudden the set crashed down <laughs> and ruined oh. everyone's plans. And now somebody uh. has to rewrite <laughs> exactly they the paralysis. Re- yeah. Because the now they got to figure out where the paralysis angle. goes. Paralyzed Vince. I can only hope that Paralyzed Vince uses one of those old, old wheelchairs and a blanket on his legs. Uh, I'm sure like, I wanted to use one of those old wooden ones. Like the like the dead mother from Psycho. Yeah, yeah, yeah. one of those real old <laughs> wheelchairs. Crickety, a crickety, a uh, like a checkered blanket on his legs. Yeah, I certainly hope it doesn't come to that. All right, listen, we got to take a break. <laughs> certainly, enough with your nonsense, Sam. Get the hell out of here. Sam is an ass. It's good radio, but it's nonsense. Go, Sam's a go complete do something. Buffoon. <laughs> <laughs> A little story that was buried over the weekend. Just want to spend like literally a minute with it. You're a big WWE guy, right, Patrice? Oh yeah. Test died. Yep, I saw that, man. And they teased it to like another wrestler found dead, and you had to click on it to find out who it was. It was kind of, uh, it was kind of nice. You, you're sitting there wondering, oh boy, is it going to be a biggie or is it going to be one of those uh, Mexican wrestlers or he something? Was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> He was pretty big. He, he was, was really uh, big. <laughs> in his 10 minutes. Lucha Libre is important, man. Right, well, you know. Lucha Libre. Who gives a shit if a, if a masked wrestler dies? <laughs> but uh, it was Test, who was, who was only 33, which surprised me. Wow. Because he was big when we were at NEW. He had his nice run. And he was retired. At yeah, 33? He well, he, he, they said he came yeah. back recently in one of those other effing leagues, whatever. So gymnasium leagues yeah. where they go to a high school gym and, uh, yeah. what you is know, like Sam Roberts. You just die. No kid, and that's what Drugs. him and I were talking about. And Tess was a, he, this is not a bum one. I was really surprised. Like, Tess. No, just a really no. fast. He worked with Edge. He was Edge's uh, tag team partner. And I think Danny reminded me, or Sam, uh, I think both of you guys, he was the one that uh, Stephanie McMahon was supposed to marry. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. They did that whole storyline, and then, yep. and then it went bad, and then Triple H stepped in. That was his big. That was his big. That, story that was his line huge was that. story. See, if line. you look at that, that was going to be his payday. Right. And then, uh, you know, it breaks down, and he never gets over that. Right. Some drug allegations. How they found it. His neighbors noticed they were looking through uh, Tess's uh, window Uh-oh. and saw that he was just kind of, I, I, I guess, sitting there, just not moving for a couple days. And they went, oh, boy, something's wrong. Oof, Called the authorities and found him dead. Watching a very interesting program, I guess. Oof, 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 oof. 33, though. Done. Wow. He Wasn't he part of that amazing ladder match? Like years ago. Yeah, we'd have to get... I think... Sam, what do you know on Tess really fast? Uh, Sam, Sam Roberts. Primetime uh, Sam Roberts. Primetime Sam Roberts. When he's talking about wrestling. Uh, was, was <laughs> Tess, but lunchtime Sam <laughs> Was he part of that uh, amazing ladder match? I don't know. Tess didn't have any amazing matches, per se. He was uh, more of a physical Except with the Grim yeah. Reaper just recently, he was, he I was, gather. He was a group of guys that... I think Vince loves these guys. Mm-hmm. They're They're just physically imposing yeah. like Kane he will never get rid of Kane because Apparently not. he just is forever. a big guy Tess was one of those dudes who was just a big powerful muscular guy yeah but he wasn't fantastic in in the ring I thought he was good I like Tess he just wasn't good on on as mm. they stay on the stick yeah but they were on trying the to pu- they were trying to push him out there and then uh, they backed way off obviously and he dated Stacy Keebler for a while in real life. In real life. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Mm, so he's right. done. What do you know? You know anything else? No, I do. They but... find the steroid needles like at his, at his feet or anything? <laughs> I wouldn't say it was steroids. Those that has not been proven. But does Vince have to come out of his friggin' uh, injury and come back That's in? That's true. And... Vince is still no. I've I got to come out of the <laughs> hospital because it's not really you know again. 
I tried to make it like I was injured, and these guys keep <laughs> killing themselves. <laughs> Ruining my bitch. <laughs> You're dead. Fucking guy was young, man. They're saying yeah. he was 33. I, I, I tend to think that's crazy. Well, I mean... Because, I mean, we talked about him 10, 10 years, years ago, he was man. 20, he was yeah. probably a kid, 23. yeah. He could have been in his 20s. I liked it. But, like, the headlines, like you were saying, you have to click on it to find out who it was. It was like... That was that was nice, though. That was exciting. I got it was a tease, yeah. But yeah. the headline says, former WWE champion dies, and you click champion. on it. I'm like, wow, but, I'm thinking Hulk. I'm thinking it all sorts of things. Oh, it doesn't reference yeah. that they mean WWE hardcore champion. Oh, really? Hardcore yeah, champion. champion. Oh, he was never world champion? Nah. No. Oh, see, I, I bought it. Tag team. He had the silly... He had the belt. silly belt. Yeah, he had the hard the, the tag silly belt. belt. Yeah. All right, and someone to say, uh, let's give Steve a moment on the air. You're uh, on the Opie and Anthony show, Steve. Uh, Patrice is in today. What's up? It is Steve. Can you believe how old he looked? He looked close to 50 years of age. Did he? I didn't see a well, recent picture of Tess. Can we find one, maybe? He I remember that. as I mean, a young dude. Yeah, he had his hair cut he short. He honestly looks like he's close to 50. Right. He's also in rehab recently, too. So he had his demons. He, yeah, was, he was. I mean, he was getting more jacked as uh, as everyone else was getting thinner. Yeah, as time went as on, as everyone else like, went the other way. At the end, he was gigantic. Yeah, you know, we've been. What the death reason? All right, Steve. They thanks. said they found him in his apartment. Just, just found him, and they do all wrestlers. That's the that's the except for except for Benoit. Mm -hmm. The reason uh -huh. for death is found. Yeah. Well, how did he die? die? Found him. They found him. Well, what is he supposed to do? Well, tell me how he died. I don't even oh, know. They how will. Died. Kurt Henning, I don't even know how he died. Heart attack. Then they come out and they say, oh, it was a heart attack, and he was 40. Yeah. Technically, the heart attack killed him, but <laughs> Yoka, yeah. something Yoka led to the heart attack. <laughs> right. In his 30s. Yoko Zuna time. He had a heart attack. <laughs> heart, don't worry about it. All right, it's like, a heart just, attack. We found but, him, and how'd he die? Yeah. yeah. yeah just, you know, What's yeah, he? Just we natu found him. Natural causes. Yeah. <laughs> please, please don't let my death cause be found. <laughs> did he have three... Found. Did he have three Cups of cholesterol every morning. <laughs> I mean, you need to know a little more. <laughs> fucking found. For breakfast? What the fuck? Hulk Hogan, man. His fucking wife is just some young kid coming all over his... Oh, uh, uh, yeah. All, all over, over his, his shit. fucking... His white wrestling boots from yeah. Rocky Three. <laughs> <laughs> his you know pinball I machine. He's just, he's just <laughs> smashing. <laughs> he got his, his Hulk wig on. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why that Chris Rock line is, is brilliant about OJ. Uh, Understanding what OJ did. He's wiping his cum dick off on oh. all of his bandanas that he wore on his head. Doing Hulk impressions as he's Hulk fucking stick. his wife. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good pussy, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Hulk's like in a one-room fucking apartment. <laughs> fucking Some crooked, good snatch, brother. Crooked picture on the wall of him at WrestleMania 1. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. That's fucking right, Macho brother. Man and shit. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what's that shit from Rocky Three? All my love slaves out there. Yeah. Thunder lips is here in Lips's the flesh, here. baby. <laughs> Fucking his wife in, in his house, man. Oh, uh, in his Dude, house. I don't watch the uh, Brooke Hogan show, but I was turned on to a clip online where Hulk Hogan picks up Brooke Hogan in a boat, and they drive by the old place, and they're right offshore, and the little yip-yip dogs are on the lawn. There's like three or four of them, and Brooke's like, Basically, he goes, Daddy, can uh, pull over. I want to go pet the dogs. Oh. And Hulk goes, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to be uh, on the property. I could get in a lot of trouble. He and his daughter's on his side, too. Right. His, his daughter's so, on his side. So this clip ends with the boat just offshore of this ridiculous house that's right on the water That down he there. bought with his oh, wrestling yeah. money. And, there's, and, the, and the boat's just hanging out, and they're just crying their eyes out. Oh, no. And, man, I fell for uh, the Hulkster. The Hulk story. How did he and lose then you, the house? And then, and then you have to sit there and go, Guys always lose why, the house. why is the courts allowing this to happen? That's what you got to ask. Oh. Because in the same episode, they showed Hulk's new house that he's kind of like oh, either renting or just bought. It's, it's, it's like a closet compared that's to how, what he was living in. That's how it works. They're fabulous. Family. I mean, it's a nice house, but it's not what he has to just... And you, you know, haven't seen the A&E story? Or uh, uh, behind the... Whatever. What a, uh, True whatever Hollywood story? Now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his, his wife hit the lottery. Like, she did not... What she did was pop out the kids for him. So I guess when yeah. you say... Wah, wah, and you make a point because all... She didn't... They, they didn't struggle uh -huh. together. He was becoming Hulk right around where he met this bitch. Right, right. And she just was, he she was, chose her. She, she said, there. cool. 
And now she's fucking. Yeah. Now she's worth more money than him, or, or got, or she has more stuff than him right now. His house. His house. This house is ridiculous. And he got in trouble for saying he's he he he, he was going. He wanted to do OJ, but he. But he yeah, did yeah. it. And it's like, what? Are you serious? Are you, are you saying he can't think about... Like, you can't think about that? Or, are you mm. serious, man? Of course. After yeah. everything that she put him through. Oh, Unbelievable. Some young guy. For, not, for, 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 for just hanging in there like a soldier oh. through, through the, the zillions and the, and the fucking the, the accolades and the mm-hmm. hokamania. Mm-hmm. Just fucking some guy in his house. That's it. And, and a boy. What an insult! Her, and his he got in trouble for for fucking a girl that was his daughter's age. Yeah, yeah. But she's fucking a boy that's yeah. his daughter's age. Is that the Hulkster's house right there? Yeah, the house is oh, just look at that. And yeah, yeah, you see the little gazebo at the end there. Yeah, yeah. The dogs were yip yipping over there, and the boat was maybe ten, fifteen feet. Away from that, and he's like, "I'm not allowed to step foot on the property." Not allowed. And it's, it's his, his house. house. He bought it. <laughs> he on. took the bumps for that fucking money. What is it going to take for the courts to understand how ridiculous that is? God. It doesn't make sense. No. Hold on. We got the the uh, the Hulk Hogan clip of him crying on the boat. What are you doing? Can I had a cookie real quick. A little dog. I can't pet cookie. Look, I can't pull in there. Otherwise, your mom would have been put in jail. I can't. <laughs> I can't pull up there. I want to touch her for a second. Oh, you're my love. Oh, my. He can't even look. He can't even look at the house. They pull away from the dogs. They're barking. Brooke Hogan starts crying. And then Hulk starts crying. This Hulkster. is a horrendous story. Oh, she's crying, Dad. I hate this. I'm crying, brother. <laughs> Oh, God. Poor Hulk. Oh, look at his face. He's just like, he's just like, oh. That blows. Do we have a better audio copy of that? What? The guy that Linda is dating is younger than Brooke. And, um. Yeah. He went went to school with her. Right. He's actually younger than her. And she, on one of the, uh, Brooke knows best, she was saying to one of her girlfriends as they're drinking this, oh, Brooke still hasn't got over Charlie yet. Because I'm with him now, and Brooke never wanted anything to do with Charlie to begin with. Jesus. Oh, that's the that's the guy that's yeah, banging that's her. Charlie. Oh, yep. Jesus and, and Christ, Hogan, that's horrible. Well, the last time Hogan was in court with her was because um, she's at Hoke's house, naturally, right there on the water in Miami. She's throwing coke binge parties and booze. Well, we don't know. Dude, what, and, what kind of allegations yeah, are you making, really... sir? <laughs> You can you could say you a madman. You could say you're hearing that that might be going on, but yeah, we don't. Honestly, we don't know. I mean, it it has been rumored. I, I you know, I can tell you that much, but we don't know. And for sure. Brooke even alluded to some things. Yeah, but, uh, if she gets caught, let's say that's the case. If she gets caught doing that, will he? Uh... Hopefully yeah, he'll probably have to pay the coke bill. <laughs> yeah, well, the lawyer says <laughs> to fix her well, septum. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> that's the whole point right now. He's trying to prove that she doesn't need forty thousand dollars a month in pre-divorce alimony because she's just using it to uh, let uh, give out candy to the children. Amazing. Good call, Mike. Thank you. I got. I got. Re- all right, I got E-Rock in studio. E-Rock, what's up? You're saying about how uh, Hogan making his money. He's, he doesn't even own his name or his trademarks anymore. Oh. He sold it to uh, Eric Bischoff right before the divorce oh. for like a dollar so that this way she couldn't claim any of the royalties that he gets from the name and the trademarks. Oh, so he cut off his nose to spite his face a little bit. Yeah. Wait, so what is, face. what is Bischoff doing with it? Is he He's just sitting on it. He, he collects uh, all the royalty money for it, but he, he just sits on it until this thing's done, and then he oh. sells it back to Hogan. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, they're that close, those two? Mm-hmm. Oh, Unless that's he nice. doesn't. That's Unless good to know. Doesn't. You got a friend like that, but you got to make sure that friend doesn't <laughs> get sell it back crazy yet. on you. Yeah, there's all uh, kinds of action figures and shit coming out. He's just whoring his name around. <laughs> all right, what do we got on uh, Vince McMahon and Donald Trump? Well, we learned ah. last week here on the Opie and Anthony show, we got the exclusive scoop that Donald Trump purchased Monday Night Raw. What a shock that was when Vince announced that uh, yeah. that he the, was buying it. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump was buying uh, basically Raw. came to Vince and made him an offer that he couldn't refuse. Yeah, He didn't disclose how much money it was, but obviously it was a lot. And, uh, and then Donald Trump came out and said, I'm the owner now, and next week we're doing a commercial-free broadcast... And I will be there. I can't see this going well 
for <laughs> for the viewers. What? No, for I, I mean for for uh, uh, all parties involved in this <laughs> business transaction. You don't see any winners. No, I see everyone trying to screw each other. I bet. Well, they're all very shrewd businessmen. Is that what it is? You don't get to become a billionaire by being nice to people. No, nah, that's true. <laughs> this is so uh, stupid. <laughs> I love it, though. Vince rules. Yeah, he's the best. All right, well, let's get into the audio. Donald Trump addresses the crowd. Yeah, this is the beginning of Raw last night when Donald Trump, the new owner of Raw, and there were Trump signs. And is he a big heel? No, 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 no. He's a, he's a, he's a baby face. He's, he's there. Really? He's there because he's giving the fans... Uh, Trump is a face yeah. on there, huh? Commercial, commercial free broadcast. Free. He's giving to the fans. Now, did he have music when he came out? Yeah, it was the uh, ripoff of uh, money, 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 money. Right. And how much? How much money do you think it cost him to, to pay to buy raw? Pay for for three hours of no four. Well, here's two. the thing. It was technically a commercial free two hours raw, but every fifteen minutes they went over to the commentary table. And let me tell you something, Jr. and the King. Both love uh, that <laughs> soup. <new> Kentucky grilled <laughs> chicken. Right, right. Okay. KFC okay. grilled chicken. They okay. Doing, they doing live okay. Reads. They was doing live reads. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, those they had those two full buckets the whole time. And I just gotta tell you, King, this <laughs> yeah. is some good chicken. That's fantastic chicken. I can't believe this. Oh my god. So, I mean, they, they oh were... my god, King. <laughs> They never talk about <laughs> like food usually. Get me another goddamn chicken leg. <laughs> Samson, they never talk about food usually, but <laughs> yeah, but it's commercial you know. free, I guess. They put in some of their personality. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> yeah, that's great. Even though I own Monday Night Raw and I love it, was he at least live this time he instead was... of Vince talking to a tape of Donald Trump and making believe they were having an interaction? <laughs> that's not proven one way or the yeah. other. <laughs> but yes, no. he was. They did the big setup there, Patrice. You weren't here for this. So Vince is talking, and then Donald Trump pops up on the screen, and you think, oh, wow, they're going to have a little interaction now. But Vince was actually <laughs> talking to a videotape of Donald Trump. There was a little bit. Every of so often, he'd be like, well, I. I well, but, uh, but, uh, but uh, I think uh, I. Uh, uh, <laughs> and he couldn't cut and in Donald because Trump. He was just talking. He just kept playing. Well, you can't then, cut in because it's a video that was done already. Well, so. no, it's because Donald Trump is a powerful yeah. talker. Oh, is that it? Yeah. So they were. he was at least there <laughs> live? Yes, he was there, and there were all like the big signs that said. It had the Trump logo oh, over wow. Raw, and on the mic flags, and on the big screens. Everything said Trump. Even though I own Monday Night Raw, and I love it, I've always loved it. This is your show, not mine. It's your show. Yay. To show you a little bit about that, tonight on television, millions of people, commercial free, no commercials, no nothing. I love it. <laughs> More importantly, the for the people that are here tonight, not only are you getting world championship matches better than Vince would have ever given you, believe me, but after the show is over, I'm giving you a full refund of whatever the hell you pay. That's wow. unbelievable. <laughs> that's unbelievable, is it? No. Is it really? And that's got to just drive, because, you know, Vince McMahon loves, what's it all about? It's all about the money. 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 The money. And so that's got to drive Vince crazy. Actually, of course. is refunding. For this bit, they actually did Raw commercial free and refunded everybody's tickets. That's insane. Yes. How did they give everyone's money back? The guy, I don't know. They got, I, don't, I wasn't there. Uh, Was it people had to leave and, like, to get the money back? Probably got to smell it. Maybe mail it. Yeah, they'll make it hard. Yeah, so yeah. They said they're doing so, it after the event. So oh. Send it on an 8x10 postcard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, Vince wasn't having as easy a night as Donald Trump was. Uh-oh. In fact. <laughs> what happened? His limo broke down. Oh, no. I'm in the middle of, a, I don't know, some cow field or something out here in this godforsaken part of the country. With a cameraman and a mic. Yeah. 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 For a limo driver. Yeah, and it seems as though Trump has my limo and I have the I have the backup. I've got the limo. <laughs> so what do we propose to do here, huh? You tell me what's your plan, limo driver? <laughs> Sir, the, the nearest gas station is not too far away. Great acting. <laughs> I Sir. Love it. Sir. And he's mic'd. 
Right. Sir Triple A, I never heard of it. Yeah. Sir, Sir Go <laughs> On Star? No, the, no. The nearest gas station is what is this? A horror movie? <laughs> What's the uh, one police? <laughs> yeah. Maybe your private helicopter? I've never heard. Hello, of Hello, Twitter. <laughs> yeah, send me a new liver. God damn it, I need a liver <laughs> Yeah, fine. <laughs> was, was the limo driver ripped? Someone Twitter me a limo. <laughs> the limo driver was bald and had like a goatee. Oh, and- yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, The limo driver is one of the guys that want to be a wrestler. <laughs> They just dressed him up in a limo suit. Or a wrestler down in, in his luck, so Vince gave yeah. him a little payday. Oh, I got I got to hear the rest of it. Did you say gas station? Yes, sir. Do you realize I've never been to a gas station in my life? Do you expect me to go to a gas station? What's your other plan, pal? You better have a good one. <laughs> He's just a giant 75-year-old brick house bad hacker. He just built like a, a battleship. And, and all the pressure he puts on his poor wrestlers, and he's just this bad of an actor. <laughs> Holy Never shit. Never been to a gas station in my life. life. Really? <laughs> Berating another grown man. <laughs> just get gas and let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay. what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Where's the problem here? I don't see a big problem here. Well, the thing. What's he, going on, Sam? He has to use the backup limo because Trump got the good McMahon limo because Trump's the owner now. Was that in the deal? Then, then Vince made a bad business deal. Well, it's probably the raw, the limo for Raw. So obviously, whoever owns Raw will probably get the best limo. So the other millionaire gets the shitty. The lemon. The, the, the lemon. Li- the yeah, other millionaire. The lemon limo. Wouldn't they just have two good lem- uh, limos? <laughs> yeah, one millionaire to another, or billionaire How about probably. Two billionaires. Two billionaires. Well, one gets a shitty limo consider, that needs gas. He should consider himself lucky this one didn't explode. That's huh? true. Think about it, though. When you've got the owner of a branch of a company and then the owner <laughs> of the whole company, who's going to get the better limo? The owner of the branch. Why? Why? That's kind of the way it works. Just keep going. <laughs> ah, 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 exactly. You get your own. It's like if two billionaires, you go like for for retirement. If one gets a Rolex, the other one gets like a Timex. Right. You can still throw the Timex in the garbage and get yourself a fucking yeah, Rolex. Yeah. Like, g- g- toss that fucking limo away and get a, get a better limo. Why isn't he in a helicopter <laughs> or his jet? Yeah. Well, I guess Donald Trump probably must have got the jet, too, I guess. That makes sense. He oh, oh, he got the jet. So he came in. The jet came in with the deal. Oh, probably, I mean, it wasn't on TV. So. Probably probably so. Bad deal. So. Bad business deal. It continues. The limo problem. The limo problems. Well, sir, the arena's not too far away. We could walk. Mm. walk. You know what? We are going to walk. That is, you're going to walk. Turn around. Turn around! Get! 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 He's piggybacking on him. (coughs) You get on the phone and you call your boss and you tell him I'm not going anywhere. I don't care how long it takes. I'm riding to the arena in a limo and you're not going to drive me. Now the video I'm looking at is that the arena in the background? <laughs> that's what that damn fucking Christ. arena, man. It's like, Why can't they fucking like it's right it, there? They couldn't go somewhere where it was. But How wasn't lazy in the is Vince with his bits? <laughs> Jesus, yeah. Maybe How about turn the like angle the other the way so you don't even see the arena? He hasn't walked. He's Vince, <laughs> Vincent Kennedy McMahon, yeah, and he is a fucking big human being. Oh, you see yeah. how big He's he was giant. to this guy. Mm-hmm. Just kicking him in his ass. That's what he treats the fucking limo guys. <laughs> He's kicking him down the street in, in his ass. <laughs> Just a giant human him. being. Hey, you got a piggyback ride from the limo driver. So right. He, so he piggybacks the limo driver. Yep. He finally gets to Raw. Yep. He knocks on Donald Trump. He knocks on the door that he thinks is his office. Uh oh. Guess whose name is on it? Donald um, Trump. Oh, you ruined it. Yeah, Opie did get it. Donald, it was Donald J. Trump. Trump. It was Donald Trump. Who informed him, uh, your locker room is over, your office is over there. Uh-oh. So he goes, okay, that's weird. So he has to go through the office, or the locker room, to get to his office. And he looks, and Goldust and Hornswoggle have to tell him, the new tag team, have to tell wow. him, that's your office right there. And there's a sign on one of the bathroom stalls that says Mr. McMahon. Oh, so how at this point... How- 
How could one of the bathroom stalls be his office? <laughs> Come on, you know, now. you know where the owner is, Donald Trump. Yeah, but there's not two offices. I think Donald wants to how stick many, it to him a little. How many weeks oh. did Donald Trump agree to? Is this well, one yeah, and done? Exactly. exactly. Here's the thing. One and so done, does right? he work for Vince? N- well, no, he owns Raw. So, but does Vince work for him still? I guess why is Vince <laughs> in offices in the first place? He's so raw. See, they're doing just a, go away. Yeah, yeah, why they're doing a power struggle well, storyline? Because there, Vince sure. wants to go on Raw and do his farewell speech. That's why he's here tonight. Oh, and okay. then and say and goodbye. Then it's gonna be Donald Trump's company. But it, yes, well, no, Raw the brand will be his. The yeah, branch of the company. I bet you it doesn't work out. But that now way the branch the of the company. But doesn't Vince own WWE? Yeah. Why wasn't this in the New York Times? Why wasn't this in the New York Times or or the uh, Wall Street Journal? Yeah. How do the stockholders <laughs> or feel about this? Or CNBC? This is pretty big. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> why wasn't this in the Wall Street Journal? This is a big business <laughs> this story. This is huge, wow. this this is huge big... acquisition. Yeah. Oh, this would be a shit. huge acquisition. We all know the. <laughs> we all know how CNBC works as far as journalism. So I have, we don't have any right. faith in them anymore. Ah, uh, that's good true. point. So it's operations like this that. This kid has an answer for everything. Yes, yes but he does. All right, let's all find this, out what happens with the new office for Vince McMahon. No, no, no. We skipped the office because oh. the audio was whatever. Oh, okay. But he's fed up, so now he's gone to the ring to talk to Donald Trump. Oh! It's, it's the office and the limo and Donald Trump giving away all this money. He's had it. He's, he's had it. He's, he's got to address the crowd and yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. I had no idea you were going to do this commercial free stuff, okay? I lose a lot of money. With no commercials. And someone told me you're thinking about doing it each and every week. And I gotta tell you, that's not gonna happen. You give everybody here in Green Bay their money back. That's gonna happen. <laughs> These people in Green Bay, they don't deserve to have their money back. <laughs> There's another rumor that you're going around that you're gonna let. Raw be free every week. So these rumors every week, every week, these rumors every what? week, these rumors are true. No, no, wait a minute. True. You can't have commercial free Raw every week. You you can't have a, a free live attendance at Raw. You can't do that. I'd, I'd be if you did that in six months' time, I'd be bankrupt. Let me just tell you a couple of things, Vince. Number one, this is peanuts. I paid a big price for Raw. Well, you know that. A big price. Did I? Big. I your, can your do dignity. whatever the hell I want. <laughs> All right? Whatever the hell I want. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Trump's acting Oh, is my God. Amazing. Is this happening? <laughs> wow. It's riveting. Wow. It's just amazing. It's not technically acting. It's just public speaking. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right. Let's uh, move through these that clips. <laughs> is horrendous acting it's, on both of well, their parts. it's not acting. Like, he can't even... Vince, who is normally um, Olivier with these things, okay. uh, can't even act off of Donald because Donald is so incredibly bad. Well, here's what it is. Have you ever done a multi-million yes. dollar... Bill- you have. <laughs> oh. Have you ever done a multi-million dollar, possibly billion dollar deal with people like Vince McMahon and Donald Trump? Uh-huh. In front of millions of people, on, in television, in front of a live. Usually, arena. these things are kept to a b- uh, office, boardroom, exactly. uh, conference rooms, things so like that. I mean, speech patterns are all thrown off. It's both men are out of their element. They don't mm-hmm. like all this attention. Oh, okay. Oh, they hate it. Yes. Oh, attention. Yes. Oh, the oh, two yeah. of them. Yeah, that's very obvious there. Yes, Sam's got an answer for everything uh-huh. as far as wrestling goes. They're more behind the scenes boardroom types. How old are you? I'm 25. All right, 26 just, in a couple months. Just making sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Acting 10. All right, well, uh, Vince tries to make a, a new deal with, yes. with Donald Trump. <laughs> Look, okay, I'll, let's make a deal. I, 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 know, I know what you're thinking, and I admit, all right, you've, uh, you're smarter than me. All right, I admit that. And you've got me in here in a bit of a bind. Okay, so let's do this. How about if I were to buy Raw back, I would pay you the same amount of money you paid me. We'd shake hands, and everything would be fine. Why would he do that? <laughs> That's a bad deal. Why, would he, no. why, why would, he would he do that? Yeah. Was this a hostile takeover, by the way? No. Donald Trump came to Vince McMahon with a very nice offer, very, you know, exuberant offer. Okay. And Vince McMahon accepted. And then a week later, he goes, holy shit. <laughs> yes. That 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 was deal the, was, was bad. Was bad and deal. why was this a bad deal? Because Me, not, Being that it was such a wonderful deal in the first place. Because first it was just like, I'll give you this much money for Raw. And that's like, awesome, yeah. But now Donald Trump is going to stop playing commercials 
and uh, giving away free tickets to all what Raw. What difference does it make to the man who no longer owns Raw? But he doesn't own Raw, but he owns the company. Right. It's like a subsidiary of WWE. And what happens is... So, he's try- he- so here's what Donald Trump did. Yeah. He bought something for a lot of money. Yeah. To to not make money with it. Just to see- He has so much money that he bought Raw so that he can stick it to Vince. You got it, The Patrice. entire wow. company. Oh, you got it. Yes. This was all planned wow. by Donald Trump all along. Say, I didn't know to that. To stick it to Vince. So he's almost like a quarterback who purposely throws interceptions. Yeah. Yep. That's what he's doing. And he doing. could lose his contract for throwing interceptions, but to get at the entire team, the vengeance is worth yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. And wouldn't you have to offer him more money than he paid? Well, like, I, he's already put some time into it. There's <laughs> probably been a lot of lawyers that have been paid to, to uh, broker this deal. You don't just do it yourself. He's banking on, you know, it's it's complicated. You have to run a whole live TV. Look, maybe you're in over your head. Maybe I'm in over your head. I'll give Let's you your money back. Give the money back, shake hands, and we're still pals. But why doesn't he just let Raw go, Vince McMahon, and then just just create another product ah that's a good idea just just tell him take it away i don't even want to see you anymore so that is not a liability you, so you so, book so the gigs you try to do this i'm gonna make something else so trump in the deal trump said i'm gonna buy raw but the, the stipulation is that i stay under you yeah, yeah. the umbrella of of uh of mm, wwe has to be you at any time yes. even though you're technically still my boss why does not he just make something like medium rare Ooh. he'll call it medium rare and then they could because, fight in that. First of all, medium rare is not uncut, uncooked, and uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> That's first and foremost. Medium <laughs> rare. Jesus. I didn't even catch that shit. <laughs> that went way over my head for the first <laughs> second. <laughs> Fucking medium it was rare. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> and Raw's been like, you know, Vince's baby for over six years. Why would he years. sell his baby? A lot of money. There was the he money. He sold his baby for a lot of money. The money. Under the, money. Under the guys that, that Vince, I mean, under the guys that Donald Trump. Runs a a a, 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 co- a comparable company but do the right under thing. his umbrella. Yeah. Yes, right. Uh, can we get through these horseshit clips? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's we got a pet of we got a pet of the year uh, down the hall there, Sam. Big deal. Vince, no interest oh. whatsoever. No interest. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right, how many of you like to see me pay Donald 50% more than what he paid? Wow. Now, that's a fair deal. That's a good deal. And I want you to accept it right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Vince, yeah. <laughs> that's good for some people. It's not good for me. No, no deal, Vince. All right, 75%. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right. Ugh. You get double your money back. <laughs> We've got a deal. Double your money back. <laughs> you said double your money back. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, you You can't go deal. back on your word. You said double your money back. I'm giving you double your money back. We've got a deal. I've got to do that. you got a deal. What the? Twice as much? <laughs> wait, there wait. it is. Vince McMahon owns Raw again. That's the end? <laughs> oh fuck me, man! Holy Can you shit. believe that? It? it was a one-week thing for fried what? chicken and fucking <laughs> Donald Trump. Can you believe it? But Vince he lost. He a, lost a lot of money. A lot of m- money, and they wonder why their ratings are down. Sam, <laughs> the ratings are down. Just be, it's it's what symptomatic of the way television ploy. is. It's the internet. It's not the quality of programming. How about it's Donald Trump pumps up his last line a little bit? Well, no, all right, you no, gotta do no, no. Oh, you gotta do. Oh. But Vince is very angry about losing all that money. It's got to be. And here's his progression. I'll give you 25%, 50%, 75%. Wow, where's this 100%. going? 100%. 100%. Where's this I will going? bump it up 25% each. <laughs> and each, this, is, this negotiation is brutal. Within, within, within <laughs> seconds of one offer, where's this he going? just goes back yeah. up to another 25% added. I'll give you 25%. 25. 50. 75. No. <laughs> Double your body back. No. A hundred percent. That's the way these deals are made sometimes. He didn't even go, he oh, didn't even, he didn't even go 26%. No. Well, I mean, people work in terms of quarters because it's easier, you know, especially when you're spur of the moment. Like, in terms of like quarters. options. He didn't bring in, like, you know, maybe stock <laughs> options or something or let my lawyer talk to your lawyer. <laughs> I'll go from a hundred million 
to Honestly, 25 the million. Assets are nothing. Donald Trump obviously bought this raw brand just solely in cash. He wrote a check and said, "Here's how much money you get." No, Sam, that's and then not true. Vince McMahon's going to give him a check worth two <laughs> times the first check. I hope he says, "Oh, you go, that just not happen. That didn't happen. It, it didn't happen." Sam. Shut up! You're ruining this deal. Yeah. Which are, uh, <laughs> you're ruining our deal in front of virtual primates in the audience. <laughs> he's he's making a, a giant business deal, and Donald Trump is like. What do you think, huh? Ah, no, man. don't All take fifty percent. Right. My advisor. Look at him in the ring. No, 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 no. I have a feeling Donald Trump loves being on TV. Really? Oh, he certainly he does. He loves that TV. Uh, wow, there's one more clip left. I wonder what's going to happen. God. Yeah, I wonder what's going to happen, Ant. Do you guys want to go around the table and guess what Vince McMahon does next? Wow. Okay. So. Oh wow. <laughs> does he? I don't know. I do certainly think? hope. What do you think? I don't know, Sam. I, I, I hope. couldn't even venture a guess. Well, let me just tell you one other thing. One other thing. Uh oh. If you ever, ever cross my path again, if I ever see you, no matter where, it doesn't matter, I ever see that Trump logo anywhere around me, I'll knock you on your billionaire's butt. <laughs> Why not right now? No. Oh, one other thing, Mr. Trump. About the only thing I can say to you here tonight is Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> Even before they signed the deal. <laughs> Slap Mr. McMahon. He slapped him oh, in the face. No. Oh. oh no! He slapped him in the look face. Yeah, fuck. See, look at that face to face. All right, look at Donald Trump's head. Yeah, and I that got hair. I don't know what so that fuck me. all about. I'd I have to, to jump in that. here. Wait till you hear this. Oh, did oh, you see that? Damn, yeah. he smacked Mr. McMahon. And wait to hear this. Gino S. from Philly. <laughs> Only reason this tanked was because shareholders were fuming because this bit lost them money. Stocks dropped by 8% after the announcement, and the government stepped in. The no, government had to no. step in. Hold on. <laughs> uh, stepped in. Can't be lying about a new owner. And then Aaron from Boston. The Donald Trump angle only lasted a week since investors in the WWE are dumb and thought that they actually sold raw, causing stock prices to fall about 7 to 8%. SEC is considering an investigation into this. We, this Just is a man stop it. who's almost died multiple times in the ring. There's no investigation. Because I bet you this thing was supposed to last way more than a week. Of course. Well, I mean, and they're like, what the security fuck? is separating them. I don't see this being the end of the Vince McMahon Donald Trump feud. Well, that's nah, true. Man, they got to move on. <laughs> Look at the security guards <laughs> for the sake of uh, <laughs> why the stockholders. Vince isn't even trying to get to him. Well, he's very much in shock. Wow, Plus, he's yelling. Nobody signed the paperwork yet. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He fired him before he actually signed it. You're fucked. He's got to, and I'll tell you why. Verbal contract, and everybody saw it on TV. Oh, so, so that's probably why he did it on TV. Yeah, verbal contracts. I was Lots thinking it's silly to be on TV. They should be in a boardroom or something. But twenty-five <laughs> right. percent. Okay, fifty. No. Seventy-five. Okay, seventy-five percent. No. no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, one hundred percent. No. Okay, one hundred twenty-five percent. No. Okay. One hundred fifty percent. Oh no. <laughs> All right, two hundred percent. That's it. Yes. All, All right. right, you tripled your money. You got it. The only, <laughs> you have a deal. The only thing I can hope, very shrewd, is that I hope this whole Trump McMahon thing gets resolved by the end of the summer. Why? I guess I mean just because it would end the season nicely. It would also coincide nicely with SummerSlam. <laughs> oh just, well, it, it, usually, I, yeah, it would. You want to get bad blood out of the way by the end of the season. Well, so, so you think sure. Trump's coming back Monday? Next Monday? Well, Vince McMahon is not going to just let somebody slap him in the face on television and be like, okay about it. He fired him, though. Yeah. He fired him as the owner. Of what? Raw. But not as his, but not as an (laughs) evil competitor. Because Donald Trump now, now is doubly rich. Yeah, he yeah, has he's, more money to fight Vince McMahon. He's got a lot of Vince McMahon's money, and people forget this. Matter of fact, he can offer uh, Vince McMahon <laughs> the exact amount that he accepted in the first place. 
maybe 25% more (laughs) and still come out 25% ahead. (laughs) Ahead. That's 75% ahead. And people forget this, too. It was only a couple years ago. People say, remember when Vince McMahon was bald? Remember when he got shaved bald? Yes, yes. Who's the guy that that shaved him bald? Yes. Donald Trump. The Donald himself. So you think another hair match? There's just bad blood between the two. Well, obviously, I could see that. I don't know if a hair match because Vince McMahon doesn't have his patented pompadour hairdo anymore. Oh my so God! When... Look at Bob. He, Bob Bucket looks <laughs> dead. <laughs> he was like the crib keeper. <laughs> Why did it have to be Ed McMahon? Oh my God! That's all I'm saying. <laughs> After hearing that, his thing. hair looks hard. Oh, oh, like his wow. hair. <laughs> Vince McMahon has gone through so many near death experiences in his day. Yeah, well, I know things you know almost I mean? falling on him, the limo exploding. Thank God he blew up his limo himself just to see if the fans still loved him. That was the best excuse ever for there's been a giant real tragedy in the WWE, and I need to come out and make a statement, and I can't be dead. I mean, many people would have died when he. The way Randy Orton kicked him in the head as hard as he could. Well, oh, Randy, with that yeah. shin, that evil, that Randy Orton's new finishing move, the, the, the mistake kick. Yeah. Like, the, the, oh, shit, I fucked up and kicked him in the head. <laughs> but that was really good, so now that's my new ending move is a big kick in the head. <laughs> Are we still uh, talking yeah. about wrestling? Uh, <laughs> sort of. Uh, sort of. Oh, kind of going like, over. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? I did a tap out about 20 minutes ago. Well, I mean, so many different things could happen. Yeah. It's such an unpredictable world. Yeah, hopefully one of them is that you leave the studio. What do you That has nothing <laughs> yeah. to do with wrestling. <laughs> Sam Roberts, everyone. Thank you, yes. Sam. Obi and Anthony with Patrice O'Neill. We got uh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. Jesse is a complete ass. Talked about him a little this morning when we first got on. <laughs> Watched the show last night. I guess it's the second show uh, that he's done so far. The first one was on Harp. A big electronic antenna in Alaska. And, mind uh, control. Mind controlling device. And last night was 9-11. And his whole take on 9-11 just makes you want to, I swear to God, uh, it makes you want to kick your fucking TV. What? Why would Why would the government uh, want mind control when they have taxes already? Yeah, that keeps everyone in line. Keeps everyone. No one has time to try to get an uprising or anything going. Well, and I said, why don't Why don't he use? Why would they not use the harp system that he said last week? Right. To keep everyone's mind in control about nine eleven. Right. <laughs> you know, kind of right. cross conspiracy. How deep is the mind control thing, though? Is it like, it's, yes, oh, master? The, the way he talked about it, pff, oh, it'll just fuck you it up. It caused George. the tsunami that killed, uh, what, yeah, yeah, it caused a couple hundred tsunami. thousand people. It can do that. It could shoot things out of sp- from out of space. Weather it shit. It does everything. It does everything. Cuts your lawn. Some of this stuff might be true. Fantastic. I don't know. Jesse's an ass. Well, the 9-11 stuff is great, and we start our show talking about this. You want to start with the narrator? You said the narrator is good at Yeah, the narrator is great. He talks about is it Bill Curtis? Jesse like, you know, he calls him the governor and, and says that when he's going into these uh, situations and uh, describes it and makes it sound so important. And it's just some fucking uh, 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 fat old wrestler walking around trying to get attention. This is Jesse. Yeah, mm-hmm. Jesse. Don't call fucking Jesse a fat old wrestler. He is. A goddamn governor. He was. He was. I, I'll, I'll buy it for the president. Where you have and to he call was a the great president. wrestler, by the way, and the best mic wrestler of all time. Yeah, yeah he was, was he great. That good? So great let's, color let's, commentator. Let's not fucking I remember the belittle he's, my friend. People, you he's can lost take a people's bit. He's lost a couple steps. You though, can take Patrice. people's oh, paths. He's an old motherfucker. And then now I'm, he's a, he's getting old, and he's and and there's some people who shouldn't be in charge of enlightening people. Yeah, I love Jesse. He's one of them. But yeah. he shouldn't be in charge. Watch out, motherfuckers! <laughs> the world Nostradamus 2012 is gonna. It's like it's too. You need somebody a little more subtle yeah, with a little yeah. more wit to fucking inform you that the end of the world is. Coming. I'm a Navy SEAL. Doctor, yeah, we know. Doctor Michu Kaku, explain the whole twenty twelve. Oh my thing. God! Look at look at Jesse. Yeah, he this was... is old school Jesse. Oh, he's a great. Would Mac. 
I've been partying with Ario Speedwagon. I've even arm wrestled the Werewolf of London, Warren Zevon. I am the hottest thing in professional wrestling. I am the baddest dude that walks the streets today, Chump Hogan. And you think about that, Chump, because you could not beat me. You could not even beat Sylvester Stallone in the movie Rocky III. It was a draw. I'd have squashed that peanut in 30 seconds. Mm, check it out. I get more beautiful looking every sweat. day. Yeah. Holy shit, that's a Jesse Jesse was great on the mic, man. Sad part is Hulk Hogan is still wrestling. I know. That's what's sad about these clips. Dude, how sick is that? Hulk is still fucking wrestling. And look at Thunder Lips. That's when it was Thunder Lips in the flesh, baby. Yeah. Why would he turn his back on Jesse Ventura? Oh, wow. That's not smart in a wrestling ring. Hulk, you know it's going to happen. Nah, we can't watch our wrestling fucking matches. <laughs> I, I want to hear him talk more. I'm telling you, Jesse was he's in the, he's in the top five. Ric Flair, Jesse, The Rock, Stone Cold, and I don't know who who else. There's one more, but un oh there it is. Wait, uh, top Dusty five. Rhodes, top five. Mike, oh, Jesus, Dusty Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes. Um, not in this, not in, in any order. Dusty Rhodes, The Rock, Stone Cold. Uh, uh, Ric Flair, J Jesse the Body Ventura. Mm -hmm. I, I put those up against any oh. any guys you got on the mic. Here's a little more, Genius. Jesse. All right, hit it. <laughs> this is old school, Jesse. Like you in recent weeks? I hear them all. Everybody wants to know Jesse the Body's private life because they know, Mean Gene, that I date and take out some of the most beautiful women in the world. I've heard that. They go for my hair. The hair. The hair. That's you, what they could, like. Could I, could I impose upon <laughs> you shame. to turn around if our cameraman could get a shot of this? Where in the world would one man in the street go, or a woman for that matter, to get one's hair done such as yours? Opal's Glamorama. Opal Gardner. <laughs> Opal Gardner, Pine Valley. <laughs> but now let me, let me say something else. His Eugene, arms are a lot I notice smaller, something when I come out here yeah. right now. Your pants leg is wet. Now you know what that tells me? <laughs> that tells me that in the short past, you've done had one Maurice Mad Dog Vachon out here, haven't you? The animal himself. Well, the, the animal George Steele or something Hogan else, was Mad great, Dog, too. he ruled. Oh, Mean Gene, mean Gene genius. ruled. Genius. He was the great. Way he, the way he looked, he made the faces all intimidated or sarcastic. Gen genius. Mean Gene ruled. <laughs> all right, why don't we get into oh, the Jesse? God, Jesse yeah. the body, man. So this now and we now fast forward we'll to see. last night. Fast forward to last night. The his conspiracy show on. Conspiracy. Oh, oh, he's a fucking babbling old oh, man. Now. Ass. Oh no! Now Jesse steps into America's most controversial conspiracy: the attacks of 9/11. If everything they told us was true, then why would they need the stone walls? Was the official 9-11 report a whitewash and cover-up? These people are lying to us. Did the terrorists use more than jetliners to do their devastating damage? There's residues of explosives in the dust. Is the FBI hiding the flight recorders they say have never been recovered? The odds of not finding these black boxes are almost zero. And was Ground Zero a crime scene that Washington obliterated in plain sight? There's something about 9-11 our government doesn't want us to know. These are questions that few have dared to ask, Dare. let alone investigate. Few? Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> what? Few? Only everybody. Everybody! <laughs> Only few have wondered if there's UFOs. Just a couple. Me and six other people. I have George the Animal Steel looking in another window. <laughs> yes, <exactly>. George. <laughs> George, go rip the. There's a piece of turnbuckle that's between yes. <laughs> the door and the dust. <laughs> rip the knob off hey, with your teeth like you did the turnbuckle. George, <laughs> George, you see that guard over there? Hit him in the neck with a foreign object spoon that you have hidden in your shorts. What we need to get through this door is the Polish hammer. Where's Ivan Putski and his right. 
always hammer. <laughs> the wrestlers then go. I'm going to get Mr. <laughs> right. Fuji to throw salt in the oh, guy's King eyes. Fuji? <laughs> so they'll, it'll blind him. We could then test for thermite. Super thermite. Moon, Where's Moon Dog Spot? I need you to go <laughs> over there. <laughs> go throw your bone down for that fat woman to go. <laughs> Where's Hacksaw Jim Duggan? <laughs> we could use that two by four by now. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do, Hacksaw. We want to steal the beam and have you replace it with your two by four so they know nothing's missing. Where's Earthquake? He'll run through this door. <laughs> Shut up, George. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going over there. Fuck you. <laughs> Go over there. Such an idiot. And throw salt in his eyes, Mr. Fuji. Oh, All right, here's what we shit. need. Jimmy Superfly Snooker <laughs> has to jump through the ductwork on the roof. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mr. Fuji, go throw thermite in his eyes. Throw <laughs> thermite. What was that that Mr. Fuji was throwing? Oh, I don't think it was salt. <laughs> Scott S. from Quaker Town. Chief J. Strongbow. Put a sleeper hold on the security guard. <laughs> this is what... But they don't want us to see. Oh, it would make a great cartoon. Jesse yeah, and his fellow oh, wrestlers. Wrestlers are all going at it. <laughs> Just fight, trying to find conspiracies. Oh. Ben Tour, here's Steven S. from Bayshore. <laughs> If Andre the Giant was here, God rest his soul, we'd simply be able to look over the wall. <laughs> was Andre killed in a preemptive strike? Uh, Think about it. Conspiracies. Somebody, somebody flew a plane into Andre. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Jesus. You could hear explosions in his shoes before he fell down. <laughs> oh, fuck balls, This man. fucking guy, you got to write your name if you're in some feedback. And they painted Owen Hart with thermite paint. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> All right, you know. Oh, fucking oh, right. Right. That's, uh, oh. <laughs> You got, uh... God, hold on. What That's the fuck? There's too shame. many. There's too... All right. Uh, Redding. We had Brutus the Barber Beefcake <laughs> cut the locks with his giant shears. With the shears. Oh, shit. And a uh, coincidence, George the Animal Steel. <laughs> the steel they won't show us. We'll show you our steel. You show us yours. <laughs> Greg Sledder. Maybe we can rebuild him. <laughs> Greg, Greg the Hammers. <laughs> Hammer. Greg from Long Island. <laughs> if I had my feather bola for my days in the ring, I could swing to the top of the building. Yeah, so I put a grappling hook on right. it. Oh, shit balls, man. Uh, Where's the ass man? Yeah. <laughs> he could distract him with his ass. Uh. Oh, they're coming in fast. Uh, oh, I didn't know this. Rich O from D.C. Sergeant Slaughter is my army contact, <laughs> and he says we knew about it. <laughs> That's a good one. We That's talked to one. Sergeant Slaughter. Why weren't the planes scrambled on uh... that day? And where was the Iron Sheik? <laughs> yeah. Chris C. from Virginia. Get Coco Beware's parrot to do some recon. <laughs> Have the Iron Sheik show this man some discipline and fuck him in the ass. Like he always threatens. <laughs> oh, my God. They're coming in way too fucking fast. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey ass oh. man, use your ass to open the door. <laughs> he probably could. <laughs> Uh, the 9-11 explosions were funded by Ted DiBiase. <laughs> That's Jordan. That's the millionaire Ted DiBiase. <laughs> Follow the money, people. Follow the money trail. <laughs> Warrior, Serge. Jesse's full of shit. Former tag team champions, Demolition, hello. <laughs> Who applied the thermite paint? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate warrior's face painted with thermite paint. All he had to do was rub his face on a beam, and it brought the buildings down. Do I have to say any more? <laughs> I can't keep up with this shit. Uh, uh, there was a good one. It went flying by. Where is it? Uh, 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 Andrew in Jersey. The Undertaker's Paul Bearer's urn was full with thermite, thermite dust. dust. He just threw it. 
<laughs> it's the uh, same people that blew up Vince's limousine. Uh, <laughs> and you yeah. saw how that worked out. <laughs> there was a conspiracy with Vince McMahon. Andrew from It always gets bad. Andrew from Belmore. Fuck, where'd it go? <laughs> wow, I've never seen his feedback fly by like this. Jake the Snake will break through high on coke. <laughs> 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 what do they call Jesse Ventura and his super conspiracy busting wrestling all stars? Pete from Connecticut. <sighs> and then uh, I don't have to tell you that Steve Austin's gonna open a can of whoop thermite. Uh, cigars of scotch. I didn't know this, Ant. <laughs> Same people that blew up Vince's limo. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, you said that one? Uh, yes, Motherfucker. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. We're crossing over now. Yeah. Oh, man. I love it. God damn. Uh, that's Stupid. a funny angle, him and his wrestling. Tipsy uh, Mr. T, USA. <laughs> Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth was murdered because she knew about super thermite. Jesse. Super thermite. <laughs> hey, Jesse, one, one of the airport security guys just shot you. You're bleeding. Uh, ain't got time to bleed. Ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> ain't, ain't got time to bleed. I want to introduce a new uh, wrestling t tag team, super thermite. <laughs> That's right, Super Thermite's gonna fight tonight! <laughs> and his partner bullshit. <laughs> uh, Chad of Phoenix, Chris Benoit, mind control. Nothing left to say. They pointed the harp system at Chris Benoit. Oh, he didn't shit. want to kill his family. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's a funny angle, man. That it's wrestling. wrestling. God, Get the fuck it's like out the, of here. It's like when the fucking Harlem Globetrotters had their own fucking. Show didn't they have their own show or they were just uh, part of uh, Scooby Doo? The Scooby Doo. Uh, Think about it. No, the Harlem Globetrotters had their own. I think they did. Uh, and weren't they trying to solve crimes? And they might have been. Yeah. I King so. Kong climbed the Empire State Building. We're getting King Kong Bundy <laughs> to climb Hangar Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> dummy. <laughs> he is a, just a dummy. Uh, is there are there any more clips? In Chuck your dog. That, that's selfish. <laughs> I got one. I'm gonna... <laughs> With his chains around his neck. Could someone get China's clit? I think we could <laughs> use it to open this lock. We could jimmy the door <laughs> with her clit. Giant clitoris. <laughs> See, what happened was the Nazis got too close to the thermite that was in the Ark of the Covenant. But Indy turned away. Now, why did Indy live through that? <laughs> I, the Iron Sheik's going <laughs> to make Jesse humble, and then urinate on the guards. That's Andrew in Baltimore. Uh, the great god Thermopolis is what, yeah. therm <laughs> Thermopolis. <laughs> what burned and his face. Thermite paint. I'm at Lowe's. Look, I need something in a semi-gloss eggshell. No, do you have it in thermite? Explosive super thermite. Why are you removing me from the store? Right. Jason has from Rockland County. We're going to have a ladder match to reach the keys to the government vault. <laughs> you think it might have been steroids that got Jesse a little weird in his I later years? I have no fucking idea. I have idea. no idea if he ever did steroids, but the two video clips we saw, his arms were very, very different. Yeah, he, he's Extremely I, different. I don't know. I don't know what to I make don't know of either. Him. But you know something? Next week, what's next? I'm week? watching that stupid show again. What's next week? This is uh, our new bit. What is next week's because subject? We get all the fucking wrestlers involved. Is it Manchurian candidates? Do we know? Next week, what is it? Bigfoot? My hair, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Why oh. do I have a rat tail? <clears throat> Top Gunt from Canada. I did not know this. Top Hacksaw uh, Jim Duggan actually carries around a beam from the towers now. Why doesn't he just go to Jesse and have it tested? He he up uh, he updated his look. It's now just a beam. Now it's Dusty Rhodes. I like to check the dust on him. Oh, is shit. that is that explosive thermite remnants? Dusty Rhodes. Thermite Rhodes. They should check the lumps on his body. <laughs> yeah, see I what know what's going on there. See what he's hiding. Oh, I'm sure shit. it's explosive. Bill Burr was telling us that he found a fine video clip called Best, uh, Best wrestling, wrestling Promo, promo ever, ever, starring uh, this guy, Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. I'm judging, I'm guessing that it's, it's from like the 80s, and this is before Vince McMahon sewed everything up, so it's an independent uh, wrestling thing. I don't, know, I don't know where at. 
but this guy is this uh, is legit. So basically, what it is is this guy jumping Jeff Farmer. He's gonna, you know he's going to promote jumping his show. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Jumping Jeff Farmer. He's going to promote his big wrestling match coming up on the Saturday. He's going to do the Ric Flair thing. Now well, let me tell been... you something. He's supposed to be doing that shit, and he, he it might have a little bit a uh, little bit of a tough tough time. We, we've all been spoiled by the uh, professionalness of the wrestlers and uh, how how they're able to rock the mic and really get on there and ad lib and talk. And uh, this guy apparently doesn't have the skills. He's still in the, in the development phase. I'm oh, not, okay. not going to judge his entire career. But. <laughs> all right. So we got Sam in here. He's a wrestling expert. Sam is a, an expert. Maybe I mean, uh, yeah. Expert. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, it will really come running down the hall with those floppy feet. All right, let's check this out. Best wrestling promo ever. Earlier we talked to Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Let's go now to that interview. Folks, there's Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. Jeff, a while back, what a match you had with Motley. Yep. Probably the hardest match I ever All had right, in my pause. life. <laughs> when things aren't my, going my way, Motley Cruz. You turn the tables on me. You turn the tables in a wrong way. You got me mad now. I've stood around. I've listened to everything you had to say. I did everything necessary. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. This time, I'm going full force. <laughs> Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now let's do it. <laughs> Jumping is, Jeff? That guy is the worst. That is the worst intro ever. <laughs> oh. You got your ass kicked last week. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. Motley Cruz. I'm... <laughs> I just love the panic force. on his face. Like he looks like oh, he's gonna fuck, piss that's himself. That's what I was supposed to. I was supposed to go on with this shit. He looks like he's gonna piss himself. <laughs> what man? That guy Someone's sucks. saying he played the fake Sting at one point. Is that true, Sam? Not really? Does he look so. familiar? I don't think so. He never had a career in wrestling, no, really. So. A, a Someone was trying to say he's in the Wrestling Hall of Fame. The the, <laughs> the W whatever the whatever that is. I'm in the WWE Hall of Fame. Well, he's in IPW. Don't Maybe fucking get IPW Sam so. started. He'll he'll school you yeah, on this Sam, shit. I thought you knew everybody. The, 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 the Did we find a wrestler you don't know? Now. I've stood around. I've listened to every. You know that guy? No, I didn't. No, go ahead. You don't know, know that guy? What are you doing? Thing you had to say. I didn't know he was a Honda. I did everything I necessary. Oh, give a listen. But when you turn around and you backstab me one way or another, and you treat cheat me out of what's rightfully mine, that's when I get angry. Now I'm the one doing the challenging. I'm issuing a challenge to you, Motley Cruz. Get in the ring with me. <laughs> this time, I'm going full force. Jumping Jeff Farmer. Now <laughs> that guy's classic. <laughs> that guy's classic too, by the way. <laughs> by the way, all wrestling promo bloopers are <laughs> it's just genius. Fucking great. <laughs> Kim Patera, it, it, it's just That's fantastic. Are there some bloopers out there? Oh, yeah. Dude. Have uh, you ever seen the one where Booker T calls Hulk Hogan the N-word and then he <laughs> grabs his head because he's humiliated? Let's find well, it. Well, Hulk Hogan calls yeah. Tony Atlas uh, Black Boy like when he was doing, <laughs> really? back when he was uh, Thunder Lips. Well, uh, this, one, this one's great. <laughs> the Hulk Hogan. Yeah. What's the tugboat one? We right, take what we want, and after we take that Kruger and the giant, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out the record. Stevie Ray, look at this. Take a look. The guy puts his hands in his mouth. Like, like, oh, I'm fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. the best is when he turns around and he looks at the girl and his crew like, oh, Vince is going to kill us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we take what we want, and after we take that Kruger and the giant, we want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should point out the record. <laughs> <laughs> and Sherry, Sherry was like, yeah. What did you say? <laughs> which he should have been able to say, which is sound good. Oh, We're coming God. for you, nigga, because that's in his character. <laughs> uh, 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 fantastic. Wrestling promo bloopers right, are more. genius. Let's, let's Kip Patera is genius. Lex Luger's genius. There's a Lex Luger blooper right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Macho play, Man Luger. Let me play the Lex Luger one. We take what we want. <laughs> play this again. We take Lex Luger. We want the gold, sucker. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. I should play the Lex Luger. The best 
part is he goes to cover his face and then he makes it look like he's rubbing his hands together. Yeah, like, he's like, like, uh, like he knows he fucked up so bad. But then he's thinking maybe also, this will fly after all, so I gotta cover up that he just fucked the, up. The whole time he's got his chest, his pecs doing yeah, that. Yeah, his that, pecs are moving up and down. Yeah. <laughs> this one, this one's good because it's taken like when they do SmackDown, they tape it to rebroadcast and they edit it sometimes. Yeah. But if you have a satellite dish, you can pick up the satellite oh, the feed, feed and watch it live. Perfect. So they got the satellite feed of Hulk Hogan just completely like Fucking starting up. over and blowing it. Yeah. Like, okay. The Hulkster again. Oh, he messes up in front of the whole crowd. And you know, McMahon, the fact that I had something to do. With building this company just makes you sick. The fact that I am the one that put this company on the map and helped you make it what it is today, that makes you sick to your stomach, brother. Yeah. And all those Lear jets that you have, all those billions of dollars, the houses that your kids live in. The twenty million dollar vacation home and blah 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 blah. Just shut up because of these maniacs. Shut up. I can dance. Kiss my ass. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking Vince. Let me tell you something. I think you're starting to believe in your own bullshit, Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had anybody. Play the part of Hulk Hogan. I could have had anybody bring Hulk a man. Hold on one second, McMahon. You actually think anybody could have ran with Hulkamania? Look at all the guys you gave the ball to. Look at all the guys that had the belt. Look at all the guys that ran to the goal line. Nobody ran as hard and as long as I did, McMahon. Uh, 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 this sounds like a real argument. I, I, I know. If actually. you actually think. If you actually think I was just the right guy at the right place at the wrong at the right time, uh -oh. let me say it one more <laughs> time so you completely understand. <laughs> if you actually in front believe of the crowd. in your mind, if you actually think that I was just the right gay guy <laughs> at the right place at right the right gay. time, well then you're a bigger delusional bastard than I thought you were, McMahon. Ooh. Right gay. <laughs> right gay. Yes. <laughs> Cockamania going wild. <laughs> you know what I say right now, McMahon? Right now we just settled this. They're waiting for somebody to yell cut. I had a match yeah, yeah, with yeah. The Rock a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, he's just babbling. And you were the one that I wanted to get in the ring. You were the one this that I was stinks. supposed to have a really <laughs> Holy mother of ago, God. It goes on forever. Put a rock in your Sam. Place, Sam, what happened? happened? This is Why a, would you do a, this, Sam? This is a fail. I put the this good ones fail. on. Yeah, you said that was a good we're losing one. them, man. We got a good bit here. Right. We're like, losing them. You go with a fucking yeah, four man. minute. Yeah, they really did mess up, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What the fuck is? <laughs> Sounded like a regular promo to me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, this is good. All right, let's go blue. Uh, you said this is good. You better make up with the Slack Sluger. Right. And the Kempatero one, dude. Yeah, that does. That one next. All right, Lex Luger. Mr. Luger, Mr. Luger, I saw what just happened out there with Ron Killens. I just want to ask you, I mean, what are your plans for the next show of Super Bowl Saturday? I mean, are you, are you going to take care of Ron Killens? What kind of disgusting, despicable, despicable lack of respect does that Billy What's-His-Name show book it a match for the total package like Lex Luger and Super Bowl? Super Saturday? What is it? I don't even know what it's called. What's it called? Super Brawl Saturday. Super Brawl Saturday? <laughs> Can you afford to pay me to wrestle around? I don't know. I'm one of the biggest legends and stars ever in this. God! <laughs> he can't get his shirt off. And you too tight too, Billy! And you book a match with me against Ryan Killings! Look at me! I'm a total package! I will rip him apart! I'm pissed now! <laughs> he fucked that up. Oh! I don't think I'd... That stunk royally. Even the interviewer, he has his whole costume on, but his voice is just regular. Yeah, yeah. regular voice. What's that, what's that one, Sam? This one's Kim Patera with fucking Gene The Intercontinental title for less than 48 hours what? can be Roddy quite Roddy. so cocky, quite so... Come to the point that the conspiracy is completely it's really hard. out of hand. Can hear he turned his gang of henchmen on me 
the Goon Squad, King Kong Bundy, King Harley Ray, <laughs> Hercules Hernandez, Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. Yeah, I've been humiliated before. If I'm so humiliated right now, I'm afraid to turn my back. I don't want the people to see what happened to me. They whip me like a dirty yard dog. Well, I'm going to tell you something, Weasel, and the Goon Squad. I can take pain. I can recover it. Or recover. I can recuperate. Oh, I'm beyond that. I am so upset. Watch Gino. Gino goes the best. That are going on the World Wrestling Federation. Gene. I think he was laughing when he said Dirty Yard Dog. It's just a matter of time. Like I said before, and I said it to you, Mean Gene, I said it to everybody. It's just a matter of time when Ken Patera gets in full gear and runs the World Wrestling Federation, <laughs> or rids the World Wrestling Federation, of the likes of you, Weasel, and King Kong, Bundy, Ray, Hercules, Warn Warndorf, all of you. You're all going to go down one by one, and I'm going to make sure of that. For the whipping that you gave me, whip me like a red-headed... Red <laughs> I'm sick and tired of that type of treatment. Did it change <laughs> He's he's just starts cracking up. Whatever you guys want to do, just bring it on. Just head around. Like I say, I'm going to carry these stars for a while, but I do hear, and I hear well. All right, what a beating he took. That was a little too visual because me and Gene are just laughing his fucking ass off. Dude, it's a shame. This someone's been... Oh, this is... This is really good. There's a couple things coming in. Botchmania on YouTube and Shockmaster. Yeah, Shockmaster. 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 You've seen it before, I think. Shockmaster. Shockmania is very visual, but uh, oh, okay. I this... had ten laughs in my life. <laughs> Shockmaster is up there. Sh Shockmaster's yeah. in. Uh, it it might be in the top five. Oh, we get wow. that. Shockmaster. Right. This is my favorite one. It's Psycho City. He doesn't realize he's live. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, no. oh, oh. The offense, but there are a lot of skeptics that think that perhaps you can't take it. How do you address those skeptics? Well, the skeptics and all the people have a little bit of... Let me do this again. Oh, it's live, pal. Sorry. <laughs> it's live, pal. To get their answer tonight. Well, there you hear it. A man, a few words. Psycho said back to you, John. <laughs> Ted DiBiase is like this idiot. Uh, you're live, pal. He just asked, let me do that again. Yeah. He, covered, he covered for him, though. A man, a few words. A few stuttering words. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, the Shockmaster. What it is was, the uh, Look, man. What's the setup on this? Basically, they is were this supposed a good to, version of it. Oh, Ric Flair's the best. Yeah, they were tr supposed to. Uh, they had a mystery partner, and he was supposed to be like the next big uh, good guy in WCW. Yeah. And uh, he was supposed to bust through the wall, oh, no. but nobody told him there was a support two by four under, like at the base of the wall. Yeah. So he trips right over the two by four and falls flat on his face. <laughs> <laughs> this was... and, but you gotta have Sting. The, the entire thing is the funniest thing you ever seen. Sting <laughs> and the bu and the br British Bulldog are horrendous. He was, at, they were supposed to pick this big pump up of the yeah, Shockmaster. Right. Shock but when he fought, I'm telling when when Ric Flair. Because he's one of the greatest of all time at this, surrounded by five bums <laughs> who are awful. And his reaction to what happens, I watch this 700 times and, the shock, and I cry every time. The Shockmaster, he was just an old wrestler from the WWE, from, he was Tugboat in WWF. Uh, I remember Tugboat. Except they put a Stormtrooper helmet, literally. <laughs> A stormtrooper helmet oh. that they covered in glitter. Oh, it sparkles. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Make sure you have the, the 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 sting lead in. I will. So that this, you know. This was actually so bad that this guy had a whole gimmick. He was going to be the next main event guy. They changed his entire gimmick so that he was just a klutz that always lost. <laughs> they couldn't do anything with him after that because of his debut. Yeah. He is none other than the Shaq Master! Right. Let's go! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 Please right, listen to Rick Flair. We explain no. what happened already. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the guy fell out of the wall, and then he lost his helmet. Yeah. And had to go get it and put it back on his head. And the helmet covers his old face, so it's like that's his gimmick. His, you don't see it. It rolled away. And it then rolled away. He had his chain halfway through the wall, trying to grab for his helmet. He had like a potted, glittered, potted plant on 
top of his fucking head. Do you think other wrestlers laughed at him for this? Oh, or his voice, God. Go his, back, voice go back. Done, go his voice was done. His voice was done by a guy oh. off the set who had a live mic. Oh, they didn't shit. tape it. He did it live. So when he trips, you can hear them go, "Oh God!" <laughs> oh no. Set. That was Rick Flair. Rick Flair. Flair when Rick Flair, Flair, he goes, because oh let me tell you something. The, the whole, if you if you watch the whole thing when, at home, you gotta understand the Harlem Harlem Heat, yeah. who was just fucking called, called Hulk Hogan, nigga. He had he was doing a bad promo, and Sid Vicious, who we just saw, Sid again. Vicious was doing a bad promo. Now we just watched two bad promos. British Bulldog and Sting were awful, and Ric Flair had to, this was like the Ric Flair show. Yeah. So he was trying to put this together, and Ric Flair's trying to. But but when when he fell through the wall, Ric Flair went, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> that fall through the wall is the greatest thing and I've it ever takes seen. Forever, <laughs> it falls in slow motion. Oh, Did you rewind it? I rewind it even further. Oh, so yeah. Helmet falls. Uh, just how bad the promo is yeah. up to that point. He's right? panicked, grabbing for that helmet. And this is in front of an audience? Yo, Dude, yeah, it's, it's is... a live audience, and it's live on TV. <laughs> it's like, this is their big thing leading uh, up to a pay-per-view. Uh, oh live God. television by the pay-per-view so you can see oh, this guy make his debut. This, oh, that was supposed to be his debut. This, this is his debut. He's like, this is the mystery of Bono. And, 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 and make you, it perfectly <laughs> clear they're expecting big things from the shock man. The main uh, but you guy. have Sting. Like maybe the next Hulk Hogan yes. or something. Did Sting goes, you're career. in for a shock. All right. It completely changed. Yeah. yeah. For the most How part, is it, that his helmet career. thing gonna stay on if he ever wrestles? If he wrestles, he doesn't even need a chin strap or something. Is this yeah, the they, best clip? They, they the really audio is a little low on this. This is the best uh, version of it. Yeah. All right. Bear it's with the us. Greatest thing I've ever seen. I rewound it a little further so you could get okay. something more lead up. All right. All right. Good. Oh, Tuesday, it seems to me if you were as smart as you act like you are, you wouldn't have waited. This is Sid Vicious bad promo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know they're all nervous because Flair's there. <laughs> Flair is just like disgusted. <laughs> oh my god, they're just yelling. <laughs> That's the British Bulldog I'm talking about. Yeah. Shock the world because <laughs> he sure he is. is none other than the Shock Master. I had him tell so you. Ah, just stop it. Go back to Flair. Wait, that is the worst outfit I've ever seen. <laughs> You have to listen. He's got Captain he Caveman's it. vest on. It looks like he's wearing a pumpkin on his head. <laughs> <laughs> rolls oh, away. The you <laughs> have to understand that Ric Flair <laughs> went, oh, he said, what the f- Oh, he was like, God. oh, God. Dude, he's oh, having a gun. He puts his helmet back on. <laughs> oh, awkwardly. He's awkward. shaking his head. <laughs> through his helmet. He's like, I fucked that He's got to put his helmet on because the other guy's going to do his promo for him. Him, so you can't see his mouth. <laughs> Shock Master <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's in the top laughs I've ever had in my yeah. entire life. Just because it, it, it's like it's not even a regular wrestler. His name is the Shock Master. And he falls, he falls through the wall. He's supposed to break through. I watched, I watched this, this live in 1993. So it's the greatest moment in pro wrestling history. I'm There's never Bobby, been a better. If you, you watch the I'm entire thing, it. it's killing me. There's eight different things that'll make you laugh. Do you, think, yeah. do you think they watch this and just laugh? Dude, oh, yeah, it destroyed his career, man. It did. It completely destroyed, it destroyed his, his career. career. It destroyed now, his career. Not only do you have to, you have to be as quiet as you can That's because so you can hear Ric Flair say, oh, God. Oh, God. And Listen. then... You can hear offset where he's supposed to, where he's getting ready to do his promo for him. Uh, you can hear them making fun of him. 
Okay. Oh, <laughs> just, 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 it's right. hard to. All right, let's try to be quiet. It is hard to be quiet because it's so fucking funny. Keep the laugh to yourself <laughs> if you can. It's so bad. 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 I fell through the wall. I was trying to drill a hole. I made it too big. Wait a minute. You know what? And we're doing his costume of injustice. Yeah. He had a fur, a giant fur vest that was three quarter length with no buttons, a giant sparkly helmet, and jeans and boots. The Shockmaster. And no shirt. The Shockmaster. The Shockmaster was an ass. They literally, after this show, they changed his entire gimmick he became a construction worker that constantly falls down <laughs> that was his career <laughs> they, yes. they gave him bell's palsy <laughs> The stroke master <laughs> keeps having them. Oh, okay. Shock master rules. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to watch this. This again. is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I'm telling you the do. smoke. Okay, everybody contain yourself. I will try. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's like Big J. It's going to be. All I have to say is. All I have to say is. Our partner is going to shock the world because. He is none other than the Shock Master! Oh, God. Oh, God. You hear my boy? Yeah. Now listen to the promo. <laughs> he has, his voice hasn't started yet. You see him. You see him he's motioning with his motioning, hands. Yeah. He, and but his voice didn't start yet. <laughs> the guy behind stage isn't talking yet. Right. So he's just motioning like he's talking, like he's a mime. But the worst is none of them said you fell through the wall, <laughs> yeah, right. Shockmaster. Right. They're still acting like yo. Oh. Good. I'm actually impressed with this guy to be able to yell without laughing. Cause shit stinks. <laughs> he like he's so bad. He probably didn't know. He. It's the. <laughs> With a rope he belt. has no muscles at all. And he's terrible. <laughs> he's got a the muscle shock top. producer. <laughs> he's got a, he's got on tight gap yeah. jeans. I have to have my stomach stapled. <laughs> I keep breaking the wall and falling. <laughs> I just I wish we could hear the audio better, but uh, oh, yes. that fucking I was funny. trying to nail a foundry logo to the wall. Holy shit. <laughs> I'll pummel you with how cupcakes are made DVDs. <laughs> And he got, he fell, and this is the thing too, if you, if you see, you, he, he fell no hands on his head, like flat on his fucking, fucking stupid helmet, and his helmet went falling. He's gut down on the fucking floor like a fish. He's like a guy with a sand pail on his head. Oh. <laughs> with no stopping himself. But, dude, when he puts the helmet back on, I love the fact that as he's standing there, he has to wipe the ground dirt off his head. Yeah, he's like sheetrock dust and ground dirt. And, and look, at staying his back. All I have to say is, he's calming everybody down. Here's the moment. All I have to say is, our partner's going to shock, shock the world. The world. That there guy fucking... An oh, it was God. an explosion. <laughs> yeah, big pyro. And, and the pyro was off timing. <laughs> it was a disaster. It was a disaster. <laughs> it was it's so right. bad. Yeah. I got to see it again, please. Does We're he ready. ever get to uh, talk? Yo, yeah. Do you want to oh, hear him? Yeah. Yes. Why do you think this guy was... Yeah. It's really them. hard to hear. <laughs> the whole outfit, everything. Even he if does, it wasn't he a mistake. Yeah, he doesn't have a oh, good body. That terrible helmet. Oh. Shock that All I have to say is, all I have to say oh, is, our partner is going to shock the world because he is none other than... Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it, I'm sorry. You got to understand, too, if you... This was Sid Vicious yeah. and the Harlem Heat, and they were beating up a uh, British Bulldog and Stink for like months. <laughs> right. And this is the guy who, that is going to match the intensity These are the of top, the three guys. The top bad guys in the company versus the top good guys. And they had no one with them. And they, so need they needed someone, someone to save the day. And this is the guy they fucking got <laughs> to stop the, the brutal onslaught that they had enduring for the last month. Do you, I would love to know what, they're, what, what is the Shockmaster thinking 
after his helmet goes on, he's like, I just fell through the wall. <laughs> How humiliating is this? His big moment that he falls through the wall. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could see that from behind him. Oh, man. Sam. Yeah. Someone, so Rick, Rick Flair's, oh, God. Yeah. It's oh. the best. Uh, someone God. tweeted that they made fun of this on Raw recently. Yeah. Oh, you're, we get it with the clip. I get you a clip right here. <laughs> All right, good. Yeah, yeah. supposedly th they went real inside and made fun of this <laughs> clip on Raw. The, it's less than a year ago. Less than a year ago. All right, All right here's one more from the Shockmaster. <laughs> yeah. I heard it's going to shock the world. <laughs> Other than the shock <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he just fell. There's no two by four there. He just fell. <laughs> Everybody, man. We got it. You got it. Oh, wait a minute. Here. Wait a minute. This is what he's doing. He's waiting for that guy to start talking, yeah. and when he yells. He thinks it's his voice. <laughs> He's actually yes. pantomiming the guy who's yelling at him. He thinks that it's oh, his vo his uh, uh, backstage voice guy, but it's not. It's the guy who's yelling at him. And he can't even, he can't even pantomime. <laughs> the only... It's this five seconds, which seems like a million years, where everyone... Is collecting themselves <laughs> to pretend that shit did that. The uh, audience, the Ric Flair, the Shockmaster, everybody went, holy Dude, shit. His helmet's so discombobulated <laughs> that he thinks what he's hearing is what he's supposed to be saying. Dude, they're Dude, all. It, but it, it's it not literally is a, a, a stormtrooper helmet. He got that yes, at a Halloween yes. store. Yes, yes. Not, it's not an exaggeration, it's, it's the stormtrooper. Star stormtrooper helmet. <laughs> With glitter on it. And then he went to the next alley, he got the Captain Caveman yeah, yeah, fur vest, yeah. and kept his jeans I, that he drove to the arena in. I think I heard a better version from the guy that just tweeted me. Hey, man, I, I got I to pick version. up at 945. Oh, I got to go to the airport. You got to go, Bill? Yeah. I, Fuck. Yeah, I gotta fly oh, across Bill Burke came by to again. say hi, and we appreciate that, Bill. Uh, yeah. He's yeah, going back to LA. Yeah, I, 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 will, I will be back uh, next week. Yeah. Next week? Hopefully, yeah. Okay. ASAP. Right. Anytime. We'll, we'll Bill will be us. back on the show next week. All right, gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Burr. Right, Burr. Keep up the podcast. I'm a big fan, Bill, of the podcast. Take it easy, Bill. There goes Bill. They're all looking and going, the Shockmaster just fell through. They all see the whole gig going down the toilet. Could you go back? Could you go to Shockmaster on Raw just see if it's a better clip? Shockmaster. On Raw is is the is the Shockmaster on Raw like that's that's the when they made fun of him that's not the original Shockmaster. Clip. They have a, a clip of it though in the beginning just to set it up. All right, we could go with this. That, I just it's wanna, just that the audio is. I a just want low. you to hear his promo yeah, now. Let's go. <laughs> But you just felt you rule the world long enough, Sid Vicious. Get ready. Come on, you want a piece of me? You want a piece of me? Come and get me. Come after me, Sid. I'm ready. Along Can you pause this? <laughs> I, I, I think he has a glitter stormtrooper helmet. It's on his chest from when he fell and he's sweaty and he got that fucking stormtrooper helmet sparkles all over him. I think it's coming from and, why is, and why is Sid all scared of him? Because he looked all scared. Why didn't he turn around and go, douchebag, Dude, you just fell through the fucking wall. The shock master is a dud <laughs> and the it's, promo is terrible and embarrassing. He was supposed to be this brutal villain. <clears throat> this guy from another planet. Oh, oh my God! With jeans and boots and a yeah, fur vest, yeah. yeah, and 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 this yeah. voice. The first thing you see is him falling. You want a piece of me? I just oh. fell through the wall. Oh motherfucker! Okay. That what is, is so funny. Now, what is the setup on this? Now, is this from nineteen just, uh, or two thousand nine? Yeah, it was a year ago. They made fun. Oh, see, much better audio. But he doesn't have his promo on this one. None other than the <laughs> Shack Master. I told you. Oh, God. 
You heard someone say, what, did he fall? What did he fall? What did he fall? Did you hear that? Oh, yeah. That low voice just says, what did he fall? That's from backstage. Yeah, that's his backstage voice. Yeah. What did he fall? <laughs> oh, I love this guy. Mm -hmm. He is none other than the Shaq Master! All right. The Shaq Master! <laughs> I told you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, it's just so bad. It's everything about is poorly done. So everything. Oh, this just edited from the original one. Just cut out some awkwardness. Oh yeah. And then one thing I noticed. Yeah, this is when they. Uh, and then Raw uh, did a spoof on it a year ago. Uh, yeah, because they were putting out. What, a, when was the original Shockmaster? Nineteen ninety-three. Wow. Uh, so the fucking seventeen, uh, almost seventeen years later, Raw fucking goofed on. That were, is hilarious. Let's see how they goofed on. All right. No, but where's that coming from? I don't know. I, I, think, it's, I think it's coming from that wall. So wall. Hey, you know, it sounds like it's coming from over here. Yeah. Hmm. There's, 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 oh, whoa! Holy oh, Toledo. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> Some guy with a mic <laughs> just standing backstage. Oh, Louis C.K. Did the crap? Did... Yeah. Did they? Anyone even get it? Do <laughs> wrestling fans yeah. love the Shockmaster clip? Yeah. Oh they yeah. If to. you yeah. if yes. you never it's the it's that is out of I remember control. a lot of laughs I had. And that Shockmaster. <laughs> That's great. And then there with Dusty Rhodes, who is more, who's probably in the top five like mic guys of all time too. Like. It, oh. it, it, Dusty and Ric Flair. And Who was the that. best? Was The Rock the best Mike guy? No, not at all. Not probably not even. He might not even been in the top five. Really, oh, man, he was great though. Who he was, was fantastic. Good? It was, was the five Iron guys Sheet on the good? Mic. Dusty, Ric Flair. Ric Flair is better than uh, Rock. Oh. Roddy Piper. Um, yeah. I might name five. Uh, um, God damn. I'm trying to think. I guess that was a, oh, but the Rock I, was good at making catchphrases. How about yeah. Sergeant Slaughter? <clears throat> no. Nah. Um. Oh, uh, Jake the Snake is in, in in the top in the top five yeah. probably, and um, you know, not the, Rock is not in the top five. He's in the top ten. Stone Cold was probably better. Stone on the Cold, mic than the Stone Rock. Cold was it's probably that's the five. Right the Rock there. was just good at making catchphrases, <coughs> and then he, Dusty's, yeah, yeah, Dusty's yeah, yeah, the yeah. best though. Dusty and Flair are are are, are neck and neck. They're also uh, say one. They're also one, saying two. Owen Hart had a really good one, really good blooper. Uh, well, oh, yeah, the shit. best blooper of all time. <laughs> oh, but <Jesus>. I mean, <laughs> come on! Oh, that's Dude. terrible. No, 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 I'm saying uh, that damn uh, that goddamn shock master dude. Oh, yeah, that's, that is that's one of the best. <coughs> that is hysterical. Seen. I, I like when I'm able to laugh until like I'm actually fucking tears are coming out my eyes. You gonna try that the Owen Hart one? Funny. <laughs> I just recently stopped watching it, like and, and laughing. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you still watch it with this thing, like wow. <laughs> he went right on his fucking head. It's his the big, worst thing that could have happened. The worst thing, dude. Right he, there, and and the helmet falling off, <laughs> and he scrambles to put it on, and it's so clumsy. And then he's just standing there trying to be tough. Be tough with all the glitter on his chest. <laughs> his helmet fell off. <laughs> it's not on YouTube. <laughs> I have to find the audio because I taped it off TV. The Miz, who's like a big star now, sure. One of when he was first in the WWE, they wanted to they were using him as like a Ryan Seacrest type of host for for stuff. And like one of his first things, he couldn't remember they were having a diva search, and he couldn't remember what number to text in and what number to call in. And he started looking at his hand for the number, and his hand started sweating. <laughs> and he just goes over, call, uh, text. Uh, it's the greatest. No, no, no skills. Let's see if the Owen Hart's good. Yeah, it's quick. I don't need you with a bad leg doing a Brent. You're too damn selfish, and that's why you're sitting there with a bad leg, and that's why I kicked your leg out of your leg. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked your leg out of your leg. Yeah. We got Triple yeah. H coming into Triple the studio. Triple H. Very busy day. Triple H. Oh, hey, hold on. Uh, fuck. Uh, Bill, what are you promoting? Because it's going to get really... I'm in uh, uh, Count Basie Theater, Red Bank, New Jersey. Tonight? Go. Yes, tonight. All right, and Patrice has got Triple the big H. Comedy Central special tomorrow night at 10. And now we got Triple H in studio. What's up, man? How you doing? Look at you all sharp. You fucking don't age, brother. I know, right? 
few years go by, we see Triple H, and he's, he looks like the it's same exactly fucking the guy. Same. He's getting all kinds of work done. We're sitting here looking healthy, rotting. sir. Looking yeah, very, very healthy. healthy. Work done, huh? Yeah. Are you, very, very <laughs> healthy, goes, man. Yeah. Yeah. What are you using on your skin, man? Botox. Nice <laughs> 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 and doing, healthy, man? my friend. And you got to dress like that Try in the morning? No sweats, nothing like weird. No, I don't. I uh, you got TV probably, right? I do. I yeah, do. I have TV. And you, you guys uh, can. Uh, you got to look for radio. You yeah, know? I certainly do. Yeah, you yeah. Can just. I already spilled come coffee on my shirt. I don't it care. Doesn't about matter. To spill coffee on my shirt. <laughs> All right, good. It yeah, doesn't yeah. even matter. You know, uh, Patrice and Bill, two really, really funny guys. Yeah. Hello, yeah. Patrice O'Neill and Bill Burr. How you doing? How are you, sir? Right. He don't yeah. remember. Yeah, Patrice he, did a little time in the WWF. He he, he, he oh, shouldn't remember. And, and if he, he doesn't, right. I, I love that he doesn't. He was he was on your father-in-law's uh, private jet a couple times. <laughs> but I was in the back. Really? <laughs> really? Who'd, you, who'd, you, who'd you work for? For Steph? I was I was. Uh, they were hiring writers at the time. Oh, okay. So I had, I was a. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't even want to. No, no come on, talk about it, Trace. That's come why on. I'm bringing it up, though. <laughs> you can see he's like, I don't know you, motherfucker. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I want to say you were great in Blade Three, but like, that's that's what we want. <laughs> like, but I was I was on the back. It was I was the most fun. You know, people in this world. It, it was fun. It was like you were on the plane, because at the, at that time, um, all the. Um, you know the the, the Coco Bewares and the uh, Brooklyn Brawlers. The Brooklyn Brawlers. They'll be. They have to take a cab to the next thing. <laughs> uh, it was. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was Triple H. Yeah, who was And he was Triple H at the time too. He wasn't. Uh, uh, he wasn't Hunter Hearst. He was Triple H at the time. Mm -hmm. It was. Uh, uh, the Undertaker was on the plane, and it was one more biggie on the plane at the time. And uh, and 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 then the family. So I sat in the back, and one of the guys who had been there for a couple of years was trying to get me to be like the butler, like one of the other writers. And I go, I'm, I'm a really, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and, and that's why I had to leave because it was like you had to, you have to be very company. Like, like yeah, of you, course. Stephanie fired me. She fired me four times in one. Co you, you, you know you're fired. Back? I, no, I just I, I just said away? okay. I said I said I understand. I, and she, she said you're fired, man. I said Stephanie, I I know you got to fire me. I I love you. I, 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 you. You're fired. She said you're fired four times. Four times. And I said I understand. I fucking understand. Why are you being hostile? <laughs> I understand. We miss Stephanie uh, Triple H. She uh, used to do our show all the time. Yeah, I'll tell you what. She misses being around. It too. She yeah. actually was. So we said was, hi. We she wish she could have come in today. She she said to say hi to you guys. Yeah. Well, the uh, her her introduction into the uh, public form of uh, WWF at the time uh, was just amazing. It was probably the most fun time uh, of wrestling. That was like the golden age when uh, we were watching. Yeah, we were. Uh, obviously, you still got plenty of people watching, but that time. When she was in that boiler room, locked up to the yeah. the pipes and shit, and just trying to make it look like she's upset and crying, <laughs> it was classic. <laughs> was the whole <laughs> test thing back in the day that test push, the marriage thing, and the the you know, the kidnapping in Vegas and all that? Was <laughs> you were you and, and your wife was y'all together then? No, I didn't even know her. Yeah, you know, and honestly, I wasn't even involved in that storyline, but. Uh, we had a, a writer at the time, this guy Vince Russo. Vince was great at coming up with stuff and having no way to get out of it. <laughs> oh, shit. So he had come up, and, <laughs> he, had, he had come up with this concept that um, to bring Vince's daughter in and uh, have her get involved in a relationship with one of the guys to do a marriage because everybody loves marriage, you know, weddings on TV. It was his <laughs> rationale behind this? So he puts her in this relationship story with this guy Test, and. Uh, comes time for the wedding the first time and he, Vince is like so what are we doing with this and like, <laughs> yeah where are we going I, I don't know you know so they <laughs> they literally <laughs> this is how ridiculous our world is sometimes <laughs> they ridiculous they they came up with a storyline where somebody threw a garbage can or something hit Steph in the head she got amnesia and didn't know who test was <laughs> <laughs> to, buy, to, to buy us a few weeks so oh, we could geez. figure out what we were doing. <laughs> that is brilliant, right? And uh, oh, so um, now they've got they've got this situation where she, eventually she still got to she got to know who this guy is. The whole thing, and so they don't know what they want to do. And 
the Vince Russo leaves the company. Oh, shit. oh, and like the middle of the night, he just takes off and goes to work for the WCW at the time, where it was a competition. And uh, I remember Vince being like, "Well, holy Christ, we're stuck in this storyline, <laughs> this thing now with a guy with no clue how to get out of it, and now he leaves." And so uh, he probably I, knew he was leaving. He's like, "You know how bad I fucked him." Yeah. I he's having panic attacks. They can't possibly. <laughs> he he might have been wanting to leave before he had to tell Vince, "I don't have a solution." So, uh, <laughs> yeah. but then he, uh, I was in a storyline with Vince at the time, and just one day and sitting thinking about it was like, "God, we should do something." That would be a perfect role what would i do to get to him right marry his daughter you know in real life too and, <laughs> yeah, exactly. and uh and so that's how the story got switched <laughs> to me you know they really had no intentions of her ever doing a wedding on tv that was going to get screwed up but right it, it was a really convoluted story and then it, it, our stuff ended up being huge you know so things do, things do they still run like that kind of where you sometimes have a storyline where it's like we have no clue with well it. not really usually we try to have a generalized idea but a lot of times like even when we did the Steph wedding thing with me right so I pitched to Vince this idea about uh you know I'll take her to drive through to Vegas and you know <laughs> Mickey or drink or something she doesn't know and I get married to her the whole thing was just for yeah, me we to just get this. Her a roofie or something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it did though. Yeah, yeah, she was did. knocked yeah. out in the yeah. back of the car. Yeah. I remember that push, but man. You, but it's you like, can't uh, do uh, anymore. It's like, 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 like a limp hand with the ring and shit. Yeah. And you can't do that on, on uh, TV no, you anymore, can't slip unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, they would <laughs> Only in the movies now. You can do that. Yeah. Right. Nine eleven. Um, no more roofies. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we uh, we just went down that road with the story, but like, it was just meant to be to get me into a situation in a match with Vince where I would get a title shot and the wedding would be a no. That was it. That was right. our, our thing it was like a quick thing. And man, when she went out on TV that next night and they were chanting "slut." Oh and my god! Like the yeah, crowd yeah. turned on her so totally. heavily, and and we were like, I remember sitting next to Vince at gorilla position. I didn't even know Steph, Oof. and uh, she walked out, and they started reacting. We both looked at each other like, Oh my god, this is awesome! You know? <laughs> 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 we got to run with this. So the pop, a pop, a pop is a pop, right? Like no matter yeah. whether it's a heel pop or yeah. good, it's like has there ever been any reaction where <laughs> it hurts your feelings? Like it's damn man, I, man, I didn't want to be. An asshole. I was, yeah, I was no. trying to be nice. Um, I'm an asshole. I, you know, I don't know. I, to me, in our business, it's just a reaction's a reaction. You know, and and I made majority of my name and money in the business getting booed out yeah. of arenas. Sure. You know? yeah, but now yeah, it's this sure. weird thing where he's you're you can't be a heel no more. It's impossible. Yeah. It, it, towards the end, when I was still a heel, um, you know, I was working with Cena. And I was supposed to be the bad guy, and he was supposed to be the good guy, and I was getting, you know, at, at least half the arena cheering for me. Yeah. And that was before they were really fully booing him, so, you know. <laughs> full, full on <laughs> booing, yeah. What's yeah. the most ridiculous storyline, like when you were coming up? That one just, wasn't good enough? Huh? <laughs> that wasn't good enough. I'm just saying, if there was, I just figured like, oh, that was God. at, like, the most professional level. I'm just saying, you just break into wrestling. I mean, there's got to be like like stand-up comedy, uh, like open mic wrestling kind of. Uh, mo uh, right, most I, ridiculous angle ever is one that I was involved in, unfortunately, and and it still gets talked about to this day. It's called the Katie Vick incident, <laughs> and it was this ludicrous story. V Vince got in his head that he wanted <laughs> characters to be more sympathetic, and we, you know we have Kane, right, who's like the this monster. Yeah. He decided that in Kane's backstory, Kane would have had uh, have killed a girl <laughs> by accident. Of so, course, well, it could happen. So Kane, it goes, <laughs> Vince creates this this ridiculous story, and, and this will get much better, Justin, where Kane has to go on TV in full monster regalia and tell the world that like I was young, I was I didn't know how to drive a stick very well, the roads were slippery, and uh, you know the car got out of my control and and she died. It wasn't my fault. Unfortunately, I'm in a storyline with him. I was champion at the time, and we were wrestling over the title, and I'm in a storyline with him. So now Vince gets obsessed with us bringing up this dead girl to Kane to the point where... <laughs> oh, you're about to go... You're, you're about to really love it. To the point where... He comes up with an idea where I am supposed to dress up like Kane and go to a funeral home and have sex with a corpse in a casket. So all, the whole way there How does now. He pitch this shit? The whole way I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But so the whole way there, I'm trying to like convince him, Vince. 
we really got to make this funny. Like this has to be very funny. Like I'm I'm really making a joke out of this. No, no, no. It needs to be dark and it needs to. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus. So like, <laughs> we already I'm, got that with the necrophilia. Yeah. Yeah. But I want to try to lighten it up now. Yeah. So I'm I'm not even married at the time to to staff or anything like that. I, I'm, we literally go to a funeral home where we rent out one of the rooms. We have a casket with a dummy in it. I'm, I'm, I'm in Kane's mask and stuff. Holy shit! And uh, and and he, you know, have the guy that is eventually going to be my father-in-law yelling at me to have sex louder with the dummy in the coffin. And while we're doing this, I'm in I'm in a skin-colored thong on top of a dummy in a coffin. In a funeral home, and the guy from the funeral home, the like the mortician guy, opens up the door, sticks his head in, and he's like, "Could you guys keep it down? I got a funeral." In the oh room. shit! <laughs> That's a ridiculous storyline, my friend. Oh damn! Yeah, oh, it's but, awesome. Wow. <clears throat> but Vince don't. From damn, the two man. or three days I was there, you just <laughs> it, I had enough to see. It was a. It's really like he doesn't pitch. Like I don't know. The hierarchy of, of of the guys that like really get a lot of stick time and they get they, the the stars they could say Vince I ain't doing that shit I don't know but I know the I know I saw one guy uh, Tiger Ali Singh he had a turban and he begged he was begging Vince he said his whole family felt he was desecrating his <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to wear the turban he didn't want to wear the turban and he's like please you know the, you and, get out there with that turban but on. no he didn't. Get out of no, it wasn't like it wasn't like Tiger was in his face. Tiger would ask somebody who would ask, and I was just why? Because the writers have complete access to everything, so I'm just looking, and he just goes, "Nope, he's gonna wear the turban." <laughs> <laughs> and this guy is like, my family hates my guts, my religion, <laughs> and I just go. That would be like, uh, now put the bone through your nose. I told you, your nose. I told you on the show, though, that he's the three. It, there's only been three people in my life that I ever met that I, uh, you know, my dudes and anybody that way. I was, my heart was beating. He's and I looked at him certainly. like, holy shit. Powerful. And he so was, was one. me, Vince. Who's the other guy? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was Jordan. It's, it's too bad. Jordan, uh, Bird, and then Vince. Oh, you wow. met Bird. Well, I used to work at Boston Garden. Fucking it. But he never talked. And, and, and all three of them never talked. You just, you just right, felt, right. Yeah, you yeah. Just felt that shit like that. Vince does have an <clears throat> ominous presence. But he listened. He was the, like this the thing ball. that was amazing. He's the, he was the best listener I've ever seen in my life. He never, as you in his writing things, he never made, you would suggest something that probably was ridiculous when you think about it. But he would never say that was stupid. He would, he would always <laughs> well, sit there. And he, greenlit, big, he greenlit the coffin. Thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Vince is a big believer in there's no dumb ideas. Like, or he'll take a stupid idea and turn it into a good idea. Yeah. Or, I mean, he's really big in that. And let, let me just say that if there, that, I know that kid. And if he was saying he didn't want to go out in the turban because he was desecrating his family and all that stuff, he was so full of crap on every level. <laughs> <laughs> that I guarantee you, Vince was like, he's full of crap. He's, he's full of shit. Else out of but it. I didn't tell the story. I didn't tell the story like based on like based on like uh, Vince was a fucked up guy. It was based on just the the boss right. thing. You he, know what I'm saying? Truly the boss. It's just. And, I, and, I always t you know. say it like this. To me, he's the general. Where everybody else that works for him, where the like the army and the lieutenants and all that stuff, he's the general. And what is, eventually, what? he goes charge up that hill and die, and you go, all right. And you do it. Who were we talking to recently? We're trying to figure out what Vince does for uh, fun. Because he works all the fucking time. What does he do when he's just not doing the wrestling thing that he like, something he likes doing? He works out. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he, he literally, you know, he's 65 years old. He will work, like, he'll get to the office mid morning sometime. He will work sometimes until 9 or 10 at night. And then he'll go downstairs and he'll train. And he'll train for a couple hours, and then he'll either finish his emails or he'll go home. He sleeps a few hours. He's one of those people that just doesn't, doesn't sleep. sleep a lot. He'll, you know, for weeks on end, he'll just get three, four hours of sleep or whatever, yeah. and then he'll crash for a day, and then he's back on track. It, it, he's his work ethic is unbelievable. Like, just as an example, this week we came home from uh, we were in uh, San Diego on Tuesday, and we came home now. He, Sleeping on the plane is not an option. So, like, we flew home after the show. We got home at, like, 7 in the morning. He's back at the office at 10 o'clock. Now, back at the office. But, Sam, weren't you saying something about Vince? Was he was he out or? Oh, uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sam? <laughs> what, what happened? What is Sam? going on? Sam got well, weird. I just want to know. Where are you going? 
No, he was. Uh, he he's back now because he was on TV. But for a while after the Nexus right. took him out, I'm sure he was hospitalized or something. <laughs> you know, right, I, right, right, right. Yeah, Triple H is, is embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was in a coma. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's when he must have been when he was crashing. Yeah. He was uh, rest I, okay. I, I know it's been here since uh, a while since I've been here and stuff like that. But last time I was here, he was making out with homeless dudes and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. That's has something happened right. to him since then? Yeah, he seems yeah. to have gotten dumbed down a little bit. <laughs> that was a, yeah, he really has. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't know. You, you really yeah. have dumbed down a bit. <clears throat> we haven't even mentioned uh, the I chaperone see, yet. I see him every now and then. He's like a lurker every now and then. Every now like and a, then. He's an stalking appearance. you and everyone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's at every appearance. Triple H, the chaperone man. yeah what's the movie about it's uh it's right up your alley it's a family movie um, <laughs> family movie. yeah it's a, you guys ever watch that show modern family sure got, uh, <clears throat> ariel winter plays the daughter in that show she plays my daughter in this movie and uh i play a guy that went to prison gets out and he's kind of lost contact with his wife and his kids and wants to get him back but uh, you know, things don't work out so well. The daughter wants nothing to do with him, and he almost goes back to crime. And at the last second, he changes his mind, ends up as a chaperone on his daughter's field trip, and uh, the money from the bank robbery that he was about to be a part of ends up on the bus. And the bad guys are chasing them in in New Orleans because they think it was a setup. So he's on. So it's a nice guy. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. a nice guy. A, a nice. It's a nice wholesome movie. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good. You know, it's one of those movies. I think if you've got a young teenage kid or a tween, you could take them to. Uh, they'll enjoy it, and you won't feel like I just absolutely wasted an hour and a half of and my you, life. You didn't have to put on a tutu or wings. I did not have to put on a tutu <laughs> or wings. Or wings. <laughs> but I guarantee, there's a scene where someone gets punched. And his feet go all the way up, and, and you see his feet in the camera, and he, straight up in the air. I guarantee he punches someone no, straight actually, up in the air. I don't believe that there's one. There's a whole, not a whole lot of fighting in this movie, but really, uh, there is one scene where I I do actually punch a guy, and he does go up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> but in all fairness, when we shot it, I shattered his nose. Oh shit! Oh, you fucked up. That's yeah, some yeah. Von Claude's, uh, little, Von Claude Van Damme shit. You made a bad mistake. A little too close on the uh, tight shot of. Oops. Yeah, I caught him right in the end of the nose, and that's that was that yeah. was almost a slight case of murder there. That whole <laughs> bone up in the nose thing there, yeah. my friend. Uh, you well, got well, big fists. Yeah. Good thing we got it on that take. Now, are you, know, you are you are you done? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I'll be back shortly. Um, just uh, took some time off. I made two movies for the company, and then I tore my bicep. And uh, ironically, I leave wrestling to make a movie and I tear my bicep. But yeah, right. Well, it was an injury I'd had for a couple of years, just kept nagging, and then it finally just gave when I was Jesus. making the movie. But we, um, oh. I I tore that, had some surgery and stuff, so I've been out for a little while. We, but I'm, I'm headed back. We, we to this day talk about your injury where your leg uh, muscle rolled up like a yeah. shade. Oh god, yeah. You heard this one? The, I we, saw it. We bring this up all the fucking yeah. time because we can't believe you. And he just back and, and he muscle. limped out. He just limped out he of the ring. He pulled the muscle to the point that the thing rolled all the way up, right? Yeah, I, I tore it. I completely tore my quad off the bone at the knee, and it rolled up my thigh. Can you oh, imagine? How do you come back from that? Live TV, and I finished the match. Uh, yeah, man. That's what unbelievable. You know, motherfuckers, this is why I always say the wrestling. I've been a wrestling fan my entire life, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, the greatest actors slash stuntmen ever. Like, the shit they do... And they always got to go to right after a match. They run to a doctor back there Oof. to have somebody push something back in, <laughs> fix something. But you know what? And I mean? also remember lines. Like they're not fucking Shakespearean, but they remember fucking lines. Yeah. And they remember. It's it's a great. It's, it's a great. And the thing, choreography you know? of uh, yeah, an actor tore their quad. Oh. That movie is yeah, shut down yeah, for like done. six weeks. Tom what? Cruise <laughs> tears a quad. You well, can't fake doing a, a like a monkey salt. On top of a dude laying on the ladder, like there's nothing. Right, right. And you're 290 pounds, and you're flying. Yeah, right. I'll tell you what makes gravity it. Is gravity. What <laughs> makes it even harder, and what this is what people don't get about what we do is, then they watch you do that, and they go, "Oh my God, how do these guys make it through that?" You got to do it tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Do it. Not you know do it mean? again. You're gonna do it again. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing. That's the fucking thing. People don't. This is a one of the. There's a lot of differences between when I watched it. I tell you what, they don't have anymore that I think they should have. It is jobbers. They mm. don't. It's like, why every week do I watch you fight John Cena? Mm -hmm. Then there's a pay per view of him watching fighting John Cena. But before it would be Rudy, Rudy uh, Diamond. Of oh, the guys or, that come out in the tights and the yeah. the wrestling. I, 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 I agree uh, with you. We, we have this discussion all the time, and it's it really, really comes down to just ratings. 
It really comes down like, to Like, watching you beat the shit out of some nobody, just dragging him around, yeah. mushing his face. Yeah. Well, Jose Estrada. And, and then, wait, yeah. and then Johnny punch him. Johnny Rods. Remember those go, guys? Punch him in the face, yeah. right? Get on top, one, two, and then pull him up, and the guy's limp. <laughs> and he just... <laughs> he does to abuse him yeah. some more. Oh, yeah. that's just despicable. He does the that's finish absolutely despicable. Oh, he does the finishing move seven times on the guy. <laughs> and it's just... Yeah. Why, why? They all look it? like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like Sam. Ah. Oh, Sam Roberts really taking a beat in that ring. <laughs> wow. I you know what the best one? Uh, maybe remember, not remember, as creepy. Remember S.D. Jones? Yeah. S.D. Special Jones. was the best guy who lost every week. Greatest job of that ever lived. But uh, Kurt Henning used to be a job. I remember when stars with jobbers and the WWF would go to WCW and become not jobbers. They become really good and then come back. And now they're fucking actually wrestlers. Yeah. But it was so many. I remember the fucking jobbers. That it was great, but they don't do it no more. So it's like. I gotta watch the Miz fight a real dude. Everybody wants to And then just and then everybody gets to talk. <laughs> there was only a few talkers. Now everybody's yapping. I like what the job wrestling. is. Who's really bothering him? Yeah. Yes. Because <laughs> I'm a wrestling fan. It's like you earn talking. The jobbers would come in, not say a word, but they would they would move around like they had a shot. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, like very cocky. Stretching. They were the only one there that didn't know they were about to take uh, ass whooping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they, you know, for the first couple of minutes, they would win. They would be winning, like, oh my god, how is this? And then it would turn over. And then yeah, <laughs> it would turn. I love that. What, oh, never saw that coming. Yeah, yeah. Didn't, never saw that coming. Where's uh, where's Shane? Like, what what happened with Shane? He uh, he kind of Ch- yeah, he took just off decided, on his own. Yeah, he decided he wanted to go out and try to make his own way and do his own thing. You but know? we and thought he, he had something. Was. When he came in here, we're like, okay, you're leaving wrestling. What are you doing? And we thought he was going to announce some big, you know, job. Politics. Something. No, he, he had already, you, he's trying to do his own thing. He's got a couple of gigs uh, going on. He's got, like, um, a company that uh, does uh, represents athletes uh, through Europe. And, like, he's got a bunch of golfers oh, and stuff. Oh, so he's and doing then, all right. And then he's also... Um, He's creating a company that is going to, in China, there's no pay-per-view distribution, and he's trying to become the platform in China to distribute Damn. pay-per-view, which that's one of those things, if it hits, oh, man. Few it's huge. If it doesn't hit, it, you know, I mean, the, the difficult thing about it is you, it's a communist country, right? So yeah. you have to be yeah, careful. It's Chinese, you, you got to go over there and deal with them. Uh, yeah. yeah, eventually they can say, this is great. Uh, this is ours now. Thank yeah, you very thank much you. for take, coming. Take a hike. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> this he's is gonna, the people's. Then he's going to be knocking muscle, on. And muscle him out right out of the country. <laughs> and he's going to be knocking on Vince's door. <laughs> he's going to have to live with so let's, be, let's be honest, sir. Oh, uh, wow. We got uh, how, how awful, how awful is this idea? How much are y'all begging him to just come back and stop this nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I hope he's successful. I mean, you know, I mean, he's trying hard. And, you know, I, I understand that trying to make your own your own way and make your own name. His dad and stuff has like to that. leave WWE yeah. to him. It's, 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 it's destiny.